Whose car is this? That's Biff. What is that guy's problem? Hey McFly, what's the hurry? We don't have time for this. We have an important event to get to. Yeah, like you two nerds have anything important to do. We do. We're going to TRCMA. TRCMA? The detailing event? Yeah, because we're the hosts. The ho I should be the host. Biff, we don't have time for this. Well, I'm not moving my truck. This is ridiculous. We're already late. M Marty, I might have an idea. What's that? Get to the car. We're still blocked in by Biff. What do we do? Marty, did you forget? This time machine flies. Punch in the coordinates to TRCMA. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh, I can't believe we made it! Wow. <laughs> Told you it would work. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Seriously, a, you've outdone yourself. Well, thank you. I, yeah. I, I try, you know? Yeah. That's I how appreciate we do it. it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to TRCMA 2023. I'm uh, very excited to introduce everybody and uh, welcome everybody from all over the world to this virtual trade show. Now, we have a lot in store today. A lot. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be hosting things over in the booth there, so you don't have to worry about me. I got you covered. I'll be with Keith. I'll be with Ivan. Lots of folks. And uh, I hear heavy breathing. Don't Holy cow, you made it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I guess we made what? it. It's a little hard when you got to run. Right? Yeah, yeah. Thanks to my friends over at Brooks Running, though. <laughs> I was able to get here fast enough. You guys oh, are still thanks. nerds, though. All right. <laughs> What's well, going on? Well, the nice thing is, like we said, we've got a lot today for you. Not only yeah. do we have our friends at PNS, we have our friends from Colorlock. Then we're going to have a delicious lunch. We've got Jamie the Cleaner and Alex Duar yeah. doing the halftime show. And yes, the they do. Show yes, they are. Yeah. Yep. And then this afternoon we're going to come in, you're going to have Yellow Tools, you're going to have the Rap Institute, mm. and Diamond Pro Tech. And of course, we want to thank all of our sponsors. Of course. Like Brooks running, keeping uh, keeping us fit, keeping us uh, light on our feet. Yes, yes, as well they as are. Our friends at Pepsi <laughs> providing all the drinks for this, and we couldn't do this without the rag company themselves putting all this on for all of us. Absolutely. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, PNS. Some people think PNS is just fun and games. We're always mixing things up. We run with the big dog. Does Bob really play with toys in his office? He does. It's always a huge production. Action. We've gotten really good at Zoom meetings. Can I join the team? I'm in the wrong shop. We work with some real characters, but it's very serious business. Dirty job. Somebody's got to do it. Truth is, it's always a day at the beach around here. But, but, but really, we're all about you. Well, awesome, you guys. Welcome to TRCMA 2023. Yeah, we're so excited. Yeah, really right. happy to be a kickoff. I know, <laughs> nothing like to be in spot number one, right? No pressure, right? We have our gloves on, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know, it was really interesting uh, last night talking to Jeff about uh, this event, TRCMA, what it's become for its third year, right, yeah. in 2023. And we were just talking and reflecting on how it's such an awesome time mm -hmm. to launch new products. Yeah, right? so great, I mean, yeah. April, the detail season's kicking off. Um, it's just a good time to launch new products and get excited about new things. So that's yeah. really what we're gonna showcase yeah, today, right? Yeah, we brought it. Yeah, so to my right, I have my brother Dave Phillips. Dave? Hi. Dave's chief of operations at PNS. He's the guy that makes all the juice, right? He's the chemist, he's the magic behind the sauce. <laughs> and then of course, Sydney Bray Gwynn. Hi. Our resident product <laughs> specialist from uh, Boise, Idaho. Mm -hmm. Hidden Springs <laughs> just over the hill, right? Yep. Did yep. I say that right? Boise? Boise. 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 Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> I'm a California guy, I got a little problem with that. But um, we're really excited to debut some new products because, um, you know, we have Dave's style of formulating, right? Mm -hmm. Which is like we really like to make cool contributions to the industry mm -hmm. and so we have three new products that we're going to introduce today yep. and we're going to kind of start with the 
low hanging fruit, yep. right? Yep. So PNS is all about the brands, and uh, we're pleased to announce our PNS fragrance brand. And so there's been a lot of noise about fragrances for us yes. though, right? Yes. Yeah. So even just in the last couple of years in the industry, um, it's really become all about how everything smells and there's this whole aromatherapy that, you know, needs to happen. And so, yes, we've been just asked for years for um, fragrances, different fragrances. Um, you know, the industry has moved away from kind of the grape, cherry, all that kind of stuff. So we are so excited about this. Yeah. So we've, uh, yeah, Bob has, uh, has picked uh, fragrances that are like Sydney said a little bit different not just lot not just standard things so uh, we have one that's always been asked for for how many years now oh probably five or six years yeah, yeah. we have basically <laughs> beadmaker fragrance which we've always admitted was mango mm -hmm. but now we have essence of beadmaker that's uh, that's going to be pretty fun and I think it's gonna be pretty popular we have uh, this has been um, the the coconut lime uh, fragrance is uh, a a a essence of absolute. Correct. Yeah. So we're mm -hmm. quite happy with that, um, and it's been popular. And and uh, we went through quite a process of finding this fragrance to start with. So Anthony was quite helpful on that, as he was for the eucalyptus mint tea. So which is kind of hard to actually describe what it what it smells like. It doesn't smell like eucalyptus mint. Right. It smells more like kind of a uh, green tea-ish sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So. Um, obviously, fragrances are hard to uh, to describe. These are super concentrates. Right. Right. So these so are super one pint concentrate. Makes what? One gallon. One to two gallons. Yeah. Yeah, one to two gallons. Depending on the strength you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And you'll find that some some fragrances are a little bit louder than others. So you might want less in some cases. But the way it works is you just make a gallon out of it, which is pretty simple. And give it a little mix up afterwards. And then you can use the pint bottle mm -hmm. for your sprayer. Yep. So you've got your labeling done. And you want to hold that for a second? I will I use a say, funnel I hope you're not on this free one. That. That's not going to work too well. <laughs> yeah, no. The, it was hard enough with the pint. We have backup towels, though, Dave. So we will fill the pint up. And then it's. Ready to go. Let's let like that right. foam a little bit. Yep. Nice. There we go. We're good. So, put your sprayer on the top, and you're ready to go with your 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 deodorant. Ready to use product so, with labels. Sydney, what are the typical uses of a deodorant like this? Where yeah. do we use it? So I use these a lot. Um, so I just spray them on the carpet, and then I close up the doors, leave it sit for about 20 minutes. So right when I'm totally finished with the car, I'm not going to be doing anything else. I just spritz several sprays right underneath both, you know, front seats, back seats, depending on what kind of car it is. Um, I just spray it on the carpet and then close up the doors, let it kind of permeate and get set in. And it lasts for a good couple days. Um, the customers love it, especially the bead maker scent, just like, right. you know, everybody else. So, um, so these are great. I mean, you can use it, you know, ho however you typically use a spray deodorant works yeah. really well. But you can have fun with them too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could put it in your carpet extractor if you wanted to, yep. you know, you could put it in your wash water, you could put right. it in your foam can. Yeah. Yeah. You could do a lot of things with them, right? Yep. Right. Um, so the idea is just have fun with these fragrances. And mm -hmm. these are our first mm -hmm. three offerings, right? So again, the Mango Fresh, which is from Beadmaker, mm -hmm. the Coconut Lime, which is from Absolute, mm -hmm. and the Eucalyptus Mint Tea, which is actually from our uh, the Off-Road line. Yes. Yep. Right? Yep. So these are three of our introductory products that we're launching right now in the fragrance line, and then we're going to expand on that mm -hmm. because we're all about the family of brands, right? So the right. PNS fragrances. Right. And they're yeah. more sophisticated fragrances than like yeah. Grape. Sydney said. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like yeah. lemon. Yeah. You know, well, nothing there's anything wrong with lemon. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a, f a few other fragrances up our sleeve that we'll be launching here right. soon. So. And maybe lemon. Yeah. And <laughs> all the products that we're going to introduce today, because I forgot to mention that, all the products that you're going to introduce oh, yes. today are manufactured and filled, right? In stock mm -hmm. at PNS. Yes. But right. they're not out to the market yet. Yeah. So it's going to be a week, two, or three until they get into distribution and people can buy them. So these are all new. They are packaged. They're now shipping to our distributors. Mm -hmm. But they're not officially. You're going to, if you scramble to get on websites, you're <laughs> not going to find them just yet. So just, <laughs> right. just wait a week or two, and they will be available. Yep. One of the things that's kind of cool, though, is, Dave, you put a new sprayer on that bottle. Right. Yeah. Right. We, 
sprayers are definitely a love-hate relationship in the industry. Yeah, so we are in, we're also here introducing our new sprayer. So this is going to be our new retail package sprayer. Really nice ergonomic sprayer. Great, mm -hmm. great spray pattern, yeah. the whole thing. We're really excited about this because, you know, some customers loved our sprayers. Mm -hmm. Some customers right. yeah. weren't so... Yeah. Fond of our sprayers, right? Yeah, you had to know the secret code to get one. <laughs> the <laughs> secret code, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. So anyway, this is our first offering the, of the PNS fragrance line. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move over to another product that yeah. Sydney has secretly hidden here, I did. right? I wanted it. Can to I? Have, I wanted to have its own moment. Can I move the towels? Yes, you yeah. can move the towels. <laughs> I can move the towels. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the next product is that we're introducing is called Swift, and it's going to be part of our interior mm -hmm. system, right? Yeah. So one of the things that we love at PNS is our interior system, which is essentially we have Express Interior Cleaner, and we have uh, leather treatment for the hard surfaces, mm -hmm. and then we have our carpet system, right? Yeah. The three product system. Mm -hmm. This is essentially our clean and shine product, yes. right? Yep. And really, what's it? What's its primary goal? So Save time, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is going to be um, a maintenance product. So this is going to be for those, you know, customers that you have come in that are just on a maintenance plan every couple months or for vehicles that aren't crazy dirty. Um, this is going to be a perfect product for that. Also, you know, if you have like express details or something like this, this is going to be a great product. Um, so it's going to do a moderate amount of cleaning. And the great thing about this is it's very versatile. You can grab other tools to kind of kick up its power. So whether that be you're going to grab a brush to kind of help the cleaning ability, or maybe you're going to grab an applicator to, you know, focus more on the dressing part of it. Right. So um, super versatile product. It leaves behind just a nice matte, clean, dark finish. Right. Um, it's a really, really nice product. I'm super excited about this one. So Dave, when you were building this product, right, one mm -hmm. of the things that we talked about is we like to make contributions to the industry, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we definitely, when we release a product, we're very confident what it's going to do. But what were the features and benefits that you were looking for in the Swift Clean and Shine? Right. So, well, <laughs> you know, it, the, the name kind of says it, most mm -hmm. of it, right? Mm -hmm. the, I think the first time we got a request for a Clean and Shine product, I mean, we've been around for a long time, had to have been 15 years ago, right? Easy. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, and it's been a bit of a daunting task. Yeah. I think we had to wait around for some, some technology to catch up. Mm -hmm. um, so when Bob, you know, well, actually more like four years ago, I think we brought it up again. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I've kind of been thinking about it and maybe dragging my feet a little bit on it at the same time because it's a tough nut to crack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to try and clean right. and shine in mm -hmm. one step is yeah. not that easy. Right. right. So, I mean, if, like, as we mentioned earlier, uh, if you've ever tried to, you know, if you've ever been cleaning your car when you have a little spot and you've got some dressing on your towel and you go, oh, I'll just clean that, and you realize, well, I didn't do anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's shocking that, that, you know, that a, yeah, that a product could, <laughs> that a liquid Wait a minute, could Dave, not it's water. do it. It should <laughs> clean a little bit, right? Anything, I know. Yeah. So, um, so there was that. So we didn't, we, you know, we didn't want a dressing, mm -hmm. um, and we needed some cleaning. Mm -hmm. Then we need. Then the other thing that's a, a challenge is to make it so that the the cleaner doesn't destroy the dressing part. Right. right. You need so to get the dressing out mm -hmm. of it. You need right. to get the dressing out of it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. So balancing the whole system was actually a challenge and fun. So you know we've got some good solid cleaning and some good matte satin dressing so it's very pleasant to use yeah we're yeah. really thinking quick detailer for the interior yeah. of the car right? yeah, yeah that's, that's good yep. terminology yeah. quick detailer for the interior of the car because we still have express right, right? so when we have dirty seats we're going to use express yeah right but right. for the for the quick you know say you yeah. get a coating on the outside of the car right and yeah the customer paid a lot and you just want to like yeah. spritz up the inside yep. so they, they kind of get a reward when they pick up their car not just the yeah. outside but the inside yeah. at the same time yeah very and, and one situation i had last week that this is kind of a really good example of when you're going to use this is you know my personal car stays pretty clean but i have kids and we went on a road trip last week and they spilled stuff all over the center console in the back. I'm, I'm not sure what happened, but they did. Everything else was clean, right? And so I just took Express, cleaned the center console, and then put that away and then went over the whole car with this. Right. So it is totally okay to do that. If you just have one little spot that's dirty and you need a little bit more power there, go back to what we know and love and then it you know makes it easier to finish off the whole car with this. So um, you know that was for me such a great example of how you can incorporate the two right. together. So, so since we were talking fragrances, what's yeah. the fragrance in this, Dave? Uh, this is uh, a like a orange sickle. Orange sickle. Yeah, yeah. One, of, one of a lot of people's favorites. Yes. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people enjoyed the orange sickle uh, fragrance. So, yeah. so um, 
Should we show how this yeah, works? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd like to say, um, yeah, one thing was that, you know, one thing is nice is that it, the, the dressing flattens out, levels out really well. Yes, yes. You don't really need to, like, spread it out and get it just perfect. You'll find right. that it just kind of, like, flattens out to a really nice, yeah. nice cool. finish. Let's yeah. head over right. to, the, head to over. our favorite demo car, right? Favorite demo car. This car, what's this, the third year at TRCMA? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so we've got this nice door here. So this car, um, the inside has been cleaned, but it's never been dressed. So um, let's start out with, so if we see right here, if you can see on the camera, we've got kind of that normal, um, you know, body oil grease kind of stuff. So on this section, I'm gonna use the Detail Factory brush, and I'm gonna show you how we can kind of um, use this just to get a little bit of foaming action out of the Swift. So this is kind of a little bit different than some of the other clean and shine products on the market is you still get a little bit of cleaning power out of this. And so we can clean in the normal, you know, so with if the you had brushes, light cleaning, like you that. could just like wipe it down, you'd be done. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. for sure. Um, but this, sh the brush, brush shows you how you get a little bit of, um, of the scrubbing power out of it. Then if you want to just do, actually, let me do the towel first. Yep. So it. then you can spray it on the surface. I like to spray it on the towel just because, you know, so you don't get overspray on your window. And how are you liking those new um, sprayers, by the way? They're great. Did you guys see that? <laughs> nice, even spray. So great. And then you just, you know, wipe the area that you're doing and it's going to give you kind of that, I call it a guide shine. So you're going to see where you've been. And then over the few minutes, that area is just going to mat out really nice. You're not going to have any streaks and it's gonna clean and protect in the same way. So this um, plastic was fairly dry, so it's gonna give it just enough of uh, the protectant to kind of moisturize so it and darken it. Do we have UV inhibitors in this day? Uh, yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah, so we can just spray, wipe everything super easy. It gets it, you know, gets all the dust off, all that kind of stuff. Then if you've got larger area and you wanna focus more on the protectant part, we can spray it on an applicator like we normally do and just apply it that way. So if you're not needing to do a lot of the cleaning part that you would need a towel for, we just apply it just like we do, you know, natural finish or dynamic. And that's just gonna settle in and it's it really levels out really nice by itself. So, so what are we using this on? Door panels, center consoles, what about carpets? Um, no, you wouldn't use it on carpet. Yeah. <laughs> You just make it sure. Carpet. Yeah. Gotta make sure. Yeah. No, you're not gonna use so it on carpet. But we yeah. define them as hard surfaces, yes, right? Hard Leather surfaces. Seats, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know that one question a lot of people are gonna ask is about nav screens. Right. So I have, you know, gone over and I mean you just go back yeah, when you're cleaning yeah. windows and wipe it off. It wipes off super easy. Um, so yeah, you can just go over the whole car. And it works so really, nothing. Really nice. There's nothing in here, Dave, that's going to hurt anything inside. No, the car, right? no, completely yeah. neutral yeah. pH. Yeah. You know, m medium to light duty cleaning. Mm -hmm. uh, really safe for any surface. Yeah. And another thing that I have found that I really like with this is actually just touching up rubber floor mats. So even if you've cleaned them, um, and you you know they turn a little bit brown or discolored, you know, just a couple sprays of this gives it just enough to flatten out, but not leave anything slippery behind. Um, so really nice for that. Again, you know, cleaning up those mats real quick. Um, just an awesome product. Love it. Yeah, it's going to be a, it. it's going to be a, one yeah. of those daily products that yeah. every detailer is going to yeah. want to have in his yep. arsenal for sure. Yep. It's awesome. Great. Nice work, Dave. Yeah. Cool. All right. All so right. we got one nice more job. product to go. Yeah. Do we want to, um, do we have, we can oh, show yeah, the, let me, yeah, yeah. Let me go get the, the fragrance, uh, fragrance real quick. So we'll hang out there. Nope. We'll get the fragrance <laughs> bring down yeah, that. I, I missed my cue. Oh, you're good. You're good. Let me get this primed for us here. There we All are. right, real quick, since we made up our uh, mango fresh here, I'm going to show you how I just spray it right under the seat, give it, you know, two or three good sprays, and then you just leave it. Super easy. So I do that at the end, and then we just close it up. <laughs> All right, now what do we have? Well, Nothing big. Nothing yeah, big. Nothing big. <laughs> <laughs> nothing big. Let's see here. Let me grab one of those. Thank you, Dave. I'll hang on to this. So uh, the third product we're going to introduce today is a product called Defender. And yes, this is PNS's SIO2 protectant. Yay! Finally, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, you know, Defender is, we placed it in the inspiration 
family yes. of products. Yep. Right? And we did that on purpose. The inspiration, for those that don't know, inspiration is our coding line of products. Mm -hmm. So we put it in our coding lines of line of products because it really fits there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, um, you know, there's Defender is Dave's been working on for. Yeah. How long? Well, I, when do you think we got our, our first year. request for an improvement on Beadmaker? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Probably about then, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Three, almost, uh, yeah, I want to say like, yeah, two, three years. Yeah, but then two or three years, you know, from yeah. start, you know, but we've been, we've been really working on it diligently yeah. about for the past year. Yeah. But you were really waiting for what? For the, the right, technology the to right catch stuff. up, right? Yeah. The right, right stuff. Yep. Something that was very uh, demonstrable, mm -hmm. something that was visible, something you could see. Mm -hmm. Either as a standalone product, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about that. It's got, we've got two uses for this product. A standalone protectant yeah. that you can use just Defender as, mm -hmm. right? Or as your final mm -hmm. coding process. Right. Yeah. Right? So you apply, if it was Legend, our product would be Legend. Your mm -hmm. second coat could be Defender. Yep. Right? Yeah. So let's talk about the first one, right? Let's talk mm -hmm. about it in its standalone form. Yeah. So what are some of the features and benefits when you've been working with it, Sid? So one, the application is amazing. Um, it's very, very nice to use. Um, finishes down great, you know, really, really easy. I do like it with the FTW. Um, I do like the two towel application though, for sure. Um, so standalone, um, I, if I'm doing like a just a normal detail and I'm going to use it as my final step. I'll clay the car, decontaminate all that, and then just finish off with this product. Um, super quick application and I mean it just makes the car look amazing. Yeah. yeah. It adds a lot yeah. of pop. Yeah. You can see it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's, it's actually adds a measurable amount. Yeah. Which is really interesting. Yes. Right. So we're, we're talking about what? Yeah. What's the thickness? 0.15 to 0.2 microns? Right. Mm -hmm. That that's the range right. that we get out of Defender, yeah. which mm -hmm. a traditional coating is more like what, 0.8? Yeah. So about 0.8 to one. Twenty percent of mm -hmm. a coating thickness. Right. right. About twenty percent of coating thickness. Yeah. And durability. Yeah. What what can we expect in durability? So we're you know we're we're seeing you know six months to a year. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And under, it depends on. It obviously depends on conditions, but that right. six months was under weather. Yeah. You know. Yes. Yeah. Extreme weather. Harshness, so, yeah. Um, yeah. This is and then. Well, I'll go over some of the numbers in a little bit, and we might be able to refine that a little bit, but basically we're going to just start, yeah, we'll just start with the, the six months to a year. Yeah, so as a standalone product, we tested it in high, all, kind of all weather conditions, mm -hmm. right? High humidity, low humidity, the features and benefits of this is mm -hmm. that it's very, very easy to use, yes. right? Yep. But it will set up. Yes. So if you have overspray, right? right? Yeah. But that is one of my other favorite things about this product is overspray. A lot of these, you can't get them on glass or plastic or something like that. This literally goes on everything. It works beautifully on glass, works beautifully on plastic. Um, and that I love that about that is it can literally get everywhere. Awesome on wheels. Right. Really good on wheels. Yeah. Yep. So um, deal. shall we demo it? Should we talk about it with the coating? Oh, what do you no, want to do? do? Yeah, well, let's demo it and then talk about the coating part. Yeah, that, for sure. Okay. Yep. Cool. Yeah. All right, this one's ready to go. So I'm gonna grab two towels. I'm gonna use an FTW and a Wolf Pack. And we are gonna come right back here. So um, I'm gonna show it to you on paint and on um, the black wrap. Because this car, as we know, this was the car that we used for the original Legend launch. So it's been, what, two years now? Two years, yeah. So we're at two years on this Legend. Um, and to be honest, this car has not been maintained. It's just been washed, um, but no other anything else going on and actually fun fact about this part is this was wrecked last year so um this has nothing on it there you go <laughs> right here perfect um so what we're going to do is we are just going to and i spray it right on the panel um again because the overspray doesn't matter so even if it gets on the glass we're going to be totally fine so i'm going to do the paint and the black because i want to show you on the black how how we spread it in so this is going to be i'm going to apply this a little bit like a coating i'm going to do long strokes and I'm not gonna worry about rubbing it in right away because the great part about this product is actually the setup. So if you can see that on the black there, how it gets kind of little bubbles and all of that. And so I usually let that set just for 10 seconds and then I'm gonna go back over with a real nice fluffy towel. And I know you can't really get this on camera, but it's so slick. The slickness is insane. Now, watch these. When I go over this, it will literally just evaporate on that second wipe and not leave any streaking behind. It's so, so nice. And then we can, like I said, go right back over the glass 
and it's just super slick. And yeah. what's great is it really makes the paint pop. Yeah, what I, what I have found, and, and Dave has found through our years of working with a lot of products that are kind of in this category, mm -hmm. When you're trying to do a lot on the paint, mm -hmm. that's when they become troublesome, right? Yeah. Very right. difficult, challenging right. to use, right? Right. So one of the things that we really focused on with Defender was total ease of use, yeah. right? Yep. And that was really kind of what we were so impressed about. Right. Yeah. It's like, it's almost, almost bomb proof. Well, right? I think, yeah. yeah, I think the thing is, is it, it does end up doing quite a bit. Yeah. Right. And it's easy to use. Yep. So, you know, it's always been, you know, one of my pet peeves is, oh, this product's really easy to use, and I like, I, I can't tell whether it did any or whatever, sure. you know. Yeah. Um, but but this, is, this does a lot. Or yeah. on the flip side, the ones that we're doing a lot were very difficult to use. Right, and we run into that as well. Which we understand, because usually yeah. you're trying to put a lot of active right. in there. Yeah. So this was really, you know, um, one more of your amazing solution products that's there you go. prove itself yeah. in the industry, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, we'll of course, see. We'll, we'll, we'll wait in time, right? We don't want to overhype something, yeah. right? because we'll you know, see. I mean, we've been working with it. We love it. Everybody that's tested it loves it. Yeah. And so now we just got to wait to see how the customers yeah. are going to react, yeah. right? We're yeah. just excited about it because there's been so much noise about us yeah. kind of entering this space, mm -hmm. this space with a product that we claim durability. Yeah. Because yeah. we know with Beadmaker, we said, hey, you know, 30, 60 days. That wasn't mm -hmm. the goal of the product. Beadmaker was all about the experience, right? right? Yeah. This is really about protection mm -hmm. right. and durability, yes. right? But you do get the experience. That, oh, that, yeah. The no, no, no. From that no, no. It's, it's pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's no. pretty amazing. I don't want to take away from the experience. <laughs> but so that's the standalone use, yeah. right? Yep. So we can use on paint, wrap, mm -hmm. glass, yeah. wheels. Yeah. Pretty much anything. Yep. Right? Yeah. It works great. And on wheels, I mean, it's just such a great, easy, um, you know, spray on that you don't have to worry about that. You know how you have to, sometimes some you have to keep wiping and keep wiping it. That second evaporation from the towel is just it's so great for wheels. Yeah, really, really good for wheels. Yeah. So um, now let's talk about it as a topper or yeah. your right. last. So one of the things that we want to recommend or we, we know about the product is yeah. what it does to a coating. Right. Right. So if we apply apply, apply one layer of legend and yep. we use Defender as our second coat, mm -hmm. what's it do? Right, it really bonds with the legend, mm -hmm. right? I've got, we've got some numbers to pull out. I think the bottom line for us, in, and the bottom line for creating the product was, um, and we, we needed to have the tactile, we needed to have the visual, we needed to have all the pieces together, and it actually had to be slightly better in every case yeah. for us to want to want to put this product out. So there's, just, I mean, that's kind of our philosophy. Our philosophy is that, you know, we want products that work. Mm -hmm. So that's what we want the customer to see and the user to see is that I'll, on top of, you know, those, those tactile and really fun things to use is we decided to get some numbers done. Yeah. Right. Right, so we not only decided to, you know, we decided, well, let's see if we can back this up. Let's mm -hmm. see if the numbers match what we, what we see. Yeah. And uh, we were quite uh, enthusiastically yeah. Yeah. greeted with the results. Yeah. yeah, so. I think my favorite part of that is, you know, I test stuff in my shop on the cars that I'm working on, and I can give feedback for how I feel it's working, what I see, but I don't really understand things on this science level, right? Right. And so it was fun when we went through that process to understand why I was seeing and feeling the things I was. Um, I think that that was really cool. And so the first couple times that I used this on top of Legend as its topper, like crazy things happened, right? And I remember sending videos and going, what is happening here? Right. Like, this is crazy. Right. Um, because it actually, like, it's something that you, you know, we have Dream Maker and you visually see something happen, right? This is almost more extreme than Dream Maker. Mm -hmm. Just the visual, what happens to the paint and the coating specifically, right? Right. Um, and we have photos and we'll share them later of, you know, before Bob, and after. Bob took two of my photos and made a before and after and, and you know, put them on top of each other and it, visually changes yeah. the color yeah like well visually right increases gloss by so um yeah let me let me get my my numbers get over your here get your notes. <laughs> let me get <laughs> your notes. get your notes yeah, yeah. Over here. so talk about this though it was kind of interesting though it was an interesting moment when mm -hmm. we were having the product tested yeah 
because you know we, we love this product so much yeah we wanted it to be great yeah right there's a problem with testing right it could make it not great yeah. if it failed right, right. yeah so um, we were, yeah. i was on pins and needles waiting for the <laughs> test to come back and go yeah and i hope this stuff really lasts because boy it's really cool yeah. right yeah and then to get the numbers back and have it stacked mm -hmm. up so let's talk about some of the numbers Dave. so so one of the numbers we alluded to earlier is we actually know how thick the mm -hmm. film coating is Right. Right. And it, we're, you know, we don't really want to start a competition. So I think what we're going to try and stick with is it's about 20% of a traditional, you know, wipe on dry coating. Mm -hmm. right. So um, it, that's, that's impressive, we think, Very for impressive. a spray on yeah. product mm -hmm. as, that's as easy to use as you just saw. Yeah. Right. You got 20% of a coating sitting on there. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so the other thing we had, so we had that measured. We also had the, the clarity of the coating measured. And in this case, it's very, uh, it works with, with, as a topper, and you get a 50% clearer coating. So what the measurement does is called, is called the clarity, and it's measuring whether you've actually, you can actually create cloudiness between the layers. Mm -hmm. So not only did this not create cloudiness between the layers, it actually made it 50% clearer. Mm -hmm. So that's going to add your depth. Mm -hmm. right. That's going to be your color That change. was your show that yes. you saw. Yeah. That's yeah. what, what you yeah. saw what was yeah. the color and the refractive <laughs> yeah. index goes and all of a sudden it's like, wow, that got yeah. deeper. Yeah. And it's not that it actually got th that much thicker. Mm -hmm. It's that it just changed the way the light re reacts with it. So yeah. right. clarity is a big deal. Okay. Um, there's another another thing that's interesting when you look at coatings is they're ceramic in nature. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we've we've all been you know learning that over the years. Uh, but when you get really submicroscopic, when you get really small, eventually they're ceramic. They're they're pores. There's mm -hmm. pores. There's right. there's cracks and fissures mm -hmm. in this in this stuff. And you know it, they're very small, mm -hmm. but they uh, but they can affect the gloss, mm -hmm. and they can affect the way um, materials adhere to the paint. Yeah. Right. Right. So you, so in this case, we had the we had the uh, our coating measured with and without, um, without Defender, mm -hmm. and so what we ended up, and so they're called the open cell count, open cells, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so what we ended up with is an average reduction of twenty percent of the open cells. So you took you know that those cracks mm -hmm. and crevices, and you re reduced them by twenty one percent. Then, the other thing that's on top of that, not only did you reduce the number, you reduced the size. Right. So they're 19% smaller. You're ending up with about a 40% um, smoother surface yeah. right. by using Defender. Right. And so that results in less ad adhesion to the thing, a slicker surface, and a more shiny surface. Yeah. And adds to the durability right. because it doesn't so wear again, off as quick, right? Hey, we look at it, it looks shiny, it looks deep. We're seeing the numbers that are matching up with that. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's it's just fun for me. Yeah. Right. right. I mean it was really cool. And the, the neat thing is though, there's a technique to it, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta get to the coating oh, yeah. right. in a certain amount of time. Right. right. So if we're using legend, our coating, mm -hmm. we want to get to it in forty five minutes to an hour. Yeah. So basically one coat yep. around the car, yep. then we can get uh, Rise it, right. Defender mm -hmm. to essentially use the term that we well, mm -hmm. the soak, right? Soak, yeah. Essentially connect to the other yep. coating. And yeah. so by the numbers, here's the deal. You have your 17% on top, right? but when you do it that way, you're getting a 30% and it was called soak, mm -hmm. but you're getting a 30% penetration mm -hmm. of Defender into, into the, the coating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're not only, you know, it's, it's, it's this, it's not only just sitting on the top, Right. It's actually partaking in the right. coating. Yeah. And, you know, I think we've we kind of said that about uh, we'd seen that and felt that sure. about about Beadmaker as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but now we have the testing that shows yeah. it. Right. Yeah. So and that we, was really cool. You mentioned Beadmaker. I want to make sure everybody knows this yeah. is a totally different product than yeah. Beadmaker. Yeah. Right. They're Different service, different product. Dif yeah. Different. It's not yeah. at all the same. Yeah. So we don't want to like this. Not a remake of that. This is a totally They're different product. Yeah. And are it's the reason no we put it in ingredients the that are the same. Mm -hmm. There you go. None. <laughs> None. Right. <laughs> not yeah. a single one. Yeah. So, so it's definitely not. So that would be one indication that it's not. But it's also not in use. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, you can use. You know, you can use this as a quick wipe. You can use it mm -hmm. as um, a, a, maybe a drying aid. Yeah. But you wouldn't use it every day. Right. Right. Yeah. You'd right. use Beadmaker every You'd day. You'd use Beadmaker every yeah. day because right. it's, yeah. you know. So another, th another neat thing we found out was that um, Defender actually increases the acid resistance by 300%. 
Now this is not a really valid, really important number because these, the, the acids are down around a pH of one and I hope you're not putting that on your car. Um, so but it's <laughs> kind of cool, right? <laughs> but it's kind of cool, yeah. right? I mean, it's something that, you know, it's, it's an indication that we've got a pretty solid, a solid um, coating here that we're yeah. working with. Um, and then uh, and then durability. So I think we want to talk something about the, our concept of durability, and this is something that, that we learned in the testing, is that um, we consider a coating kind of done at about 45% gone, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 55% of the coating is still there, but what's happened? The experience We've, is gone. The experience is gone. You've, you know, your pores have opened up, your, you know, your clarity no is beating. gone, yeah. you've lost some of, the, some of the, um, you know, the thickness of the coating. So we're considering a coating, even at failure, to still be 55% there. Mm -hmm. But it's, the experience is gone, right? right? Yeah. So what we found um, using the durability, so we had um, dur durability testing done, coating and coating with, with um, Defender, is at the three year mark, you have a 46% improvement in durability. So durability all matters on how we take care of your car. Right. So if you're keeping your car in a garage, then you, you know, 40% of 46% of, well, nothing wore off is, is not going to be very valued, valid, valid for you. But if you, you know, your car stays outside and you've lost 30% 30, 30 of your coating and you got 46%, that means you only lost 15% of your coating. So you're, right. And the numbers are actually much better. So at three years, we were seeing a 13% uh, degradation in coating right. uh, and only 6% with Defender. Right. So big numbers big numbers big yeah. numbers yeah and that's with um, you know fairly aggressive but not terrible treatment of your car mm -hmm. right yeah. yeah standard weather test yeah and then at the five year du uh, durability we were seeing a 60 percent improvement when you've been using defender yeah so that's big big yeah big so fun product yeah right I'm super excited about it um so I think that it, it's good to know that for like yearly coating maintenance, right? It's a great product to put on once a year or right. even every six months. Yeah. But then, like you said, drying aid, washing, uh, maintenance washes, that's where you're still gonna use Beadmaker. This is not a product that you're gonna use every time you wash the car, no. right? Because well, it's, it's gonna waste. start to build up. Yeah. yeah, and it's gonna start to build up. So, um, and I know that this question's gonna come up. How does it work with Beadmaker? Beautifully. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it works right. great. So it can go on top of bead maker. Bead maker can go on top of it. Obviously, not the same day, right? Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, they both work great together. Just depending on how you do your maintenance with your clients, how often you see the car, how beat up their car is. Um, you know, you might use it every six months um, to maintain a coating, but. Um, you know, I see myself in the way that I run my coatings is I'm going to use this once a year on the cars, you know, just to keep that coating in, in tip top shape and then just maintain them with people. I'll, I'll yeah. probably use it a little more on mine. Yeah, yeah. I I'll like it. Yeah, it more on mine. <laughs> it's pretty but, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, but people are going to ask, cure time, right? Yeah. We kind of, it's two hours. Yeah. That's what we're recommending. Yep. Yeah. 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 Two hours is ideal for, you know, in mm -hmm. ambient, regular temperature, 65, yeah. 70 degrees. Yeah. Not two hours in 30. Right. Right. It wouldn't apply to 30. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, well, um, anything we're missing on Defender, guys? I don't think so. Don't think I'm so. really excited about it. Yeah. I, I, you know, I think it's something that we've been, when, when been wanting. The consumers, wanting. people, mm -hmm. enthusiasts have been wanting for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the wait, I hope, was worth it. Yeah. Because I, I think it was. Yeah. I think it was. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, thank you for the time. We're going to transition over to a little Q&A with Absolute. Yeah. We're going to have Levi and Sydney washing the car, and we'll be ask, an, asking and answering yeah. and all those questions. So from Team PNS, thank you very much for our time. Absolutely. And, of course, you got Keith and I here in the booth. Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. Hi there. And, uh, yeah, we got a boatload of questions. I got about three pages of questions. Oh, just. wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, there's about away, but, uh, 350, 360 people watching. So you got some good nice. stuff going on. Nice. But, yeah. <laughs> I'll throw them your way while you guys get started. So uh, just keep an ear open, and we'll, we'll throw them your way. Cool. Got He's it. been doing a great job answering cool. people in the process, though, too. So we'll kind of reiterate some he might have already answered. What's really amazing is my answers matched yours, Dave. So I think yeah, that was good. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Matching stories, always important. That is good to get your stories straight. You know, there were a couple ones, Dave, and I love the dusting issue. I know it's our favorite topic. Mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, I don't think this product we could say is going to dust any more or less than any other coating style product on the market. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, there's no way for us to stop dust from landing on your car. You know, I mean, it, when, when things get really dusty, that's just gonna, gonna be the result. However, you know, those smoothness numbers are pretty amazing. We've noticed on keeping the car clean, clean. Yeah. right? So we've gone through, so I think the last time I put um, Defender on my car was about a month ago. Um, we've been through three different rainstorms. Um, you know, and so, and including a point where mm -hmm. it's drying out, out, right? And you mm -hmm. get that dirt coming up off the yeah. road and it coats the back of your car. Yeah. And I'm finding the car is staying significantly cleaner. Well, even when yeah. I was visiting Rennie and Rennie was, you know, mm -hmm. working on with Defender, um, he did half his uh, uh, Jeep that mm -hmm. he has and he met me down in the valley and the one door that had Defender on it was clean, mm -hmm. the other door was dirty. Yeah. And he washed it at the same time. Yeah. So it was yeah. pretty amazing. It's, yeah. it's been, you know, it's a anecdotal for us, but we all think that that's what we're seeing. Yeah. Uh, and, and really appreciating it. Yeah. And to go back to what um, I was saying, how my experiences matching the testing has been so interesting. And this was one in that I kept saying, it seems like it not necessarily self cleans, but stays a little bit cleaner. Right. But then it's also easier to wash. Right. And so that kind of plays into you know the the pour and the you know that whole situation right. where it's more sealed off so it doesn't hold on to the contamination as much and we've definitely seen that right you know in just the testing and results and, and you do kind of say well this is just a little bit easier to wash you know mm -hmm. for sure right now we got to get it yeah. on ten thousand cars i mean we we'll do. really know. we'll get it <laughs> yeah we'll get it <laughs> You know, in an effort to, you know, to address the, the dusting is there is, mm -hmm. there are anti-static agents in the product. Perfect. So, you know, so we're doing, <laughs> we're doing the best we can, but I mean, yeah. really, I mean, you, yeah. that, you know, when the pollen starts right. falling, it's yeah. just, you know, it's going to land on your car. Yeah. There's not much you can do about it. Yeah. Hopefully when you drive off, it just blows off the car, mm -hmm. which is pretty yeah. cool. And, you know, been looking at that. Yeah. Well, sweet. Are we going to wash something? Or what yeah, are we yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Wash. Yeah, yeah. yeah and right. if, if you really want to try the Defender on that car to keep the road film off it, I, I wouldn't mm. mind either. <laughs> 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 All right. Time for me to dig into these comments because there are a lot of them. There are a ton. So I'll answer the, the kind of the number one question. Are these products available now? So yes. Swift, the fragrances uh, have been released out to distributors. They're bringing them in as we speak. Uh, Defender just came off the production line on Friday. So... It's migrating out to all our, our partners. These will all be available on the PNS website tomorrow. Um, but uh, the distributors are getting them out. They are infiltrating. I know the rag company is probably going to do a special show when they get all the stuff in and they'll yeah. do a, a, a product release. But yeah, these are all migrating out to our, our partners now. Uh, but you can get them on the PNS site tomorrow if you want. Yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, next up, I got Level Best saying if Dave's brewing, I'm buying. Nice. Of course. Harry Housewife, Essence of Absolute. I need that in my life. Agreed. <laughs> it's a wonderful smell. And uh, we kind of addressed this already, but for folks who are new, just chiming in, David Cervantes with a very good point. Did PNS get new spray heads? We did. Yes, we Can did. Can you tell us a little bit about them? <laughs> yeah, so we've been testing them now for, I think, about four months, five months. Yeah. We've been, you know, we've been looking for a good sprayer, really a consistent supplier. So, um, Not easy. You're not easy, <laughs> and um, these were, you know, what we loved was the lead time on these sprayers was four weeks, which anybody that knows in this industry, you could order sprayers, it could take six months. So four weeks lead time, readily available. Yeah, we've got them in stock. These are full implement, implement, implementation of these sprayers now. Our other sprayers, are we are out of stock, and we are now going to be capping everything with these. So, yeah, and they're, you know, they spray really nicely. Um, when you, uh, they've got a fine spray <laughs> to them, but they've got a real positive trigger feel to them. So when you squeeze the trigger, it actually feels like, you know, you get, you get a little back pressure on the sprayer and then it comes out in a nice fine spray. The other thing we really like about it is we like the seal around the bottle. Uh, we feel like it's going to be much less leaking. And um, it's, if, I think I can get this off. Yeah, I can. If you look, you're going to do a close up here. There's a nice gasket in there. So, nice. you know, that's, you know, we feel like that really, and then the ratchet with the bottle, we feel like we're going to get some nice, you know, sealed, sealed bottles. And that's important for us in a, as a manufacturer that we have our product arriving at the customer in the shape it's supposed to be. 
Yeah. yeah. So coming Super to a secure. box near you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And um, and we and these two sh- arrived about two weeks ago. So, and it's going to take a little while from the you know flow out into the marketplace, but no, we'll get them. That's great. Love to see it. Uh, I got Stefan here with kind of an offbeat question, wondering if I was to accidentally seal my paintwork with Beadmaker Refresher, how would I remove it off? I'd probably use paint uh, prep to, to okay. strip that off. Um, you know, you could probably go with a, a harsher, say, a high pH cleaning product like an EnviroClean. Okay. Um, it depends on how long it's been on, too. That's you know, a good point. It yeah, up if a it's fresh, bit. it might be a little easier. Yeah, but fresh, if it's or you old, just accidentally yeah. overspray, wipe it off uh, with, with paint prep is probably fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah as long as if it doesn't cure, you know, it's going to come off right away yeah. With, yeah. with very little effort. Um, you know, typically, like, like Keith said, if you've got, you know, um, a general purpose cleaner, it's going to remove, remove those products. Yeah. And, uh, of course, I got Ed asking here, can we get this stuff here at TRC? Yes. Uh, yeah. It will be available. If it's not available right now, it'll be available soon. Very soon. Very soon. Speaking of available right now. Yeah. What's available um, right now? You know, I'm a little jealous. I know we've got our cool flannels, and there was a question about mm-hmm. those, and I'll there answer was. it. But, <laughs> dude, I want to know about that shirt that Levi's wearing. Isn't that cool? That is pretty darn <laughs> cool. What's the deal with that shirt? So that's our TSCMA shirt. We kind of try and do something a uh, little new this year, giving people a chance to uh, <laughs> get in on the Action. Check out our website because you show the power your hands <laughs> on some of this TRCMA merch. Just saying. Yep. But uh, yeah, obviously there's rag company swag you can always check out. But this this is a limited time thing. So right. if you're watching this week, now's the time to get it. Yeah. So, so I'm uh, going to do a shout out yeah, on our it. shirts to Josh Pierce who created this little monster, and they we love the shirt, so we brought them in, and we now carry them as PNS. Wear official stuff, um, okay. ofi- official swag as we would call it, uh, available on our website. You guys can order it. The sizes are pretty true, uh, so yeah, check them out there. You can buy this shirt from PNS on our website. That's awesome. All right, so thanks for the heads up. Do the do the absolute washers? Do you have any commentary on on what's going on? No, I love it. it I've always loved it. It's super just, easy. It yeah. 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 Super easy. <laughs> Comes yeah. off pretty are quick. You, uh, the show How long have you been working set. on that? Maybe four minutes? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking uh, maybe about Maybe you, you missed a spot, yeah. though. <laughs> well, there's a lot of sap, too. That's you missed all the windshield. You missed just Keith, I've been windshield. noticing there's a few dents on this car, though. <laughs> well, so... The, he gets angry. The, <laughs> the passenger door had a uh, had a hit and run in the parking lot. It so looks like somebody had a fight with it. <laughs> yeah, somebody's going into the shop on that one next week. Unfortunately, it's my wife's car. Yeah, that whole door got dinged by a parking lot. It's shiny. Um, but the car looks fantastic because it's got legend and inspiration all over it. We used oh, that we car in that our coding class um, a year and a half ago at uh, the shop, the original official first shop crawl ever for the IDA. Nice. nice. So that is a coding car with uh, legend on all the flats with sole on top and yeah. inspiration on the sides with that sole on great. top of that. And then, of course, can't forget view uh, glass coating on all the glass. <laughs> and uh, I got David here asking a good question. Will those new spray heads work with the old bottles with the kind of ratcheting lock heads? Yes, yes. you can get okay. the old ones off. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> swap a Um Okay, yeah, it, I've got... You, oh, go ahead. Oh, well, you, you can... If you just pair, take a pair of channel locks, you can remove the, the sprayers. I've had people say I can't get them off and throw them away, so I don't want you to give up. Just a little pair of pliers, and you can a take tool. them off. Yeah. Okay, tool. that's good. Yeah. So while we're talking about Defender, yeah. Dave, um, what is the fragrance on Defender? We don't really have one in there, or, or what did you oh, do with it? There yes, definitely do. is a fragrance. Are we jumping out the, off t- saying what it is? You can say what it is. Uh, you lost something, Bob. Your microphone. Um, yeah, it's grapefruit. <laughs> oh, yeah, grapefruit. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, you know, and is I guess this is a funny admission, but um, about two years ago, I was at a hotel and they had grapefruit shampoo, and I went, "Wow, I really like this." <laughs> and so, inspiration can been, come from anywhere. I've been pretty much trying to put it in a product ever since. <laughs> yeah, Good it smells call, great. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I really, I really grown to like it quite a bit. So Kirby wants to know, does Swift have any anti-static benefits? Uh, yes, it does, actually. Yeah, okay. it does. Mm-hmm. Jesus. 
Good to know. And Jorge, yeah. I've got here asking, these fragrances will yeah, be a great amazing. addition to my shop. Yes, they would. I agree. Yes. Yeah, I got to use this the other day, and I was blown away by it. And yeah. uh, then, of course, they're asking, Eddie wants to know what the smell is like. Well, I think we know now. Amazing. We've gone over it. <laughs> it's just, it's fresh. I mean, yeah. it's, yeah. And uh, then we go on to David here. David says, so this is an interior quick detailer with a bit more power to clean. This will be awesome. I think that was in reference to an earlier demo there. Yeah, I think that's in reference to Swift. Yes. Yep. And, uh, oh, yeah. So then Andy's Auto Care Plus saying, as Bob knows, I've been waiting for this one. Um, <clears throat> oh, question for Sydney. Hans, uh -huh. of course, always <laughs> popping in. <laughs> he wants to know, what is Sydney's favorite product? Oh, gosh. Putting you on the spot. Well, it was using it right now. It it, it it may be there may be a new one. Yeah, so I think it. I mean, it probably was still bead maker. That's still one of my favorite ones. I really love wipe and shine, um, which is a tire dressing, and I think probably Defender is going to be one because, um, I noticed this week when I ran out of all my sample bottles and we were waiting for the labels to come, and. I ran out and I had a little bit of a heart attack, right? <laughs> I think I called Bob twice and said, I'm out. Um, so I, and I, I said, I can't help you. Right. I think this one will probably take over the top spot. Um, I mean, Absolute is still, though, like that one still really tugs at my heart. I don't, that's a hard question. <laughs> where are Could you I pick <laughs> one from each category? <laughs> yeah, where are you cleaning? Right? Yeah. Where are you cleaning? Yeah, I, it, I could pick one from each category, but. Um, I mean, Defend Defender's pretty amazing. Nice. I kind of. I know you're a fan of Clarity I... Cream too, so that's oh, always. Oh, well, of course, yes. Yeah. they're all my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Speaking of uh, glass, Stephen here asking, what did she spray on the windshield? I just tuned in. A Defender. There you Works go. Works amazing. Yeah, it's easy <laughs> yeah. on glass. Yeah, love it. And then I'll go back to my main questions you were here. Asked I've to got expound on that field. a little bit, yes. Sydney, on Defender on glass. So um, it's going to apply the same way as it does on the paint. So you're just going to spray it on, use two towels, um, but that second wipe is just going to evaporate right off. It's going to um, not leave any streaks. It's super easy to apply. And then it, you're going to get all the benefits of Defender on the glass. So really like it on top of um, View. It works great. So I actually use this as my topper to View now rather than Beadmaker, um, just in the initial coating process. And um, it, it's just so great because you can finish out the whole car with it. And like I said, you don't have to worry about getting it on the plastic, on the wheels, on the glass. It's going to wipe off beautifully off every surface, which is so great. Nice. Love it's kind of so like you don't want to Hans, stop. of course, yeah, asked I know, how long right? is it going to last on glass. <laughs> Even if you've applied it, i got to do it again. Yeah. Probably the same as on paint. Yeah. Again, depends on your wiper use and your yeah. driving conditions. So right. we'll say six months, give yeah. or take, uh, condition. Right. And what I love about this is, you know, typically we only put view on the windshield. And I love this because now you've got that water protection on your side uh, glass that is so easy to apply. Um, and so that is going to kind of give you that water behavior protection, all the good stuff on your side glass, too. So I love that. <laughs> Oh, we're, look at that. Lisa Duplessis we weighing were, in. Ooh, we Lisa were noticing Duplessis. some... Oh, she's probably <laughs> mad that we're talking bad about the car. We were noticing some <laughs> nice Lisa, results on the I agree. It's an awesome color. Too, yes. right? yep. yep. I like her meme. I didn't know she had that one. That's cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's I've funny. got a whole lot of questions of people asking if Defender can be used during the clay process. There were a lot of those questions. I think we're probably going to say we don't recommend it. Is okay. that probably what we want to we want to go with especially on the clay towel i would think yeah, yeah i would still stick with the clay towel with either using paint gloss or bead maker um as your clay lube or even absolute's a great clay lube as well um this is really a final step product this is really you know gotcha. you're using this for its intended purposes so yeah plus it could screw up the towel yeah i mean you wouldn't yeah. want to let it dry in your towel yeah mm -hmm. for sure and yeah. uh, then to go off that, let's see. You can apply Defender to all exterior surfaces, like bead maker. I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah, absolutely, yes. yeah. absolutely. And actually, I used it. Um, my daughter has a Trailblazer, which you know the bottom half is all uh, 
plastic and those can fade and get gross and especially you know here in Boise we've had snow for I swear six months <laughs> and so we have the salt on the roads and so even though her um, plastic is coated in inspiration it still kind of like you know starts to turn a little bit gray and look funky and so I sprayed it all down with Defender the other day and it was perfect I mean I, okay. it, it looked amazing looked super awesome so yeah super happy with the way it works on plastic then I got a question here from Kevin D about is the deodorant oil base? That's a Dave question. Yeah, no, it's water based. Okay. Um, but the the fragrances are uh, an oil. So and then you mm. just micro emulsify them into an, uh, into water. Okay. Right. And Excellent. we're taking them from a concentrate, you know, and, and diluting them out again. So as long as you dilute them seven to one or, or a little more, you're gonna have no problems with them, right, Dave? Perfect. With any oil staining or something like that on the carpet. No, there's, yeah, no, you don't, there's not an, there won't be an oil staining problem. Good, okay. You know, there, are, are, there, are, there are pretty complex mixture of, you know, basically volatile esters and oils and all sorts of stuff. So it's not just oil. I mean, by oil base, I mean it's, it's non-polar. So it's not necessarily like an oil, like you'd think of it, but it's just not, it doesn't mix with water. Okay. Um, and then I've got, is it dry application only? I assume that is for the uh, Defender. Right, I believe so. We, I like the dry application because I feel like I'm getting a lot of material on there, um, okay. and that's what I like to see. Um, it can, like I said, it can be used as a drying aid if you're, if you know, it happens mm -hmm. to be sitting there. Yeah. Um, but you know, that's kind of a, a little maybe expensive drying aid. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. it totally works <laughs> a as a overkill. drying aid. But yeah, <laughs> I, like I said, I like to use it as the last step. You know, your very last product. So. Um, it totally works, but I think it's best suited dry for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I've got Kirby here. Can Defender top both Soul and Inspiration Classic? People just love their toppers, I swear. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. It yep. tops all the coatings. It'll perfect. blow your mind, Kirby. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Then to put a twist on that, JB wants to know can you layer Dream Maker on top of Defender? Sure. I yeah. would wait till it cures. Yeah. Wait till it cures. Yeah. That's the thing is, though, I, I, I mean, that's a great question, and you absolutely can, <clears throat> but I think you'll find that you just don't need to. So, especially immediately, like if you're, you know, you wash your car and you want it to kind of have that same pop that you had when you put the Defender on, absolutely grab Dream Maker. But I don't think you need to use it the same day. You know, you can yeah. still use Dream Maker. You know, the, car the point shows, of Dream Maker, I think, on some of the cars is to, mm -hmm. you know, bring that warmth back. Yes. And you get that. Yeah. You get that quite right. a bit yeah. from Defender. Yes, for sure. And so you can definitely use it, you know, after you wash your car, you know, weeks later um, to kind of bring back that feeling. But I definitely don't think you need I'm, It is so impressive what happens the day that you use it. I can't imagine wanting to use anything over it. Well, just like when Lee and I were just yeah. using it, I'm like, are you, are you watching yeah. what's happening here? It's like... It's a it's well, a really fun product, and it's funny you want to keep using it. Yeah, really. right. And it's funny that you say that, right? Because I, I think I've given you both that feedback that as I was using it, every time it's fun. Like right. every time I'm blown away, and I've been using this product for quite a long time, and every time it's fun. Not only does Dave make good products, he <laughs> makes fun products. Yes, That's it. Yes. Fun, fun products. Fun, yes, they're fun to use and well, pleasant to, to I mean, use. They have, smell yes. Right. Yeah, keep, you have keeping I mean, in mind that some people think marathons are fun, but yeah. Right. <laughs> well, no, but I mean <laughs> But I think, you know, people like to enjoy what they're doing if it makes you enjoy what you're doing. And especially... If you're a car enthusiast, yeah. Yes, yeah. And especially if you're working on your own car, um, you know, you want to be enjoying it. And so it's just a great product to use. I find that every time I get to use it and I would have to use it, you know, to test this or that, it was always like, oh, I'm at this part. You know, like I remember thinking that in my head. And, and so it, every time you're blown away, you know, yeah, cool. which is cool. So we're getting close to time, guys. We have one last mm -hmm. question. And Sydney, because you've really done a great job with the wash clay seal conversation, mm -hmm. is Defender the new product during a wash clay seal process? No, no. So, um, and this is a good question as well. So the wash clay seal process is a process that we really encourage for the space that it's in. So I primarily do that um, on just my full details. So I don't grab my polisher, right? Um, and so I do wash clay seal with bead maker. One, it is more developed with the lubricity and things like that to be more conducive of using with clay. And also it's easier, it's more, it's, it's better when, during the drying process when using it with the clay. And so you kind of want to leave that process where it's at 
Beadmaker still absolutely has its own place. Um, Defender's not going to replace Beadmaker and it's not gonna kick it out of its space. So this is something that um, I could talk on this for hours in just keeping products in their space. So Beadmaker is still gonna be kind of my go-to. This is gonna be the premium product. So if my customers are paying for a decontamination and a really strong one-step you know, spray, I'm gonna use Defender. If they're just you know, get it protected, send it, it's going to be Beadmaker. So I still love Beadmaker just as much as I did before. I will still use it just as much as I did before. Um, this is just going to obviously incorporate into my coding process a little bit more. And then if somebody wants a longer standalone product, I will use this. But it will not replace Beadmaker in the, in the clay process. And we talked about that a little bit earlier, that it's just not really... It's not really what it was developed for. Yep. Okay. Yeah. No, that's an excellent point. Thank mm -hmm. you for that detail. And obviously, <laughs> I apologize. There are many questions, but we have a show to do here. We've gotten a ton of them, and I hope that at least mm -hmm. helped a lot of people with the more pressing questions. I will ask one quick thing, though, just about SDS. Somebody was mentioning they wanted to know if there were SDS details available for the product. So I, I there, assume yes. There are, but we obviously didn't put them up on our website before we released the product. So it okay. might take it. It might. It, it'll be on tomorrow. Okay, yep. great. So people will have that information. There you yep. go. All and right. Marty, so, I guess we got to get back in time. Uh, yeah, we got to go back and uh, <laughs> let's check out Color Lock. Color Lock. Awesome. Hello, welcome to TRSEMA. That's Brian and Lars from Colorlock. And um, yeah, thank you guys from the REC company that thank we are part of this. And um, yeah. yeah, what we want to show today is um, how you can be a hero as well. <laughs> and, and more uh, money in your business. And, and more uh, money in your I business. I think we have a lot of auto detailers watching us, so this would be a great additive. Yeah, so Brian and me, we, we was talking before, what, what, what can we do? So we want to show you how to use this um, small kit here, a steering wheel kit, but not on a steering wheel. We will use it on a Polster to show you um, that this kit is um, just more than just a steering wheel kit. So you can re-dye also a Polster. Um, right. There's enough amount inside of this. And we want to point a little bit on this um, that all of you guys, you do advertising, you have a nice shop, you have, um, you do a lot of things to get customers. And when you get a customer, you already spend an amount of money to get them. And um, if you add leather repair to your business, you just can increase your, your card or the money you can get from each customer. So um, when we look on e-commerce, um, the people talking about um, the conversion rate, yeah, and the conversion rate for people who are not in the e-commerce business, the conversion rates tell you how many money you put in advertising on Google Ads, for example, and um, how big is your 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 card. So what's mean you you spend maybe for each customer ten ten dollars, and um, you have a card about fifty dollars. So you have a you have a total margin of forty dollars at this, and this is the same what you are doing on your business. So what you are doing in your business is you do what I say. You do advertising. You have a nice shop. You talking to customers. You spend uh, money and you spend time to this. So um, it just makes sense if you if you spend, for example, one hundred dollar to get a customer, 
um, and you can you can sell him um, a full detailing for $1,000, for example. I don't know if the number is correct. I'm not a detailer, but for example, so you spend 10%. But when you see the car and you look in the car like this here and you see, okay, there's a little bit wearing color or the steering wheel is shiny or whatever, um, you already have the car in your shop. You already have the customer in your shop. So you just can tell the customer, hey, I do also a color lock. Um, you just have to to, to keep this kit in your shop, what is not a big amount, and then you can charge 150, 250 dollar extra. A little bit depends on how the situation is in the car or something like this, Correct. right? Correct. We as auto detailers, we've put a lot of emphasis on to how to care and basically make money from the exterior of uh, our detailing process. So everything from paint corrections to applying coatings to uh, PPF, I think that you know our, our industry has really, really done a fantastic job on introducing this to the customer, the marketplace, adding the value to it. And at the same time, we need to put a little bit more emphasis onto the interior so that we can increase our profits. Um, this way, as we're speaking to the customers and as we're uh, educating the customers through thoroughly through their vehicle, it's nice to say that I know how to pull scratches out of paint. It's nice to say that I can lay film, and it's nice to say that I'm going to do a flawless job, and it's nice to say that I'm going to charge you $2,000 to do this. Um, it would be nicer to say that I'm going to charge you $2,500 to do this um, because I've added the added value to the interior because now I know what to say, how to say it, how did we get, how did the leather get to this point, um, what I'm going to do to fix it, and basically be able to educate the customer a little bit further than just saying, hey, I'm going to give you a full detail, or hey, I'm going to vacuum it and, you know, condition the leather. We've kind of been programmed to this here in our uh, U.S. market a lot, so it's a, uh, and I think that there's a lot of confusion around it. Automotive makers uh, don't make it easier for us either because they give leathers and vinyls and colors a variety of different colors. So, um, but the care and the, uh, the care practice, the maintenance, the protection is actually the same for the most part. So as long as we know kind of how it got to this condition, what we can do to bring it back to a better condition and how we can bring this, like I said, the value back to the customer because the customer is the one that we need to um, educate and help them understand the actual condition of their leather. Um, conditioners, for example, uh, it's very easy to throw on a dressing or throw on something that's just going to mask the interior and you get a, uh, you get a superficial, you know, a momentary good look out of it. So. Uh, the idea is is that we want to have a simple system, like with the steering wheel kit, we want to have a simple system that's given us the idea that we can, that, that, that we're doing a added value to the material, the, the leather, the vinyl, the plastic, and this way when we... Um, yeah, what, what means um, actually you don't need always um, to do a two day or one week training correct. to start with this and you don't need a full correct. kit what costs two thousand dollars or something like you, this. Correct. You don't you, need to you be can, a leather You can repair start expert. with a with a steering wheel kit, what is the smallest kit what we have for repair, but you or we have also a leather uh, fresh repair kit. Correct. Um, what has a little bit more amount inside. But just to, to get an idea how it works, um, and um, how easy it is, especially when you can start with black, and a lot of cars are black, but all other and colors it's are and available it's universal. on our webpage also. So Correct. you can just buy this kit, for example, and then if you need a ton or a cream beige or whatever, then you can order also this specific color from us. Um, you can look in a list or you can send us a sample or whatever. But I think not to make it too complicated, start with black. Um, if you get a car inside and you see, oh, it's black, order this small kit and then you can do a proper repair right, right. Um, already with not investing many time, not investing a lot of money. So just, just start on it and you can directly charge a little Correct. bit more from your customer. And the most common spot that a vehicle is going to be faded or discolored or have going to have the most wear and tear at is going to be the bolsters, it is a bolster, yeah. the steering wheels, your elbow rests. 
your gear shifters, basically anywhere where we're adding abrasion and friction to the material. So anywhere in this, I call them the high traffic zones. And when we are on these materials, we are uh, much like if I'm polishing the paint, I'm removing clear coat that I cannot replace. If I'm grabbing a steering wheel, my hands, this abrasion, the grip, the, the abrasion that I'm causing everything, and as body, I'm constantly body, oil. body oils, rubbing friction all over the place, I'm effectively doing the same thing. I am removing material. The bonus to it is, is that we can replace it with a simple approach. <laughs> that's the, uh, that's the uh, without making it, a, without making it a, a hard repair process, you know. Um, I th like I said, I think that there's a lot of, um, a lot of, uncertainties of saying, how did it get like this, you know, or why is my leather uh, losing color? Or if I'm uh, cleaning leather and I wipe it with a towel and I pick color up, you know, oh, this product uh, messed up my leather. Well, no, the product didn't mess up your leather. The amount of abrasion that we've caused to it for X amount of time is how we got to this point. Um, so, uh, I know before we even kind of get started with um, demonstrations or anything like that, I know that the biggest question is, is, is how long does it last? It lasts equally as long as it took you to do it in the first time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you're on your steering wheel a lot and if you're jumping in and out of your car a lot, um, how long does this last? It lasts the same amount of time as it took you to do it the first time as when it was brand new or used or however you uh, obtained the vehicle in whatever condition it was in at that time. So, yeah, it's um, yeah, but so, simple so maybe system. For, for people who don't know Colorlog, so Colorlog is a German company, so we have an own lab, we have an own production, so we produce the products by ourselves, and all the, the recipes or formulas um, made by ourselves, and um, we supply also the car industry um, directly, the OEMs, but also the suppliers, the tier right. one, um, companies. So um, what our products have to perform is exactly the same what brand new leather has to perform because there's no testing um, rules or system for repaired leather, you know. So there's just a, a, a norm for brand new leather. So when we do a repair, the car industry asks us always um, that, the, that we have to pass the same um, testing rules, the same norm, what we ha what a brand new leather have to pass because there's not um, um, a simple way to pass the test or something like this. So that is why we can really say it is um, long last the same like mm -hmm. like before. Um, mostly customers, that is a good thing. If you speak with them, I mean it's communication always, always, always communication. Yes, yes. Um, if you speak with them and you say, hey, look, um, maybe this is also um, this, this damage or wearing this color is because you use the car on this way. Maybe there's an opportunity to, to change yeah. um, the way how you use exactly. your car. Um, maybe then it lasts longer than, um, than before. But um, yeah, yeah, customer asks how long it lasts. We have to bring our the answer awareness. Is the same. We, we bring the awareness to their attention. Um, the same thing could be with uh, dye transfers, the common issues that we see. Um, obviously, it's always brought up on white vehicles and white light-colored leathers, but it doesn't mean it's not happening to the dark-colored leathers as well. Um, so as long as we can um, explain to the customer that uh, your pants and your shirts and your clothing and your body sweat and your uh, the climates and a lot of different variable factors is uh, causing this to happen, it's very good that they put this in their mind now. So once it's in their mind and they know, um, you know, that they've been educated by a, by a detailer because they do take a lot of trust for us. They need us, they, when a, when a customer brings us the car, they're expecting the professionalism and the trust to be right there. And they're, uh, they bring us their car because they trust us. Um, this is number one. Um, so, and we don't want to jeopardize that. So if we can give them like the, the best thorough, uh, how do you say, uh, we want to give them a best thorough understanding of the condition of their car. 
Yeah. You know, that is our job as an auto detailer or a professional auto detailer is, is to help them understand the condition of their car so that they can move forward with uh, maintaining it, exterior, interior, wheels, tires, metals, plastics, and especially the leathers. So, um, it's, uh... Okay. Yeah. So now we show how we easy it is. We'll show them how yeah. easy it <laughs> okay. is. So. so maybe with the camera you will catch before... Um, the the polestar that everybody see how it looks like before and then um, we can we will start thank you rag company for supplying this car to us it's been uh, it's actually a very perfect uh very very perfect dem demo car everything is black inside um we have a mix of different problems going on here and um like I said, with the understanding the condition of the leather, like uh, the bolsters are usually commonly worn on and we get this discoloration. And this is due to the amount of times this car has been gotten in and out of, uh, even down to the weight of the individual, what types of clothing, jackets, etc., things like that that they've worn. And then if we have a feel to it, we can kind of understand that, you know, maybe their window was down, maybe it got rained in, um, you know, maybe it, it was uh, wet from an alternative product that's, uh, that's, 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 that the, that the leather is not liking it so much as it's um, altering the actual material. But yeah, the rag company really supplied a really great vehicle <laughs> for us. It's got lots of very common problems. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So how to start now is, um, so in, in the kit is already a cleaner, in the, in the kit is already a cleaner inside. Um, so there's a mild leather cleaner inside, you see it's a very small bottle, but it is um, probably enough for two seats, no problem. And then we have a degreaser inside to degrease the surface, because you don't know what kind of conditioner, body oil or whatever was on the surface. And then we have a 30 mil leather fresh in black already inside, and then we have a leather shield. If you don't want it glossy and the condition is quite good, but this one is already a little bit hard, so you get also, and that is I think very nice, you get a small elephant, um, what, is, what is probably enough for three time um, applying on the, on the whole interior. So, um, and this will soften the leather also a little bit and um, will, give, will give a better, a better touch back. Uh, elephant is always a little bit semi-gloss, but um, um, this is on a car like this, on a used car, what we want, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we don't want it to, to matte. Okay, then there's also a sanding block inside. What we need, if the leather is a little bit rough, what is in this case um, happen, so we need also a sanding block. Um, if you do it professional, I think it makes sense to have anyhow a leather cleaner in your workshop. So um, I will do it more or less like you do it also in your in your in your workshop. I will use a strong leather cleaner. The difference between the strong leather cleaner and the mild leather cleaner is both are water based, both are solvent free. There's um, nothing um, inside what is heavy something. Um, the difference is um, the mild leather cleaner is a soap-free cleaner um, with a pH 5.5, what the original leather normally have on the surface, and the strong leather cleaner is a soap cleaner, so um, with a pH around about 8. Also not too high, but we have to degrease after we use the strong leather cleaner. And it comes in a foam spanning bottle, because we don't want to do extra extra water or something on this and the brush just helps us to to um, to clean um, also under the um, the leather leather has a texture um, um, a grain on it and we want to clean also down of the In the texture of the grain down of the grain yeah and we don't clean the whole seat on one step, we just clean um, or we clean um, one part or one section after one. the next section or how do you say it in English? One so section. I'm German, sorry for my... One section at a time. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for my accent, I hope you still understand me. Und 
and you don't need a lot of pressure. It's not um, it's not the idea that you really press heavy on it. It's just more um, agitation. Yeah. Agitation and uh, and uh, the leather cleaners are both pigment safe and uh, we use the word pigment a lot and this basically means color. Um, so when we say it's safe on the pigments, it means uh, if the top coat has worn away and we're at this point of every action that's taken place on the leather is now on on top of the pigment as opposed to a polyurethane top coat or some form of a top coat that's on here the uh, the cleaner is safe on the pigment so not going to damage the pigment you can see some uh, swelling on some parts of the perforated areas uh, you might see leather swelling because of how fast a temperature or a climate could change. You see this a lot on Aston Martins, Rolls Royce, um, some nice Mercedes, uh, a lot of cars, uh, Ferraris. You'll see this on the, on the, typically on the tops of the door panels, um, leather, leather, leather panels that are on the tops of the door panels. And this happens because of a rapid change of climate. So if it got a little bit wet and now the car goes out into the heat, uh, the leather is rapidly changing, but not at a pace that it, that it, that it likes. So as the heat hits it, it, it stays in this fixated raised area. So I know a lot of, uh, uh, if we're tinting windows, for example, let's try to cover these panels up so that we're not um, splashing too much water on them. And uh, this will help to kind of save uh, these swelled areas. Yeah. And I also want to show you how I clean perforated leather. You see, I don't do anything different to the not perforated yeah, area. Exactly the same. Um, because the good thing is in the foam spanning bottle, we Correct. don't have it too wet. Correct. So it's really not a problem. Um, yeah. And the little bit moisture will go yeah. um, in the leather. And the brush is not damaging it. No. The brush is not damaging. We, get the, we sometimes get the question if a brush is uh, too damaging for perforated leather. The answer is no. I mean, it makes sense to use to use a leather cleaning brush. So if you use any random brush, then this is maybe yes, um, too strong. Yeah, correct. So you can, yeah, yeah, absolutely. If, uh, if if the leather's in really great condition, maybe you can use a boar's hair brush or some uh, brush on a stick. This is, works just the same as well, and you'll get a great result also with the cleaner. Yeah. Uh, the cleaning is uh, probably the best, uh, the best maintenance that we can do. Uh, not necessarily the conditioning that we've been programmed to do and we uh, feel that this is a good idea. It's more the cleaner. Um, if we have the uh, proper cleaner, which is in the, and we keep the leather clean, um, we're, doing a, we're doing a great service to the leather. Yeah, one thing what I um, always like to point on it is um, cleaning is much more important than um, applying a conditioner on the top. Because, you know, um, I, I already mentioned the pH on, the, on a brand new leather on the surface is around about 5.56, so it's a slightly acid. Yeah. And um, the body oil, sweat um, is mostly uh, around about 8. So just by using the car, just by touching the surface, you lift the pH and um, the oxidation can start. Um, on, the on the nice way, we say patina. But patina, the, patina. Patina. But the patina is a little bit more what is with the leather in the past, you know. Um, and a brand new modern or a modern uh, pigmented leather. Um, don't really want patina because patina on, on this kind of leather means it's dirty. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, if you have an armchair at home with a, with a semi aniline or aniline leather and this gets patina, that is something what we want. That yeah, is right. normal. But not on a, not on a modern no. pigmented leather. No, no. And modern doesn't mean 
um, it has to be very brand new. So already um, a modern um, leather is from the end of the 70s, beginning of the 80s, uh, you know. And uh, yeah, the leather production has been changing rapidly. Uh, the idea is, and you know, the reason why we see these uh, terms used in the, uh, you know, in the productions of the vehicles is, is uh, we need leather and we need it faster, you know. So if they can produce leather at a faster rate, um, the idea is, is to have a more durable leather at a faster rate for these, you know, manufacturers and through the production process. So durability is always in question. Um, this is something that they're looking for and this is why uh, we have uh, the certain types that we have when we say a modern leather. A modern leather is a very durable. Uh, we can take our fingernails to it, we can kind of scratch it, we can really be far more abrasive to it than we could of a vehicle that was born in the in the 30s, the 40s, you know. You remember your dad's old Camaro and uh, you know, his, uh, his, a lot of scratches and things like this. So there's a uh, these these leathers in these years and these productions of these years, the leather had a much higher wear and tear factor to it. Um, and uh, if we're going to talk about the older leathers, the older leathers are more keen to need in the conditioning with, the, say, the elephant fat, for example. These older leathers really, really still need this. So um, with the modern leathers, not so much you know we want to stay clean on the modern leathers and if we can try to protect it and if we can try to uh what we're going to do here is is effectively re replace the material that's been lost yeah. so and um we're going to repeat the tannery process the best that we possibly can through a simple repair so yeah. Lars did a really good job on cleaning that pretty quickly. Like, yeah, that, that would have taken me longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did it before, yeah, yeah. once, two times. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so, um, what I'm doing now, so I feel with my fingers here and I, I feel a little bit um, roughness here. Right, right. So, um, we want to smooth down. So, to use a sanding block is not the idea what probably they do sometimes when they when they spray paint on other surfaces to get a better bounding. This is not the idea. The idea here is to to smooth it down that it's everything feels um, nice and nice smooth and again. Smooth. Yeah. yeah. And and a lot of people say, oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Scared. Scared of this step. To, to use a yeah. to use a sanding. This is a scary step for most. Um, the leather is very, very forgiving. Um, unlike paint, you know, uh, if you burn through paint, <laughs> the customer uh, will forgive you or not forgive you. Um, you can, you can, you can burn leather effectively. The leather, the leather is very, very tolerant to a sanding pad, and uh, these uh, sanding pads have an interface inside of them. Obviously, the blue foam inside of here is an interface to help with uh, going over the stitches or these raised areas where we have a, uh, a stitch line. It uh, helps it to be a lot safer in these areas um, as opposed to uh, hard blocks or soft blocks if we were to associate it with um, uh, sand and paint, you know. Okay, and as soon as it's soft, so when you when you go with your hanging fingers over this, and everything is now soft. But what you see already on my fingers is sanding dust. Yes. Yeah. So we have to remove the sanding dust, and we have to degrease the surface that we get a good bounding for the for the leather fresh. So I put some degreaser in my cloth, and the kit comes with this white cloth. It's not with a yellow microfiber. This is from the right company, and. Um, Sometimes I have also the question that people say, um, can I use a microfiber on the surface? So the answer is yes. Um, is, if it, you is it the best towel? A microfiber is good, yeah. That's but good. but uh, of course, and you can wash it again and you can use to wipe d the dirt, you can use an old one, you know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. just wash it, use an old one to wipe the dirt. 
Um, but some people ask me, is it not too rough or scratches or something like this? Of course, there's microfibers on the market who are too rough and yeah, they, sure. it's not good to use them. So use a, use a good one, a soft one, something what you will use to remove dust on the surface or yeah. outside. Um, if you have a microfiber like this, it's no, no problem. I think, um, is it the eagle? The, you can use? the low nap towels work really well um, and or a cotton cloth um, do a really good job at uh, picking, picking up off of the leathers. Mm -hmm. But the low nap towels work really well, um, cotton cloths work really well, and if you have towels that are ready for the bin, um, now, they, now they have another use. They have another use, yeah. So of course you can wait that the degrees are dry by himself or you just need to use a heat gun, what I do now. And um, just dry the before. Yeah, then a final check here, okay. And all the scratches are not so deep that we, that we need any filler or something like this. We just can re-dye it now. And um, we use a leather fresh. It's a color, so you have to shake it proper. And the, the uh, leather fresh is 60% uh, pigment, 40% neutral binder. Yeah, so the neutral binder is a mixture of a primer and a clear coat. So leather fresh is a sure. three and one um, step product. Is it correct to say? We, yes, this is what helps it make it a, uh, a all-in-one product. Or uh, if you didn't want to go towards a professional type of leather repair, this is the DIY approach. Um, and anybody can do this. And to get to get a to get the first good layer, I wipe it, and uh, well, I have to sit down a little bit different. And then the next one is uh, dapping, because when you wipe, you get maybe some stripes, and. Uh, this is not what we want. No, we don't want brush strokes. Yeah. Um, but thin layers. Uh, the idea is not to paint it on in one shot and call it a done deal. Um, we want to build it up slowly through thin layers. Um, so if you, have a, if you don't have a heat gun, a hair dryer will work. We use the heat to help speed the process up. Otherwise, the leather fresh, if we leave it set, by itself, it has a dry time of really just a few minutes. It's not very long at all, but the hair dryer and the heat um, just helps us to be able to work a little bit faster. So it's, a, it's an essential tool for the professionals, uh, but it takes uh, literally a couple, couple seconds and we can move on to the next layer. So it's not, um, yeah. Yeah, it's not I mean wasting any from time. Florida, no? so I'm in Florida. <laughs> I'm in Florida. <laughs> we don't need a. You just open the door, and uh, uh, by the time you uh, get to the top of the bolster, the bottom of the bolster is dry. <laughs> so it's uh, yeah, the climate definitely plays a plays a role into into how quickly the leather fresh is going to cooperate with you. And uh, if uh, if you guys need selective pigments the, um, we can get you any color that you need so obviously we're using black here black's a universal color it's it's pretty much standard across the board year makes and models so um, black is always a great product to keep on your shelf and introduce yourself to learning how to do this um, but again if you guys need um, any other colors uh, we have a pretty cool DeLorean behind us with a blue interior, for example, we can make this blue for you. Yeah, of course. Um, the heat gun has 450 degrees Fahrenheit roundabout. So um, that is something what leather can keep where we will. What I will want to do now is um, I will do <coughs> this again Excuse to me. get a better blinding in and out to smooth a little bit. So um, of course, this is a, this is a step back. But this step back is very helpful to get just a nicer result and, and 
to have it very very smooth so what makes sense um, sometimes to to send between the layers um, but don't forget to to remove the dust right so because when you so I just go with the degreaser again over this and remove the dust because when you when you um, don't remove the dust and you will get a very rough mm. surface of course yeah? for if there's a for our our auto detailer friends who have uh, really done a great job with educating themselves on um, paints and codons uh, I relate the degreaser to your IPA so we're all we're all very aware of the term IPA or uh, some form of a prep saw solution to clean the paint paint before we apply a coat in this is uh, the degreaser is this step effectively if yeah. you wanted to relate the two but the degreaser is not flammable so it's a um, very gentle product yeah, in right. the end right yeah. Then what I do now is um, I do a little bit of massage to get the original grain back. Because the grain is embossed so, uh, so strong in the leather that it um, don't forget how it looks like. So you just have to massage it back to get the original grain back a little bit. Yeah. Leather is effectively dead skin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, if, I think that we've already added uh, a couple years back to the life just with a few extra quick steps. So, um, very simple. This is, you know, even if even if it was just one layer of the leather fresh, you're 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 adding a, a huge benefit to your leather care or leather maintenance steps and process. Even if it was just one coat, it's better than no coats. Um, you know, so just uh, we've already put a couple years back into the seat by adding this and back in there, so that we're not necessarily rubbing on that uh, on that on the rawness of the of the leather, the underlining under the under the pigment. Um, Uh, like I said earlier about being able to not be re be able to replace clear coat, we've effectively replaced material. So the life is coming back, and um, this, this is a uh, same system can be used. Uh, we're using the steering wheel kit on this, um, but the steering wheel kit is also right now being used on a bolster. So the steering wheel kit is really great because. This is enough in the steering wheel kit where we could do this bolster, the steering wheel, maybe an elbow rest or spot. So within this small kit with the small 30 mil bottles, we're still able to achieve a lot of isolated small repairs. So, it, it, and uh, again, this is not, we're, we're not pulling out um, professional airbrush tools or we're not pulling out fillers or, so it's a very simple step and it can be used on um, the alternative, the the alter, the al the alternative surfaces as well. So um, even the, even the uh, plastics and the vinyls. So. so the steering wheel kit is really uh, a really very more versatile. There's still a little bit of spot, so that's why I want to sand it again to get it more lined it in. Right. Don't forget to Wipe. remove the dust, yes. That's very common that the people have forgot this. I yeah, forget this stuff. <laughs> This is a nice thing on leather, it's very forgiven. Yes. You already mentioned that this is a very... 
Yeah, it's very forgiving. If uh, if we were to look back through the history of time when uh, cars were built, uh, you know, the first cars built came with uh, either metal or metal or wood steering wheels. You know, um, driving down the road, this was not comfortable. Um, it was not fun to hold on to. Uh, later through history, they incorporate uh, leathers around the steering wheels. This helped to ease the comfort on the steering wheels, but it was still not comfortable because it was actually caused because of the type of leather. We're talking an aniline leather. And it's uh, shrinking and doing all types of things in the climate because of the actual tannin process. There's no, there's no pigments being added to them. And so the leather is uh, patina and very quickly and altering and changing its shape very, very fast. So um, this didn't really work through these early production vehicles either. Uh, was it sometime around the 60s, Lars, right, that yeah. they start adding pigment? Um, around the 60s, they start adding pigments to the steering wheels and start, uh, now we're starting to kind of get somewhere with uh, comfort and things like this because any of you guys who have ever, de ever detailed old Novas, old Chevelles, old, uh, you know the steering wheel. Um, it's not like our modern day steering wheels right now. So uh, if we think about it, it, you know, this production of the, you know, the uh, leather and how durable it's become is really not that old. Um, so, um, so now we have a, a, a leather that's a little bit more durable around the 60s and then uh, as we keep fast forward in, you know, this is the idea of the game. Make the leather more durable, make it more comfortable, um, make it last longer and we're kind of at this point with the production of it. Um, you know, as there's also too in the uh, in the early years, why the guys were uh, you know wearing their, their their gloves is because you know wearing their race gloves and wearing their leather gloves is because they're destroying their steering wheels very fast because of the body sweats. You know, um, our hands alone, as Lars mentioned, with the amount of oils and greases and um, you know. And we see with, uh, you know, uh, uh, makeups and uh, lotions and sunscreens and, you know, every, every, everything that we're touching is being added to the steering wheel. So, and we're, and we're pressing it in there. We're pressing it into the grain. The leather is porous, so it wants to, it wants to take in what we're, what we're, what we're giving it. And um, so we're very, uh, we're very accustomed to seeing all of these problems on mostly the steering wheels. So, um, Steering wheels usually number one friction point, bolsters very shortly behind it. Um, gear shifters and elbow rests all fall along the high traffic zones. If you have kids, best of luck. It's, it's, uh, it's, you, you have to deal with what you have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these are tr high traction zones too. Um, but the leather is very durable and very forgiving. And so we do have, uh, um, we do have a, an, an ability to kind of bring life back to it, which is very nice. Which they did not have this many years ago. They did not have the ability. No, when we, when we start 27 years ago with leather repair, um, there was... Hash, jackets. Not really. Furniture. Uh, yeah, but there was not really um, a lot of products on the market. No, 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 no. Um, so um, the tannery process was changing, and then also the opportunity to 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 restore leather was popping up at this time. So um, now everything is very set up, and uh, we know really what we what we do. You know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that looks great. So now we have two two options. When we say, okay, this is um, good enough recolored. So um, if you are happy with this, um, then we have two options. What I already mentioned. So we have the leather shield, or. Um, um, at the right company, the co-branding product called Sealand, right? Um, the Sealand product. This is something 
um, you can't apply straight away because um, it's a water-based product, our system, um, with a poly polyurethane, polyurethane, and um, you can touch it now. The customer can go in and out. There's no Correct. problem. But it is not water resist now, so it needs 24 hours to be water resist. Um, so we, we recommend to, to apply laser shield uh, early next day. Um, we have um, a few details, as they say, oh, I can't keep the car one day more. Right. Uh, the customer wants to pick up the car straight That's away. Okay. So what you can do, you can spray leather. Um, shield or the sealant product, so just in a spray gun, like how you do it with um, coating on, on, right. a, on, a, on, a, on a wheel, right, on a rim, right. right? Um, you can spray it on it, but this is anyhow an old car and it has anyhow a little bit of semi-gloss and it needs also um, care because it's, uh, it's um, a little bit hard, not anymore here, but maybe there, so I will anyhow recommend to use the elephant. And elephant is um, is a synthetic synthetic fat, um, water free, so doesn't smell. Unfortunately, detailers like smell. I know, but this is without any smell. We did a special edition yes, yes, last yes, year the, with the ladies edition, the, a ladies and a men edition. But normally, it's without any. Um, yeah. Any smell. Yeah, and it's safe enough that you could apply it with your hands if you wanted to massage it in with your hands. This is fine as well. Um, but yeah, you can, you can do this with a with yeah. a with a with a application. But you can do it, of course. You can do it on this way also. And if this is too hard, you just can warm it up with a um, with a heat gun or with a hair dryer. Right. Now it's very glossy, I know, but um, this will, um, it is still a breathable surface. That's maybe very right. important. So right. even if leather is pigmented, so it's color on top, also when it comes from the factory, it's still a breathable surface. So um, to, to put a, um, to apply a color, what is acryl based or acrylic, uh, acrylic yeah. or something similar? It doesn't make sense because then you you seal in the surface completely and it's not any more breathable. So um, um, humidity moisture doesn't can come in and out, and um, the leather will be uh, very very hard um, on the long term. So it makes very s uh, it makes sense to to use really a color what is made for leather. Um, what is still um, for caring for the leather, not just the color. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what I want to point on it is that the elephant will um, penetrate through the color layer inside of the leather and will give him um, a soft, soft, nice touch. Okay. Uh. Good job, Lars. Yeah, I hope so. That was really good. Um, again, this is uh, going back to kind of what I said earlier. A lot of the times we always get the question, how long will this last? This is a, this is a, user, this is a user question and also a maintenance question. So it's going to last equally as long, as long as it took to do it the first time. So um, give this 24 hours to set up, as Lars mentioned, without any, you know, water-based substances touching it. After 24 hours, it's just like here or just like here, um, you know, and if I wanted to start a braiding on this spot right now, um, depending on how long I do this, is going to depend on how long that's going to last. Yeah. So, um, and it's going to... Of course, you can, you can clean it after one week. You yes. can clean it again with my laser cleaner or a strong laser cleaner. Okay, so maybe we have a few minutes last. I don't know if some questions there. I guess yes. So maybe we go back to the table and then we can answer some. Well, how questions. long did that take you to do? You uh, just did that 30 in minutes, 20 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So, in a, a quick <laughs> additive to an auto detailer solution, um, that was really quick. That's very quick. That yes. was very quick. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? What do you can charge from the customer? Okay. 150? Yeah. 150, 150. Um, yeah, 100, 150. If you really like the guy, take care of him. Uh, <laughs> but 
with what people are willing to pay for a service like this because it's they're going to associate it to a repair whether it's DIY or it's professional from the customer's perspective you fixed the problem um, so to the right person this could be priceless and uh, you know uh, depending on your marketplace your person in front of you this is going to depend on where you have your value at right now okay. so yeah Let's go to the questions. Okay, so Man. let's bring some on. Hello, how's it all going out there? You guys did a great job. It looks fantastic Man, on Man. those seats. And uh, custom yeah. corrections definitely liked uh, seeing what they were seeing out there. They didn't know there was going to be a demo, and then boom, there was one. Um, <laughs> okay. Scott here, I think a guy could make a living just fixing lips. Yes, yes, absolutely. absolutely. Definitely, definitely true. Yes. Yeah. And detailer's roadmap. Can they talk about the approach of being too aggressive or how to avoid where you begin to remove that top coat on leather? Uh, yeah, that's going to depend on the leather surface because, you know, these different automotive manufacturers, um, let's take a Mercedes-Benz MB Text, for example. This is a tough surface. Everybody knows this is a, it's a, it's a vinyl, huh? it's a vinyl, you know, so it, it's very durable. Um, so what what is a what is a what has an effect on on on, on the leather surface is of course um, rubbing over the surface grain but, um, but also the yeah. the the pH yeah. is a is a is a thing what you have to think about it so if so you know now the pH is normally five point five right. so every every cleaner what is more acid or every every cleaner what is more alkaline doesn't make sense because we always want to come back to this to this right, pH right. because the tannery is um, um, doing exactly this um, this pH to to keep it long last so um, that is what I mean cleaning is more important than conditioner or something mm. like this so um, clean it regular with my leather cleaner because my leather cleaner is 5.5 and um, then you always come back to the to 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 the surface you need and then you don't have any oxidation right. or something like this and also the clear coat what we call top coat at leather can be very stable you know so um, and on top of course the wearing is an issue well it's a it's a huge variable question and it always depends on the leather um, is the the higher end the more luxury leathers that we start to look at <coughs> if we look at a rolls royce or if we look at um let's say a, a high problem vehicle like bmw coral reds you know they want to bmw wants to give a luxury feel so um in order to do so they have to kind of reduce how much how much material and uh, however they decide to tan this leather so that it gives it a more of a, a luxury appeal through the feel yeah. um so there's a lot of variables in that question okay andrew okay Hain. And uh, I'll have Ivan read yeah. these next few here, starting with uh, Andrew. Andrew here, just saying. So any leather or ceramic coating product coming from Color Locks? Yeah, hats, handbags, shoes, belts, <laughs> wallets. No, 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 no. The, the, the. So Changed we, over we, to Stefan here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, our screens no. got a little mixed up. Yeah, no problem. You? No, so so we, have, we already <laughs> have a product what called Top Life. Um, Top Life is... Uh, ceramic coating. What is not a ceramic coating is more a polyurethane um, coating um, because it has to be still flexible, it has to be still breathable, um, it has to be um, still um, a touch of leather so when you apply it you still want that um, the leather feels like leather, right? right correct. Yep. And um, it is also a product what you can remove with a, with a special product called Prepare. Um, so what doesn't damage the original surface, you know? So um, mostly the problem with ceramic coating is um, you seal it too much, so it doesn't breathable anymore. And the next problem is it's too hard, so it doesn't feel yeah. like leather anymore. Right. And the, the next problem is if you have to remove it because you want to do a repair or something like this, um, you need a heavy solvent to remove the, the, the ceramic coating on the leather and then you remove also um, original finishing, what you right, don't right, want. So right. with Top Life, um, we all don't have these issues and it has no uh, yellow wishing, so it doesn't come, mm. it doesn't change to yellow what some yeah. coating products do. I mean, on the black seat, not a problem, but the most customer who ask you, they have a Tesla with a white interior. They went they yellow. Have a, or, or BMW yeah, yeah, yeah. with a white interior. So this kind of customer ask you, and you don't want that this is after UV, 
when you use it in Florida, that right. it comes yellow, which is. So Top Life is the product what's coming. You will find some videos and it is also available on the rack company. And to the point where leather does want to breathe through its uh, second dead life is, uh, and dependent on the spot of the leather too, if we take a leather dashboard for example, it's already got so much, um, um, you know, bond and cement and glues and whatever they kind of use to fix this on the bottom. So there's already one trapped side of the leather. If we trap both sides of the leather, uh, the, it's not going to like it. So trapping one side is okay. It still has a chance to continue its life, second life. Um, but if we trap both sides of it, we're not giving it too much left to go on. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then Ivan, next question. So it sounds like low VOCs for the cleaners, Lars. Is that correct? Yes, yeah. yes absolutely correct. Yeah. Okay, very, Excellent. very low. Nearly no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's perfect. And then Dino wanted to point out, it's interesting that the leather wasn't dry on a car that's, frankly, that's a 92. Oh, it's dry. Yeah, so it is. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's not perfect. It's a leather's <laughs> pretty dry on this car. It has yeah. an open top to it, so it's well, probably... that's why it needs yeah. elephant and not yeah. leather shield. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then... Uh, I think this is a good one here from David. Ivan, go ahead. I feel like myself, as well as most other enthusiasts, look past properly cleaning leather and caring for it. Thank Very you, welcome, guys. David. Thank you. Thank you, David. And uh, then I got Kirby. Watching Lars clean that seat is why I prefer leather over cloth. Often easier to clean. I could watch and Lars enjoy. clean leather all day. <laughs> yeah, it's very day. soothing, I isn't love it? Watching him. It's like a spa experience. Yeah, that's <laughs> Then I got <laughs> Scott here. Keeping leather clean is more important than keeping it conditioned. I love these little tidbits of information because I think that that goes over welcome, a lot of people's Scott. heads you. a lot of the time. So Definitely, that's important yeah. to yeah. note. Yeah. Um, then I've got, oh, this one's from JB, Ivan. Uh, your favorite towel, Lars, to use with the cleaners. Oh, Honestly, I don't know the name, so uh, but Levi <laughs> is standing there. So Levi, you have this uh, this this gray gloss, what is um, um, flat on one side and long on the other side. Ah, uh, creature. Creature. Yeah. That is my favorite. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's an answer, and uh, I, I I like this. I, I saw this somebody trying to correct Lars as if he was doing something wrong. I said this is some surfactant cleaner. If so, it needs more contact time to work. So he was noting when you were cleaning, but I think, Lars, you cleaner. know what you're doing. <laughs> this is some surfactant cleaner. Uh, so he, I, I guess he I thought you were going it. a little yeah, quickly, it. but it clearly it worked. Needs more so. time to work. Um. No, it doesn't. No, no, that's not. No. no, we don't want to to make the leather too wet. Maybe I maybe I got the the, the okay. question now. So, no, we really we, we, we the, that's how we do it. So it's not. I'm not under pressure now here on the show. Um, um, I anyhow forgot the camera honestly. So um, no, we really clean and wipe it. Clean again, wipe it. We don't leave the, the cleaner um, long on the surface because you don't have a flat even surface so if you if you have different spots then you just um, have two clean areas yeah, maybe yeah. and then it's very hard to get it completely clean and maybe and, and also what the cleaner is doing a little bit is um, um, swelling the surface yeah. that you can take um, the dirt outside and you don't want to over swell it if it makes sense I hope well, you, it's you know what I mean so we really yeah. clean and wipe we clean and wipe we don't um, give an extra time no. setting on the, the cleaner that's not what we if do if, on if, if, if we it's have not a like a yeah not it like a steering, uh, um, uh, uh, wheel cleaner yeah if, if, if we just took the cleaner to a, a towel and just kind of wiped, um, you'll get a result, but you only get a result on the areas that are raised because leather is grained. So it would be a, uh, it would be like uh, trying to trying to clean a textured surface with one simple wipe. Um, the chances of it becoming clean in one or two wipes back and forth is not likely to happen. You're going to have dirt inside the cracks and the crevices. So the brush. Um, and stay uh, the brush and staying inside of your isolated spots at a time is going to allow you to be really effective. Yeah. Um, but it makes sense to wipe. Yeah. So clean, clean wipe, wipe, clean, clean wipe. wipe yeah. Away. Don't okay. Yeah. Don't let. Don't yeah. make too much uh, yeah. moisture on the surface. 
Now, I'll have Ivan read this next one, but I will say we have several questions, so if we can kind of get through them a little quicker, I want to make sure we address a lot of people's yes, 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 questions yes. and concerns here. So, yeah. Ivan, So, go ahead. can Lars talk about using just a sponge for maintenance cleaning, not Lars using sponge. the brush always? Of course, yeah. So, if the, if, the, if the car is not so dirty, you can use a sponge, of course. And um, in our kits, it's also it's, it's already just a sponge inside, you know, a new leather care kit or smooth leather care kit. There's just uh, just a sponge, a little bit thicker, uh, um, bigger than this one, but this <coughs> is this is absolutely okay. So, if it's not very dirty, no jeans dye transfer or something like this, then just go with a sponge over this. And also for the maintaining, so for regular cleaning once a week or yeah, 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 how often you want to do it. Um, it's not necessary to use always a brush. No, right, start right. with a sponge, okay. and the brush is necessary if it's dirty and you can't clean it anymore with, yeah. a, with a sponge. Certain parts of the seat, like the back of the headrest, for example, it might never get touched. It might not get the UV or so. We can kind of uh, think, I want to be a little bit aggressive here with a brush, but over here, I don't need to be. So. We can um, alternate our, our cleaning methods depending on the integrity of that section. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I still got about 10 left here, but we're okay to go over time a little bit into the middle of the show, so I want to make sure we can okay. address some of these because they are yeah. important questions. Yeah. Uh, level best awesome. asking. <laughs> oh, hey, is color lock denim stain remover Clean still fashion. in hey. production? Been trying to get my hands on it, but haven't seen it stop. Leather Cleaner Strong will remove some denim stains. Um, yeah, but the denim stain remover is GLD. Yeah, but yeah, correct. So we still have this product in, pro, um, correct. in, in the program, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Excellent. But you have still have to catch it quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Stefan here, can I use Color Lock products on my real leather Churchill yes. oh armchair? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Excellent. And, oh, <laughs> Dino says this works well on designer bags. 100%. A way to earn money on detailing in the offseason. 100%. Absolutely. You might find yourself... Uh, Side Offering hustle. alternative services. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, go ahead and take this yeah. next one here. You can uh, add another service. So does color lock work for all leather goods, or are there some stipulations? For all pigmented surfaces, yes. And then also we do have aniline leather cleaners, and we have all, yes, we can cover all leather care. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, color lock can cover all leather, uh, all leather goods. Um, but of course, the strong leather cleaner is made for semi aniline and pigmented leather and not for open pore or um, for aniline leather, you know. So, okay. depends on what you have, you have to choose the right product. If you don't know what you have to choose or you don't know what kind of leather you have, please ask us, we will help you. Okay. And Scott Mattern here saying, approximately how long does it take to get custom colors shipped to the US? If we need a sample, it could take a week. A week. Two weeks, week yeah. two weeks, depending on location. That's not bad. So oh. now, if we if we so if we have the if we have the um, the original sample in stock, it needs three to four days. Um, if we need a sample, of course, then we have the sample shipping um, on top. But uh, we we need around about three days. Okay. So I will see a week. Then I got Greg here, Ivan. Is the color lock sealant you sell on the site Correct. the same as yes. their shield product? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Excellent. And yes, uh, Andrew Same. making a comment saying, what a powerful addition to the business. Tons of opportunities. Oh, absolutely. Um, you'll find some places, uh, there's some places in Europe where um, it's not just cars coming into their place. They got trucks dropping off couches and ottomans. Oh, yep. wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got Paul here. I was told current leather doesn't need conditioner because it's coated pleather. Is that true or false? No, that's not true because yeah. it is um, so... It is coated, yes, but um, the way how they coat it is completely different. The chemical systems is completely different to a coating here outside of a car, you know. So this is a flexible, breathable uh, coating. How we, and we, that is why we call it pigmented. We don't say it's painted or coated. We speak about pigmented because it is a breathable surface. So the conditioner will pass the surface um, or the finishing, the coating, the pigment will pass it and go through to the leather. Yeah, if, so if, especially if you give it more time. You know, okay. if you give it more time, ideally with the elephant fat, what I've done in the years past is, is I would apply, I don't want to say a thick or, but a, you know, a generous coat to it, uh, leave it sit overnight, come back out the next day and uh, 
if I look at if I look at the leather, I'll see the spots of the leather that really wanted it, yeah. and then there's going to be what we would associate with exteriors. We see high spots. Um, you know, these are this is the parts of the leather that's saying, "Hey, I'm I'm okay. I don't need this." You know, or I I, I can okay. wait till later. But the parts that really take it in. Um, you know, so if you give it a little bit more time to kind of allow the conditioner to do what it does, if you apply conditioner, wipe it on, wipe it off, you're masking and just causing a, you're making a, you're making a quick alteration to the surface. But if it's, but it, yeah, so if you wipe it on, wipe it off, it's, it's not very beneficial. Uh, you'll you'll get some benefits to it, but it's not uh, giving it enough time no, to no, properly. No, you have to. That is yeah. opposite to the cleaner. So the cleaner, we wipe it directly. Conditioner, elephant. We um, the more time the better. Put it on the surface and let it suck in. Yeah. Okay. And, and Kirby here asking, is mild leather cleaner slightly acidic? Yes. Okay. It's pH five point five. And then Hugo wants to know how long will leather shields stay slippery? <laughs> <laughs> so slippery, really, really slippery. It is one day. Um, okay. After this, it is um, not anymore really slippery. But of course, the idea is to to be against wearing color, so the surface is a little bit slippery that 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 it uh, protects the color, you know. So, um, what is slippery is a is a question for me in this point. Hi, Hugo. But you don't you 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 can sit on it and you don't um, slip around on it. Right, you know? right. So it's not okay. Slippery like right. this. And then my last real question, followed by just a couple of nice comments, and uh, this is, is the leather cleaner mild like the aniline cleaner? Uh, it's very similar. Um, okay. It's, um, it's very, very, oh, there's Hugo Fire, please. Huh? Yes, Hugo. Yeah. <laughs> hi, hi, Hugo. <laughs> he's uh, all best, over it. <laughs> best, best regards to you. <laughs> so um, he's a nice customer from us. Uh, best regards I was going to say, he's us. clearly a fan, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, know our uh, we know each other. So um, the mild leather cleaner and the aniline cleaner is very, very similar. And um, if you um, use a mild leather cleaner on a on an aniline surface, um, and you use um, less material and you be very gentle, you don't make it too wet. It works absolutely the same like the aniline cleaner. Yes, but we All have right. also an aniline and nubac cleaner. What is um, made for um, aniline? In the first TRC mar, we was showing this on a on a oh, um, so go back to the first session. <laughs> okay, and uh, I had one more that I just wanted to mix in there because I thought Edmund Iverson brought up a good point. We did it on a darker colored seat, but he wondered if there were any particular pointers for doing it on a lighter colored seat. Possibly some differences. Yeah. No, the process is absolutely the same. Okay, um, we just asked for a car with a seat what we can repair and this was what we get. So um, we, when we arrive this morning, we don't know yeah. what, what we get. <laughs> so um, White, tan, but the process black. is the same, yeah. no, no different. <laughs> All right, excellent. Well, thank you so much, guys. That was a wonderful demo. You, Great chance to see everything uh, in real time. So we really appreciate that. Yeah, we really appreciate it. It was just fun to be here. Thank you so much to invite us. And um, Brian, thank you for Yeah, of course. Well, we love having you guys here. So thank you again. Thank you. All right. So, man, we're right at the halftime point. We, we made Exactly. It. We made it. You know, the first <laughs> morning of TRC has gone off without a hitch. Beautifully. Uh, even in the background, you know, on screen it always looks good. But sometimes in the background you see a lot of people running around. <laughs> TRCMA is getting better and better every year. It is. Uh, this is my third TRCMA. And, you know, the, the team here is such a cohesive team. They work well together. And... It's spectacular to see how they're doing this. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's been a great time, and I, I love seeing the flow. Everybody here is energized, and they're just excited to be here because it is it's a really really fun, engaging experience. It's something different than like the usual trade shows we go exactly, to and things. Yeah. It's all it's kind of tightly wound in this little space, but it gives you a chance to like reach out to people around the world all at once. Exactly. And what's coming up this afternoon? All right, so we got a few more things coming up this afternoon, guys. You can look forward to seeing. That's right, this afternoon. Yellow Tools, awesome tools, helping with vinyl wrapping, that kind of stuff. And, of course, the Wrap Institute following up after that. And then to top things off, we got Diamond Pro Tech, coding extraordinaires coming in to uh, possibly follow up on, well, the wrap stuff. Exactly. And are they introducing a new product? 
Maybe. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Could be. (laughs) We never know. (laughs) So, uh, yeah. So once we've got that settled, you guys can go ahead and uh, hang out because actually we're doing something unique this year, Ivan. Yes. Something a little bit different. The stream is not just ending and going to an afternoon stream. No, this is going to be a continuous full day stream. And we've got some cool stuff wrapped up in the middle of this because obviously – Jamie and Alex were doing the cleaner cast, the pre-show, and they're going to do the post-show after the show. But they're going to come on the stream in the middle during our lunch break. They're Excellent. going to come in and do a halftime show. So we're going to be playing some like pre-recorded video stuff, and then it's going to cut to their show. So uh, if you leave, make sure you leave this on in the background because they're going to catch. They're going to go live and uh, follow up. It's going to be fun. They might have some guests. Yeah, and if you know a detailer that isn't watching this right now, Send them, them the link. <laughs> uh, ha- get them on here. You know, this whole week, so today is Monday. We are going all the way to Thursday. A lot of very interesting demonstrations. You just saw the demonstration with Color Lock. You saw the demonstration with PNS. Yes. That is going to continue all week. There's a lot of, you know, fun stuff coming up. So you're going to learn, you're going to enjoy, and you're going to have fun. Absolutely. All the important stuff. So, Ivan, I think that's enough from us. Let's kick it over to the middle of the show and stay tuned for that halftime show with Alex and Jamie. See you soon.
What does detailing mean to me? Hmm. It means a lot. So I started detailing cars when I was 16 years old and here I am now, I'm almost 42. Uh, so for uh, over 25, 26 years, 26 years of my life, uh, I've been uh, detailing cars and I really, really enjoy just the entire process. Um, it allows me to just take my mind off things, uh, regardless how your day is going. When you're actually detailing a vehicle, you're focusing on the details so much that you forget about everything else that surrounds you. Uh, if you have any issues, any problems in your life, you kind of forget about those. Uh, I get into the zone when I'm detailing a vehicle, so I'm in my garage, I'm listening to some music, I'm uh, usually relaxing, so uh, believe it or not, uh, I don't view it too much as work, uh, but more as an art form and a way for me uh, to relax, forget about things, it's a soothing experience, and I just uh, really enjoy seeing people's smiles when they get their vehicle back. Detailing's exploded it literally exploded in the levels we go to of recoloring leather and taking every single swirl out of paint removing orange peel and defects you know i think we all know it's huge now so detailing has become a massive business you know go back 20 years ago one or two pads one machine one compound and some dirty old underwear or t-shirt for wiping it off your old secondhand clothes you know we never had these fancy microfiber cloths and so it's changed a lot, it's become very glamorous, very fun, sort of a huge in industry. Well, I'm different. I was kind of raised in it, so it's me. Detailing is me, it's what I've always been, it's what I've always done. Uh, it's my way to relax, it's my way to meditate, it's the way to, it's a skill set that I have that I know I can control 100%. Uh, I know that if there's a defect, I can remove it. I know that if there's a stain, I can remove it. And it's that instant gratification of knowing that you took something that was dirty, unloved, and you put a little love into it and you made it into something spectacular. So I think detailing means to me, uh, as a car enthusiast, you know, overall pride, right? It, you know, you take a lot of pride in being able to kind of work hard for the car that you have and be able to afford parts and, and accessorize. And part of the accessory business is being able to make sure that you make a vehicle that stands out from the rest. So I think the idea of being able to keep that car looking clean and presentable at all times uh, is incredibly important. Not to mention that Anthony has shown me the swirls, which I can't unsee. Well, detailing to me means peace of mind and profits. Keep in mind, however, that I look at detailing through a wrapper's perspective, not a detailer's perspective, so it might be a little different than you think. What we do at the Wrap Institute is we always try to break the wrapping process up into three stages. One is prep, one is install and the other is post install and detailing affects all three. Now in terms of prep, prep for me is peace of mind. And why? Well, detailing is all about getting that surface optimal so the material sticks and looks good. So that involves cleaning, let's say with rinseless washes, clay barring so the surface is extra smooth, knowing the right chemicals to degrease the edge, which is very important, if the paint has, uh, let's say, ceramic coating on it, for example, now I know how to take it off with the right compounds. And also what's cool now is there's more and more products coming out, let's say like Triple S, where once I get the surface smooth and ready to go, sometimes I actually lower the surface energy so the material slides and guides and looks better. So in terms of prep, detailing for me really gets the surface right so I know the material will stick and look good. Now in terms of the actual install portion, that second stage, you might not think detailing would be involved there a lot, but it actually does. So again, coming back to that product, let's say Triple S. Now I take that product and I actually spray it on my squeegee. So now what does that do? It means my squeegee will slide and glide, which means I'll squeegee quicker with less energy. It means I'm wrapping faster and I can make more money. Plus it doesn't scratch the material at all. So my material looks really good. So that's a big win in terms of detailing. Now let's move to post install and for me, Detailing is really about profits. There's a little bit about on install, but really about it on the post install. And what that involves is ceramic coatings. So now I can upsell that to my client. Plus my wraps look really, really good. And not only can I ceramic coat the wrap and make money there, I can also now ceramic coat the windows. I can ceramic coat the rims. So now detailing has opened up a whole new revenue stream to me that it wasn't there even a few years ago. So detailing for me means, again, peace of mind, but also means profits and easy profits at that. What does detailing mean to me? It means work. <laughs> um, I famously 
have the position as the guy who does the least detailing around here, actively trying to avoid it every chance I get, but all in all, I like the thought and the science behind it. I like the strategies, the techniques, that kind of stuff. But when it comes to actually pen on paper, hand on paint kind of thing, yeah, no, that's not necessarily where I excel. I, I'm, I'm an artist, I gotta keep these hands fresh, you know? <laughs> well, it basically means keeping cars clean, keeping them protected. Um, it means opportunity for vehicles to stay looking new. It means for me what I'm gonna do every day, which is, you know, a lot of fun. I work by myself and um, basically it just means keeping my cars clean and running great and looking great and protected from all the elements. So detailing is not only a lifestyle, it's not only a uh, way to make income, something that you can be very passionate about by simply being a, a car enthusiast or a guy that likes to work on cars. Uh, all, all of those things have, have really taken uh, its own kind of spin on, on the term detailing. It's not bucket and soap anymore. If I had to define it for myself, it's an elevated level of, of car cleaning, getting very, very, I guess, in the weeds and kind of thinking about the details unintended, that other people don't think about, cleaning areas that people don't generally think about. Um, you know, paying attention to those small things that a very discerning customer is going to see. Um, more so delivering on the customer's expectations. Somebody who uh, is engaged with a detailer and wants to have a car detailed wants more than what just their typical wash is going to be able to deliver, maybe more than they can do themselves at home. They want that professional eye, somebody who sees, um, sees all the defects, all the dirt, all the imperfections, and, and is going to address those and knows how to professionally address those and is, is equipped with the tools, the knowledge, the background um, to do it appropriately, do it safe for whatever's best for the car, um, whatever's best for the customer's expectations and budget. Um, so it wraps a lot of things up into one. Um, it's not just cleaning cars, it's, it's an elevated level of, of car cleaning. All right, so what does detailing mean to me? Well, I suppose it means a weird form of therapy. It allows me to relax, kind of take my mind off a lot of other things, focus on what I'm doing, and loving the result every single time. Detailing is kind of an obsession. It's kind of something that I may hyper focus on from time to time. It brings me happiness. It brings me stress. But at the end of the day, when I see a clean car, I feel fulfilled, I guess. That's probably what detailing means to me. What does detailing mean to me? One word, escapism. It's two or three hours on a Saturday morning, earphones in, world out, all the other proper jobs can wait. I am just focusing on this one thing. There's a lovely end result, you know, you get a beautiful shining object at the end of it. Unfortunately, this is where most people's heroin car care addiction begins. You think, if I just spend an extra 10 minutes on that, or if I just do an extra 20 minutes on this wheel, oh no, the sunset, she is gonna be going mental indoors, but, you get a beautiful end result, you get to fall back in love with a car that is probably costing you way too much money per month. And for me, that's what it's all about. I hope you love detailing as much as me. If you don't, tune in for the TRCMA 2023. I guarantee you will be asking your doctor for a prescription of the finest car care available in North America.
everybody. Welcome to the official mid show here at TRCMA 2023. It's been an electric day so far. Whether it's new product releases from the likes of PNS Detail Products with their fragrance, essence and mm -hmm. fragrance line, to their new clean and shine product in Swift, and to their new SiO2 spray in a Defender, it's uh, turning up around here at TRCMA. Yeah, it's been quite the morning. Uh, if you missed out the uh, the morning session, be sure to check it out later on after today's segment. You know, if you need a little bit of something to do tonight, they got you covered. And uh, not to mention our friends at Colorlog, mm -hmm. an amazing demonstration yep. with uh, their leather repair technology. And that was kind of the basic version of it. Yeah. And it completely transformed that leather seat. I think a lot of detailers miss that in their arsenal. So mm -hmm. something they can add to it. Yeah, they kind of covered all facets of it because most of you guys just clean leather. And I mean, a lot of it right. nowadays clean is just kind of coated vinyl um, leather seats. But that being said, they had the ability to sand the leather massage the leather, clean it up, really enhance the look of it. And they had some almost 30 year old leather that they made yeah. look brand new, which is kind of insane. Pretty, it was, uh, it was pretty neat indeed. to see. Yeah. Dewar, I don't think we could uh, <laughs> keep this show going without a little energy. No. So let's give a not. shout out to uh, TRC sponsors. We got from PepsiCo, mm -hmm. got their Mountain Dew energy is going to keep us hydrated and uh, yep. performing. You want to do a little taste test for I the I think audience? we can. I've, I've been warned about the taste, but um, if we make some nasty go ahead and faces. Go first. What you got over here? What's so the here I got the Mountain Dew Energy Pitch Black Edition. Pitch Black. Um, you know, we'll get that there. It, it looks, looks a, strong. Uh, it's a caffeine equal to two coffees, which, I mean, is something that we've both kind of needed, and I think we'll need this week. But here we go. It's 5% juice, and we'll take a look. That's actually not too bad. Not too bad. Or Very getting, pleasant. I, I'm not getting notes. the cough syrups uh -huh. taste, but it's no fun. No cough syrup taste. How the, about you? What do you got? Well, what, what, what do we got going on? Oh, we Is got... It grape? It looks grape -ish. It's very grape. It's the most purple thing I've seen in a long time, uh -huh. um, but... Um, Full of vitamin A and C and antioxidants. 5% and juice. And no sugar for those that are into that kind of thing. So. Yeah. All right. So I yeah, got very fun. Major Melon. It also has the 180 milligrams of caffeine, 5% mm -hmm. juice. Let's give it a old crack. Still taste test. <sighs> <laughs> Give me a little slurp action. Some ASMR on the mid show for today. It is exactly uh, what you need. Quite majorly melon, mm -hmm. as as advertised. Very good. Yep. And uh, yeah, we're gonna sip on that through the show. Keep oh, us and energized. what do we have here? We have like our good and subscribe Steve right now, and go ahead and hit that notification bell for the second half mm -hmm. of uh, TRCMA 2023. <laughs> I mean, we have three more full days of this plus the half of I today, mean, so. There are some big things coming. We're halfway through just day one, and yep. it's been an amazing show so far. And uh, coming up on the second half, we got uh, TWI, the Rap Institute, Just mm -hmm. Bait, and Yellow Tools, and Diamond Protect will end the day, and then a little bit word from uh, TRC themselves. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, my feet's feeling good because our friends over at Brooks Running, yes, keeping us all arched up. Definitely helping and, uh, us out. Comfy. You know, yeah, we've, for uh, sure. We've done our fair share of walking around airports over the last couple of days. And yeah, we have. If we weren't wearing these, I think we'd be in a much worse situation. Yeah, I for sure. agree as so well. Definitely feeling fresh, uh, feeling energized now. Mm -hmm. But uh, where do we want to start, Dewar? We'll start I with think, PNS action? Yeah, I think we can start with how the day kicked off. Yeah. Um, so we have a lot of new PNS. And I mean, just look at these labels. I mean, yeah. once we get it all centered up, I love it. But a big thing <laughs> that's kind of underrated in my opinion is the new sprayers that they have um a lot, a lot of more ergonomic and the, the new sprayers yeah because i mean you can really you know if you if you're doing this all day every day mm -hmm. spraying you know it can get pretty uh strenuous on the old joints and the hands and everything like that so you right want to have something comfortable yeah um but the nice thing too is that you know you can do two fingers you can do one whatever you want so it just enhances that the products experience wise mm -hmm. so newer yep. and improved sprayer is uh you know Gonna get you a long way, keep you comfy, all that good stuff. But let's get into the the what we went first. Swift. We'll start with Swift. I, I think we'll start with Swift. It's uh, a gallon it's, over there. It's a new. So we got the gallon over here. I think everyone's gonna be wanting this. You know, pick up the gallon, refill Indeed. the 16 ounce bottles, and uh, and really enjoy it. So so it's a clean and shine product. You're doing a little cleaning, mm -hmm. doing a, actually a pretty impressive amount of cleaning with this product. Get a nice lather. I've been testing it for a week now, mm -hmm. and it leaves a fantastic sheen. And what kind of scent do we have on that, Jamie? The scent is, uh, it's kind of familiar. If you maybe took, when, uh, went, did a little off-roading, maybe mm -hmm. tried the off-road full scent, you're going to recognize the scent in Swift. Now you can bring that fresh cream sickle 
mm -hmm. orange goodness into your interior. Yeah, and the full send was also a new product at TRCMA. So last year, PNS kind of loves this event mm -hmm. for for dropping the new stuff, and they bring know, the heats. It's, it's one of those events that I think if if you have an event where companies choose to demo your product and really launch them, then you know you've made it big. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think it's uh, PNS it's being awesome. first of the week sets mm -hmm. the bar real high. So yeah. Very much saying, so. Everybody better bring their A game. And I mean, in preparation of this event, you know, we weren't really given any hints as to what was coming, but yeah. I'm surprised with, you know, we got five new products here. This is insane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. definitely, uh, definitely I mean, a good whole job table on the, the PS side of things for sure. That's right. And clean That's and shine, uh, you know, is going to pair up great. Mm -hmm. with the detail factory brushes yep or do a little dusting with a wolf pack towel maybe mm -hmm. and again these are pretty new this year uh so three colors in the pack so you got the uh, kind of gray color here and then you have the kind of orangey color goldy color here and then the darker yeah that's the kind of the new right there, trc so. drops right they drop kind of their stuff early yeah yeah i mean they're it's it's amazing that you can still innovate with the towels you know they have mm -hmm. so many right now but i mean yeah i'm having, loving the wolf pack line having the new ones and then you know kind of with your detail factory brushes one of your favorite towels, the FTW, that also works great for cleaning the leather or the vinyl with yeah, the new if product. You want to get more uh, aggressive mm -hmm. just with a towel? Try out FDW on the interior. Mm -hmm. Why not? Absolutely. And once you're done with the interior with Swift, we got this new guy over here. Oh yeah. Jamie, can tell the us a little bit about this. This is the uh, the Inspiration Defender. Defender. So new in the Inspiration line, yeah. I mean, this label's serious. Yes. You know? It's it's gonna save the day. You know, yep. it's got the little cross there. So it's an SAO2 protectant, and I know you've been uh, testing that a been little testing bit. Testing it so out as well. Tell us so a little bit about your experience with it. My problem with a lot of, uh, you know, silica SIO2 sprays over the years is they tend to be quite streaky. Okay. Yep. They tend to be not that slick. And, and they'll, they'll put on some gloss, but, you know, it's kind of a mild gloss, not as much of a coating or a carnauba wax kind of type of feel. And I mean, with, with your environment, you know, yes, down south, so you're dealing with kind of the nastiest. A lot you're of those humidity, silica sprays heat. and SiO2 sprays really don't like to work in the Louisiana yeah. <laughs> heat and humidity. Yeah, especially and, through the summer, it's brutal. And I'm dealing with a somewhat similar climate to here in mm -hmm. uh, Boise, Idaho, uh, a bit more north uh, in the Canadian wonderland. Yeah. And um, you know, it's something that a little bit more dry. And so I think it's it's great to have, you know, people like us and then other people in the industry to to test it in the different climates to really get a feel on how it's gonna work because, you know, obviously PNS has done that testing and they don't want to release something that hasn't been tested in all facets to make it as best as they can. Yeah, so what PNS has done is they didn't rush, you know, a ceramic through the years while everybody else was pumping out ceramic everything, you know, interior stuff exterior stuff you know it's at walmart you know, the whole you know <laughs> but basically the whole walmart aisle is ceramic this or that now yeah exactly and what they've done is i think perfected this technology because mm -hmm. it's slick yep it's glossy it's easy to apply it's mm -hmm. streak free and it's been a hot week when i was testing it out and just easy peasy application just phenomenal results and i know kind of watching the feed behind the scenes this morning a lot of people were asking about its relationship with Beadmaker mm -hmm. and yep. can you top it? And I know if you missed that early segment, they were saying that, you know, usually the next day, yeah, slap some Beadmaker on there, you know, and uh, give it that gloss sauce. Yep, and, common uh, practice, you know, go from there. Apply anything SO2, IO2, you want to wait at least 12 hours, 24 yep. hours before you top it with anything, just for best results. Definitely. And uh, coating wise, you can use this top coating, send it off. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy, good deal. That extra layer of protection. But yeah, this isn't going to be your, uh, you know, every wash yep. type of protectant. This exactly. is be your base layer, or it can be kind of your, your car comes back after a year after coating it. Mm -hmm. Top it off with a little defender. It's going to be ready to go. And uh, kind of that easy to use sprayable situation yeah, because so. you know some people may be a little bit hesitant with the coating you know even something as simple as sold it's very easy to use yeah very easy to use it's, but it's still the process of putting it on the applicator applying mm -hmm. it like a traditional coating where now you're going to have the spray and wipe technology so mm -hmm. load up your towel maybe spray some on the paint i think it's recommended <laughs> load up on the towel i may have cheated a little bit you know spray yeah. a little on the paint you're good <laughs> spread it out let it haze a little bit it's going to yep. get this little hazy look to it about 20 seconds and you come in with a wolf pack towel recommend it and yep. you're going to get a buttery smooth super slick wipe off and you're going to get some serious protection i think mm -hmm. you're going to be pretty impressed with defender i'm here and they've strenuously tested this mm -hmm. and uh you know it's looking six months plus easy mm -hmm. and i mean with the wolf pack towels, it's kind of a blend of the Eagle and the Minx, Minx yeah. I believe. So if you yeah. used either one of those towels on their own, they're fantastic. But, mm -hmm. you know, 
they got together they made the wolf pack and i mean you're never alone in a wolf pack so you got all yeah. three the wolf pack's like a buttery smooth wipe off towel so yeah. it just gives you that perfect very much finish, so and perfect i mean feedback as well I haven't seen any other company do any kind of design in a border of a towel, you know. So right. They're, yeah. They're kind of the they're kind of going over and above. And, uh, the um, leader of the Wolf Pack came out recently as well. The the Wolf Dryer Dryer Wolf mm -hmm. towel. I haven't seen that. <laughs> I haven't got my hands on that. Yeah. One neither have I. I think that's one that we've missed. But yeah, I, think um, we might I mean, to, I'm sure uh, TRC is going to talk about it sometime this week. I think we'll sneak that in a duffel that's... bag if you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, to, uh, PNS. Uh, you know, we, we tackled Swift, tackled Defender. Yep. But. Uh, I mean, the hype product that's been wanted for years now yes. is the, uh, the elusive bead maker air freshener. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is PNS fragrance, kind of a they have their fragrance concentrates that I've highlighted at the beginning of the year, which everybody seemed to love and not know about that they have. So certainly boom, blew up, <laughs> rebranded mm -hmm. with a fresh new label. And this is a I super mean, concentrate steel. And this is one of those things that. When I saw your video, I'm like, oh, okay, it's it's not like another scent, you know. And I mean, if you've used baby bead maker and smelt bead maker, yeah, you want that kind of everywhere, you know. I'm not gonna lie, kind of that mango scent. That's right. And I mean, the scents were kind of hidden on the site. You know, mm -hmm. there was a lot of people online saying, oh, yeah. they can't find them. They don't. And then once you did find them, you know, it's come it's a black font and a silver mm -hmm. label. But now, I mean, they knocked this out of the park. Yeah. And a really cool thing is that it's super concentrated, so. Right on the back of the bottle, but their very clear directions are saying that this can make up to two gallons two of gallons. air freshener. Now, and I mean, once you're done with all this stuff mm -hmm. and you're spreading it in, I mean, two gallons is going to get you a long way. Yeah. So I mean, I'm going to be using it in the house. Super concentrate. Right? I'm going to be using it in the house. I'm going to be using it in the car. Right. Multiple cars. You <laughs> yeah. Know? I'm just going to go up to strangers' cars and just start spraying you know, it. Spray a little you bit know? on yourself. <laughs> you want to smell all bead makerish? Yeah. I mean, we can make these sweet TRC shirts into the best smelling shirts you've ever seen in your life. That's right, a little so. scratch and sniff action maybe. <laughs> Something like but that. But yeah, the Bead Maker Air Freshener, finally mm -hmm. a reality with mm -hmm. a, the Bead Maker Essence Mango Scent. But we got some more scents. We do, not just one. Not just one, you know, uh, the new last uh, last year, they released the absolutely tremendous, mm -hmm. absolute rinseless wash. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. amazing. No pun intended, of course. That's right, and uh, everybody absolutely loved that scent. <laughs> yes. Fell in love with the, the coconut lime, and here mm -hmm. you go, you got the, uh, the coconut essence of absolute. Mm -hmm. And to finish things off, we have the eucalyptus mint tea essence. Yeah, th this is actually one of my favorite scents. Yeah, and it smells like a product in one of their other lineups. And Jamie, what is that product? It is a uh, cockpit interior cleaner in the off-road line. Mm -hmm. has the same eucalyptus mint tea essence. And uh, someone actually on the, the Facebook group, I don't know if it was the Rag Companies or the PNS Beadmaker Lounge group, but asked, what scent is cockpit? Yep. And you know, everybody kind of guessed in the comments. And, <laughs> And uh, boom, eucalyptus mint tea. There you go. And now it's in air freshener form. So, I mean, three of the top favorite scents in the PNS line. Yep. Now available in fragrance form. And I know a lot and of the, uh, the OGs of the Ray Company group, whether it be the podcast, Q&A, or just the Facebook group overall, a lot of the really OG people love the scent of the blue bead maker. That was a super limited time thing. And I it was it. kind of related to summer drink. And then yeah. when Absolute rolled out, TRC did a great little promo video with a tiki bar, some they shaker a, cups. They made a couple summer drinks. A couple summer drinks. And, you know, Absolute came out. And I love the smell of it personally. Oh, you know? yeah. So anything fantastic. coconut is awesome. And, I mean, if you're doing a rinse and wash in the garage, it makes it a very pleasant time. And, yeah. I mean, you can share that pleasant time now with this and spray it on your carpet. Mm -hmm. You know, again, in the house, make it smell great. I mean, there's no longer a need for, for other fragrance products. And, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to be going through that stuff like mad. Yeah, freshen up anything. Grab your favorite, whether it's mm -hmm. Bead Maker Absolute or that cockpit scent with that eucalyptus mint tea. I mean, it's just some fresh stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Freshen up everything. So, so yeah, with the uh, kind of rounding out the PNS stuff, we moved over to our friends at Color Lock. Color Lock, yeah, amazing demonstration. Mm -hmm. And they were working on a leather seat in their uh, in the Supra project car they have here. I think it's a '93 or '94, but you know, don't uh, don't quote me on that. But yeah, older, Pretty old, dry, it's, crusty leather. It's nearly a 30 year old leather, and if you saw, they were working on the side bolster, the vertical bolster, which gets really beat up yeah. in cars. And we were kind of talking behind the scenes that. Cleaning the leather and treating it, whether it's cut or faded or kind of, you know, just beat up, it's something that 
you can add to your arsenal mm -hmm. for a bit of an upcharge. So, I mean, there's a lot of detailers a, nowadays. A nice upcharge, too. Oh, very much so. You yeah, know, this there's... Isn't, you know, a $50 service. I mean, you saw all the work mm -hmm. Lars went into it, and the, the amount of work you want to put into it, you can kind of adjust that. I asked Lars right as soon as he walked off, I'm like, how much do you suggest charging for a service like that? And he said anywhere from the range of 150 to 250 mm -hmm. whether you, you... Like Anthony was telling us, you don't have to do the sanding part yep. if you just kind of want to coat it with the color. Yep. Heat and gun, it just depends on, on the refresh, damage uh, and elephant leather. Yep, and the elephant leather stuff. And I mean, they they make it look so easy. I mean, it's a very mesmerizing process, and mm -hmm. they make the process easy. You know, up yeah. uh, upcoming this afternoon, we got some wrap stuff going on, which really looks easy. But you know, I does think takes some finessing. But when it comes to the leather stuff, uh, they have a few different lines. So, I mean, in front of you there, there's the new leather kit, um, which is kind of for the new cars. And you know, cars are getting expensive these days. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the yeah. materials are, are good and you want to kind of protect that. So the new leather kit, you know, you're going to be putting that on the car. But, you know, if you're thinking, I don't have a leather interior on my car or not dealing with a lot of leather, it's something that can be used inside the house, too. You can use it on your leather right. furniture because, I mean, again, home furniture isn't cheap. Mm -hmm. So if you can protect it and clean it with this stuff, it uh, kind of has... A multi-facet of, of purpose and you know allows you to do all kinds of stuff so yeah for I'm, sure um, you know the new leather kit enables you to kind of keep that stuff looking fresh and again it's if you maintain it especially if it's your own you can keep it looking fresh and then you're not having to deal with the full restoration process but mm -hmm. you know if if you are doing this full-time as a career and you are dealing with leather and you kind of want something to to kind of break the mold of what you've been doing, you can certainly add that. So the uh, the steering wheel kit as well, you know, we were talking to uh, to Bob backstage and he was saying he uh, had the yep. leather kit Check and, you know, use that in the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it brought it back to brand new. So, yeah. you know, there's uh, the steering wheel is kind of one of the highest touch points. So yep. high traffic. Yeah. It's something that if you're using something like that on there, again, keeping it fresh because one rule of thumb is that if your steering wheel is shiny, it's, it's not dirty. clean. That's right. <laughs> you know, it's shiny dirty. Shiny leather so, is dirty leather. Yeah. And, you know, we don't have it on the table here, but the, the color lock products that I really enjoy using, you know, there's a mild cleaner. Love the mild um, cleaner. You yeah. know, which is the uh, kind of the co-branded brush. Uh, kind of looks like a nail brush, if mm -hmm, you will, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. to use with, the, uh, with that cleaner. So you kind of foam it up. I mean... Who doesn't love a good foam show? I mean, who doesn't love a good foam show? Am you're right? the home of Foam Town USA. That's right. And it's something that a bit of foam gives you that uh, those you know the beautiful action mm -hmm. shots and the nice photos. Foam and the exterior. You want to bring the foam into the interior. Yeah, as I mean, well. you're doing you're doing Foam Town everywhere. That's at right, this everywhere. Point. So foam worldwide Foam Town. Uh, right. Yeah, you know, like we were saying, I think this is a key you know, a uh, service that detailers can bring into their arsenal. Everybody wants the PPF. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to wrap a car these yep. days. Where's the leather carry at? Yeah, exactly. And I mean, the color lock guys are so humble, mm -hmm. you know, but their products just kind of knock it out of the park. Um, you know, so once you've got that steering wheel leather kit and your new leather kit, you know, taking care of what you have, um, you know, there on your side, you have the smooth leather kit uh, as well. Actually, no, that's in front of me. I'm yeah, sorry. Like, um, <laughs> we're kind of keeping track of where everything is. There's a lot, um, a lot going on. It's but I mean, this has this has the day. mild cleaner uh, and then the uh, the leather protector inside as well. But uh, it was it was pretty cool because you may think you have a seat that you know, needs to be. It's an Alcantara fixed, so. and fabric cleaner. Everybody's yeah, so got the, that Alcantara. Everybody wants to know how do I clean this Alcantara? Yeah, Color Lock makes it simple. There you go. So you can kind of use that, um, you know, really with any one of these towels as well. Because mm -hmm. Alcantara, you know, it's susceptible to oils and, you know, can oh, yeah. really look Mats down. grody. Um, and that's something you. that you really don't want to do. But you know, some of that uh, stuff, you want a nice color like brush to fluff that mm -hmm. Alcantara back up. Yep. Keep and, you know, if, if you're dealing with things that are kind of beyond cleaning and are more repairs in terms of not necessarily the stretching and the wear, but if you have holes in your leather or a cigarette burn or anything like that, again, we were talking behind the scenes of ColorLock makes a whole leather repair kit, right. which, I mean, you can go full hog and spend the $1,500 to $2,000 and get yeah. the thing with all the dyes. But that also allows you to mix your own dye per the color of your interior, mm -hmm. which, I mean, Anthony made a really good point that the lighter tan interiors, you know, you'll have more blues, more greens, and just kind of different colors, which not all really the same, whereas the black leather, it's it's a bit more consistent. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, if you can do that and keep that fresh, I mean, 
you know, why not? Because life happens, especially if you're with the daily driver or you're, you're a nice car. Oh, yeah. You know, if you have keys in your pocket or anything sharp, yep. it happens. Kids, I mean, you know. Yeah, that's Some that kids too. Kids like the stab stuff, like kids couches, too. you know, you never yeah. know. And I mean, if you're not careful with the uh, the car seats or stuff yeah. like that, um, you know, it can it can certainly happen. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. Uh, you know. There you go, yeah. Clean, protect all your leather with the color lock. And that was kind of the, the basic version of restoring leather that he was, that Lars was demonstrating. There's a mm-hmm. deeper kit with a full filler yep. that you can feel those cracks all the way. Heat gun it, and it becomes a, you know, a moldable, bendable flexible yep. you know replacement for that leather that you lost and color right over that heat gun and protect and boom yep. you're back in action very much so, so color lock's got all your leather care needs mm-hmm. covered yep and um, so what's happening in the chat do you were? yeah so we got a uh, a few a few comments here let me uh give me a sip of major melon <laughs> it's a little bit different than what we normally use so we're we're kind of getting the hang of it so <sighs> Um, we're going to pop this one up here from Force Induction Drive, who was a, uh, a Grambassador last yes. year. Yes. Um, you know, we have uh, Grambassador of the Year, Perfect Detail USA here with yeah, us. Yeah, Brad's in somewhere studio, around so. here. Yep, he's, uh, you, you he's catch kicking him. around. You, we had him on the pre-show. You can catch him on the post-show. He'll be there as well. Yeah, so he's kind of been soaking it all in. You know, mm-hmm. we need to... Uh, I think do we'll a, do the passing of the crown. I yeah, think you really need I to think, uh, pass the crown to Brad yeah, we need to, the post-show. We need to make a Burger King run, get one of the cardboard crowns, and yeah. <laughs> kind of make that happen. Mm-hmm. But I know he has asked... Asking um, when will this be available in the TRC store? Um, so what are we talking about? And I there? think the all the of it? PNS <laughs> stuff, most part. I think with the the PNS stuff, I think Keith was saying in the next couple of days is going to be on their site. Next couple of days, I and, think I saw um, a bunch of boxes in the parking in the loading area. Yeah, there's a couple I boxes. Mean, just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, like a tremendous you know, amount of PNS boxes. So a, I'm uh, sure we've got some Swift and yeah. Defender and some of them boxes. Hopefully. Yeah, it's kind of a beautiful site. But uh, I mean, one way to really be caught up and while all this stuff is dropping is to sign up for the newsletter. That's and right. That's found at the bottom of the TRC site. Scroll down to the bottom. I think if you're going to the site now, it kind of pops up in your face if you're new to it. So mm-hmm. it's something that uh, you sign up, you know, get the drops in the sales because there's going to be some sweet sales this week. Got to do it. Right. Yep. Stay and, informed. Um, yeah. And then our good friend Luke Berge is saying here that he has, oh, I just removed that. Never mind. Um, you know, we got a bit of a, uh, a compliment from our good friend, Joey Belinsky, who always hey. likes to, uh, to join. So thank, thank you, you uh, Joey, Belinsky. for the kind words. You know, we we're a little, uh, a little tired, but I mean, we're, we're doing our best and we're looking pretty decent and fresh. So that's right. Welcome um, to the very mid mid show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, hopefully, you know, and then major melon will kick in. I mean, you're a bit of a chemist yourself when it comes to some of these products and Mario, Mario Santana is the same way. He's going to put some Dream Maker and Bead Maker. Oh set. boy! So, I mean, we're gonna have <laughs> to come go. up with a whole new name now we're talking. Um, because something that you've created kind of has blown up. You know, a bit of Dream Maker and your Bead Maker. Yeah, Bead Maker. Maybe at around a ten to one dilution. Yeah. Maybe you'll have a good time with and, it. And uh, you know, it's something that uh, the master chemist Dave has not said to not do. Um, I didn't but, catch any knuckle sandwiches yet. <laughs> yeah, here, no so. knuckle sandwiches. So so far, so uh, good. Yep. And yeah, so we're just going to hop over to the main queue here. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Luke is saying that PNS is going to be having it tomorrow. So it's it's a good thing Luke's been paying attention. You know, we uh, there's only so much we can absorb, so we're definitely doing our best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, pretty um, crazy. And then Brad just dropping in saying that he can't find the fragrances on the site, but they are coming and uh, they should be dropping um, any day now. So yep. you'll be able to, uh, to do that. So um, we're going to be scrolling through here. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, what's your what's your take? This is your first time in Boise. First time in How's Boise. Your, yeah, I got uh, here I mean, about uh, two two in the morning. <laughs> Woke up about six, and here we are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so our our good friend Eddie Cologne here, Eddie Jamie Cologne. Dewar, any man sense <laughs> looks for a sweat of man mixed with bead makers. So that's uh, maybe that's next year's TRCMA. You know, they may yeah. have some dropping there. Work on some PNS but, um, essence of man. Yeah, exactly. Fresh sense. And uh, kind of what we were talking about earlier uh, from Corey Taylor is that it's so nice to have people in different parts of the world to test. Right. Maybe the best product one part in the world, but just a pain to work with in another part. So, yeah, I think you know, a lot was... of companies struggle with that. You yeah. Test it, you know, in kind of perfect conditions mm-hmm. and then send it out to everybody. And mm-hmm. you're, you're up there freezing in the blizzard i'm <laughs> yeah. down there sweating it out in the swamps yep exactly we're just getting not and, the same uh, results they were promoting and yeah so i, I think that uh i think swift's going to be awesome for the interior i'm really looking forward to uh swift to is, it out. has been fantastic i just dropped the fresh review on a 
TikTok, Instagram, Reels, mm-hmm. the Shorts. Yeah, and, uh, go check it out. Yeah, you Jamie, some, some real action. Jamie had that queued up. You know, he was ready to go, and yeah. I'm really enjoying this pitch block. Mountain I know my Dave. major melon's pretty tasty, but uh, yes, yeah, Swift. I love it. something a clean and shine that gives you that lather, mm-hmm. gives you that satisfaction yeah. of really getting that cleaning power. You pair it up with any tool, you're going to get that lather, whether it's the brushes yeah. or the big detail factory brushes. The curve ball had a little curve ball yeah. action. And I mean, personally, I, I like a bit of foam. I like a bit of lather, you know, yeah. because I need Makes the visual representation of where I've been. We all know where I'm going. Foam. Yes, you are, again, Foam Town USA. That's right. Um, I and like I don't know where court. David Cervantes is getting this. Did you guys get a peek of the TRC you may tell? I have no idea what he's talking about i did see a quite bright colored towel laying yeah, around but, but i didn't know I mean, what it was i, I, I think that's just for yet. personal use i don't think that's anything to be worried yeah, about sure. um, we'll keep our eyes and our good prize. friend look for it. dirk du chiming in from germany i mean this is reaching people all over the world germany you wow. know this is absolutely insane so have that's fun right. together thank you very much dirk for tuning in and damon drop in Welcome to the Pacific Northwest, Jamie. So I finally made it out this way. Yep, it took yep. quite a while to get here. Like <laughs> yep. I said, I had to catch a donkey ride on a man on a donkey, <laughs> fan boats. It was a whole odyssey. Mm-hmm. So we uh, let me see, and you know, just lots of love dropping for TRC, and it's very um, cool, very cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're halfway through day one. I mean, it's just <laughs> been a jam-packed show with a lot of knowledge. Pay attention, take notes, and uh, you're going to take away a lot. Yeah, indeed. Taylor Chick chiming in. Hello, everyone. Show is off to a phenomenal start. So, you know, she's definitely been involved with um, yeah, you know, Levi and Master kind Shine of tuning on. in. The uh, the Master of Shine here has... Had our friend, the Harry Housewife. Yep. Harry Housewife, Darren who, um, as part of their Grand Ambassador program, won the Heart of TRC. Yes. And, uh, you know, that that program is going to be shifting a little bit. You know, That's we're, what I'm waiting to hear. I haven't heard anything about the yeah, Grand Ambassador we're, program we're yet. still waiting for full-on details, and, you know, you and I have both been a part of that program, mm-hmm. um, you know, which time. is great. And I mean, I don't think we would have met each other or been here if it wasn't for that program. I did to not be prevail honest. in winning the grand prize like yourself. Oh, that's but you know, if someone <laughs> wants to give me a, a second opportunity around here, mm-hmm. I think uh, you know, Mike can take the crown. And I mean that that project and you know that 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 they put on with our ambassador program on instagram was just so so good oh, and i mean it's as a networking opportunity i mean you're doing this professionally mm-hmm. i'm doing this as a side gig and it's something that you know i can really network with so many different people but you right know, we've yeah. met all these different companies and you know we get to ask the questions directly to you know our friends at pns our friends at color lock and you know obviously yeah. the event like this enables you to really ask those questions and get personal with it. So mm-hmm. definitely, uh, you know, if you're tuning in, don't be afraid to to comment, you know, on there. And if you have any questions, because there are no silly questions, you know, nope. even if it's been answered before, I mean, we love to answer them. And even if we can't answer them, then the, the TRC Yeah, I'm already can. jotting down some, you know, kind of FAQ type questions that I've seen pop up that may have not got answered. Maybe to pay mm-hmm. attention to my YouTube channel. Maybe you'll see some uh, FAQ videos pop up soon. Yep, definitely. So it's, uh, you know, Ricky Cologne, our good friend. He was also Ricky a Grand C. Ambassador. Yes. Ricky C. Uh, he's also in oh. extremely hot and humid conditions. That, yeah. He's actually one of my guys that I ask, you know, is this product working for you? Because if it's not working for him, it's not going to work for me. Yep. Down and there he's, in Puerto Rico, he's really putting stuff to the test. Yeah. And um, definitely has to say that Defender has him interested. You know, I like he. Yeah, he, it should be. I mean, it's. It's just tremendous so far. Like I said, it was a pretty hot week yep. of me testing it and uh, perfect results. Mm-hmm. Go check. You can check out my Instagram. All the maintenance clients I had last week was mm-hmm. defendered and swifted. Yep. I mean, just and phenomenal results. I think if you're tuning in and you're active on the social medias, definitely use the hashtag TRCMA2023, mm-hmm. you know, so we can see all your beautiful photos of the streams. Maybe, and maybe what you're hashtag CleanerCast, hashtag Phone mm-hmm. USA. Yep. All, all the scenes. hashtags. That's we need right. all the social stuff. Um, you know, again, Eddie Cologne chiming in. We are in the uh, the beautiful state of Idaho. Um, you know, for those of you that don't know, it's located in Boise, uh, the Ray Company here. So, you know, again, I was here last year. This is Jamie's first time, and there's first time. Been so much happening outside. Right. Finally made it to the mecca that is <laughs> the Rag Company. It's uh, seeing the studio in person is just mind blowing. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, quite. They've done quite a job with it. Yeah, putting it's, it all together. Uh, and again, driving by, you'd never even the know. The team that behind this is the here. scenes keeping it straight. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just fantastic around here. And Force Induction Drive is uh, Swift sounds like an awesome replacement for Volvo's interior finisher. So, I mean, again, 
PNS and all these other companies are always evolving, you know, bringing the latest and greatest. And, uh, you know, again, kind of in relation to that is that one of the, the questions we had jotted down here earlier, Jamie, mm -hmm. was how does it defend or how does it compare, compare thank you, to Express? Express. That was Express has been one of my favorites, and I know it's been one of your favorites. Mm -hmm. um, but tell us a little bit about your comparison and how they're different. Yeah, so... Yeah, as soon as I put out the review, I got like three comments. <laughs> What's the difference between Express? How is this different from Express? Yeah. Well, you got Express, which is going to be kind of your deep cleaning interior cleaner. Mm -hmm. Dilute it one to one or run sure. it straight, depending on the, how dirty the vehicle is. Yeah. And then you usually want to follow that up with a separate protection, like natural finish or mm -hmm. whatever your protecting of choice is. Get yeah. it nice and crispy for that initial, you know, viewing of your car. Now that car comes back three months for its quarterly maintenance, six mm -hmm. months down the road. Guess what we can reach for now? Exactly. A little swift. Yeah. It has that cleaning power to cut through any, you know, sticky mess that might have uh, popped up in the three to six months. And you're cleaning and shining. You're pumping that maintenance clients in and out. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. and That's kind of the difference. Another comment here is that... Uh from Jeep Polished, another Grandmaster. Man, we got all hey. kinds of Grandmasters tuning in. This is That's absolutely right. fantastic. Uh, nice halftime show, so thank you, Jeep Polished. Greetings from your German Damn Grandmaster. Does Swift change the feeling of treated surfaces? So I'm assuming... Nope. Potentially coated, which it won't. So, definitely, uh, definitely plays nice. And again, that's just a testament to well, their their testing of their products yeah. and you know how they're. Kind I don't of do working. much leather coating, so I don't know how Swift will mm -hmm. react on the leather coating. But yeah, so exactly. far, no. It's a beautiful finish, nice matte flat. Like I like it. I was a little worried. Maybe mm -hmm. you know, maybe leave too much shine. Maybe doesn't lather. I mean, they, they nailed it. Yeah, nailed it. And uh, kind Perfect of tying balance. in with the leather stuff, uh, our good friend Hans, when do you time boys start cleaning the massage chair? Oh, boy. Um, so that's We're kind gonna of need a, the color lock, deep clean, yeah, strong that's, cleaner. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to yeah. have to, you know, sand it, massage it, yeah. <laughs> massage a massage yeah. chair, of yeah. all things. It really worked that it's, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's that's kind of a if you know, you know type scenario. So, yeah. um, you know, definitely definitely tune into the after hours pre and post show for that That's information. Some like TRC so. lore coming into. <laughs> yeah, atmosphere. absolutely. Um, but yeah, we uh, and Dino saying the whole EU gang is in the chat. You know, the timing of this is perfect for them. And yeah, it is. Later in the afternoon, right? early evening. I mean, you're sitting at home, you're relaxing, you know, maybe you turn on YouTube Smash that like button on your TV. <laughs> Smash that you know, like button. Because go ahead and subscribe. You know, we got Kira here with the like and subscribe, and yeah, she's miking up everybody. This she's one here one. is a real MVP because right. we wouldn't be able to hear anything, and yeah. you wouldn't be able to hear anything if it wasn't for Kira. You know, you're wrangling batteries, you're wrangling cables, you're wrangling switches. That's all it is. So. Yeah, just fantastic behind-the-scenes yeah. crew here at TRCMA 2023. <laughs> so the uh, the whiteboard is becoming a very popular yeah. asset to this uh, <laughs> to this event. So but, uh, and set the notification if yeah. you, if you maybe want to go take a lunch break. Yep. Go ahead and set the notification mm -hmm. for uh, the second half of day one and, and get ready for it. These things have been up for a little while. You know, if mm -hmm. you're at work. Go on your computer, maybe incognito, a little That's bit right. of hidden action, maybe behind your Excel spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. Pop open that window and just keep it running. You know, yeah, run, set because day two, day three, day four. Go ahead and set mm -hmm. those notifications. Because without people like you watching, I mean, this this type of event can't happen. So yep, definitely, yeah. uh, definitely good. Very yeah, important. Dino is the support. Uh, you know, 9 p.m. in the EU. I mean, I don't know those Netflix series. They can wait. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. if you're watching any kind of streaming service, I can wait. I mean, live, right now. Is where you got to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, so. after the PNS presentation, you, mm -hmm. you're all jazzed up. That's going to carry <laughs> on, you know, through the rest yeah. of the day. I and uh, I can very much, uh, I can very much relate to our good friend Eddie here. It's uh, 35 degrees, so that's right. I work on the Celsius spectrum, and I know mm -hmm. that's about two degrees Celsius, which is mm -hmm. comfortable for me. It's not a negative 40. I told Eddie um, yesterday when I show up, <laughs> I'm bringing the sunshine. You're going to put the sunglasses on. I'm bringing the heat. Yep, and absolutely. What happened, Eddie? Um, and, Boom. Then, and then Luke giving us one some after hours activity suggestions to make sure we rip on one of the Lime or Bird scooters. So, yeah. um, you know, I'm we sure there's going to be it. some story posts from either one of us on, on those. But mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the uh, detail check, everyone off to a phenomenal start, which I would definitely Indeed. have to agree with. Um, but, yeah, let's see what we got here in the, uh, in the thing. So I'm... Uh, so really, out of all these, what is your absolute favorite scent that you think you're going to love the most? Out of the scents, uh, I got to go with the bead maker, the mm -hmm. most anticipated one, the yeah. bead maker air freshener. You know, I tackled it in a, it kind of revealed that they had it in the line. They just mm -hmm. weren't talking about it. So you know, I'm like, I'm yeah. gonna get a hold of this uh, <laughs> mango concentrate and kind of 
maybe push them a little bit. Yeah, I'd I like mean, to think I pushed them in this direction. Where yeah, let's make exactly. Some new labels. You, uh, uh, you kind of reignited that fire. This but uh, I mean, Terry Foreman chiming in. I joined late, but PNS Terry. sense in the spray bottle already diluted. So again, just kind of recapping on what's been going on this morning. So these are still super concentrates concentrated. right here on the bottle. Mm -hmm. And uh, so these dilute to make two gallons. You can pour mm -hmm. half half the bottle into one gallon, pour the other half, and you're gonna have two gallons and of scent. I know Dave went a little ham this morning. Yeah, and he, put he a whole dropped a whole sixteen gallon. ounces in that one gallon. So that, I mean, was that bead maker? I mean, that was some bead maker scent I mean, right there. It is spring cleaning, so I mean, that's you right. might as well cover up those winter odors with mm -hmm. uh, with the hot freshness. So that's right. But uh, yeah. Butt in right now. Oh, Dane. We have welcome. We have great Dane. Hello, Mr. Dane on, Hannon. <laughs> so all I'm saying right now is, do you like this shirt? Do you I'm are you in it. into this shirt? Because if you are, they are on the site right now. I just oh want to throw that goodness. out there. And there's a sale going on, so you know. Just oh, up. geez. That's right. Oh my goodness. And I, if you're like me, I pair it up with some extra sweat. Yeah, I he's. Long I mean. I'm going, going just a t-shirt because I'm used to the cold, but Jamie, yeah, you know, no, he's you know, got the sniffles, up. he needs the layers, he needs a long sleeve, and mm -hmm. I mean, that's a great talking point because mm -hmm. these t-shirts are high quality. I mean, on the back on the tag, it says the right company right on it, you know, yep. it's it's not your... Uh, not the cheap no, stuff. No, this isn't for sure. your guild and, you know, just, let's just pump <laughs> not the, not the sandpaper. And then, you know? yeah, a couple washes and it yep. gets all crunchy. And uh, this is I mean, good stuff. I think these sizes are something you need to jump on right away on the site, you know, because, mm -hmm. I mean, once they're gone, they're gone. And, yeah. I mean, you got to be picking up the T-shirts. you got to be picking up the long sleeves, you know. Spring isn't always super warm. I mean, we're having a bit of a chilly week this week, yep. so long sleeves are great for that. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy my long sleeve while I can because <laughs> I have a feeling I won't be able to wear them too much longer. Yeah, I'm definitely, from. definitely. So we're just going to hop back onto page one. Um, a great question from Ricardo B is that, uh, what's up gentlemen, how long do those scents last on average? So these are water based, mm -hmm. so they're not the strongest, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, two to three days, maybe you get a week if you yep. circulate it really well in the interior, you know, run it through your, your max AC, get yep. a good, maybe a couple sprays extra. Maybe I like to do a little heavy on my own vehicles. Mm -hmm. You know, clients vehicles, you just want a little dash of freshness. Exactly. Just to, you know, just got to freshen it up. Just a little and, freshen you know, up a little bit. If you have kids in sports, you know, oh yeah, it's, yeah that's, you got the you got the sweat stink <laughs> and whatnot from the equipment. Heavy. That's uh, that's exactly what you need. So I mean, this isn't just for you. You know, if you got your mobiles, you got your family mm -hmm. haulers. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic for that. But another thing too, like you said, with this being water based, yeah. versus a, a lot of those oil based mm -hmm. air fresheners, kind of don't do any good because right. you spray that on long term probably not the best idea and i mean oil i don't know if you've had any grease on any kind of fittings or bearings or anything like that yeah but it likes to attract dust mm -hmm. and it exactly. just gets gross and nasty and then it comes and out of the vents yeah it gets on things it's one of those glass. things that is certainly making more work for you good you know if, if we're having to do an interior so with this mm -hmm. You know, kind of really gets in that fabric, and again, you know, kind of safe in the home. You know, whether you have a fabric couch. Um, yeah, and if you and have like, like maybe a little tree that maybe ran out of scent, mm -hmm. you can always refresh the little tree or whatever your, uh, you know, yep, you know, little hanger thing. So uh, refresh it with that, hang it back up. Our good friend nice Hans, home. how much for your shirt, Dane? So oh, the the shirt off <laughs> the shirt off Dane's back. We'll um, it off. Yeah, we're gonna be doing an auction uh, potentially. Mm -hmm. You know, if he approves, yeah. and. Um, you know, I, bring a shirt dot com. Yeah, bring a shirt dot com. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna have the uh, on a trailer. The bidding started at about a thousand US dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, I think is a good starting point. So yeah, yeah. definitely, uh, definitely something to think about there. Um, and G Paul is here. Let's pop that up on the screen. I love the shirt, so I can make an order, and you guys need to convince Lars to take it with him to Germany. So, you know, G Polished, we can, we can possibly talk to him, see what we mm -hmm. can figure out. Because mm -hmm. uh, Lars is here. I don't know exactly how long he's for, but um, yeah. you know, he's here. He wasn't able to make it last year, but uh, you know, he's here this year, and I mean, drop some knowledge for yeah, sure. Yeah, knocked it out the park with his presentation. Yep, and uh, Dino, kind of tying in. Possibly with Dane. <laughs> How much for a sweaty you. shirt of Prince of Boise? So, I mean, Dino, all I have to say is that you can hop over to the site, get your own shirt, and you can make it sweaty and claim the title yourself if yeah. you like. So we're not uh, we're not going to shut you down from that. <laughs> um, we'll get that shirt for you. And yeah. my guy Kirby, 
potentially my guy. Laminate or die. Laminate or die. And I'm feeling pretty breathable. You know, I'm, I'm feeling, feeling pretty, pretty fresh. I'm, I got two layers on. You know, it's, and it's not like you're, you know, you get the graphic shirts and mm -hmm. they just stick yep. and are hot. No, yeah, this is these are these are high quality. quality I mean, this is going to last and, you know, yeah. breathable and, you know, being refreshed with our Mountain Dew. Speaking of well. less humidity, I can feel <laughs> the chapness coming on, so I'm going to have mm -hmm. to find some uh, hydration. Yep. We, uh, all right. And our good friend, Humberto, always first, always around, you know. Do you like pina coladas? <laughs> when is the pina colada scent coming? That, you know, I don't know. But, I mean, PNS is always open to suggestions. That's right. You know. send, it, send it their way. Yep, send him an email, hit him up on the socials, because mm -hmm. uh, if anybody has those connections, it's Humberto. He That's knows right. how to get in touch with people. Um, you know, and uh, again, these these new products here, regardless of what you have, exactly what Luke's looking for, and it's finally stopped spraying bead maker oh, down boy. my air vents. You know, that's, <laughs> bead maker, I mean, Bergie just likes I mean, to, you know, cause a couple that's, problems. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's an interesting topic, because if you have bead maker down your air vents, I mean, that's making less resistance on the air. You know, yeah. it's it's getting that you're sealing up that cabin air. Yeah, <laughs> his, pretty good. You know that that 20 year old Ford air coming <laughs> through his uh, his excursion yeah. is just flying. The, when I made so. the bead maker air freshener video at the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. I had a lot of people thought I was spraying bead maker. They didn't catch that I was getting this super concentrate, you know, uh, formula that's yep. bead maker scent. Mm -hmm. Not labeled bead maker air freshener. Well, now PNS finally makes it a little more straightforward with the essence of bead maker. So thank yep. you, PNS. And our good friend Fred, uh, does eucalyptus smell like the lithium double tap? Mm -hmm. um, I would no. It's it's a little bit different. Um, you know, it's it's more of the uh, like I said the the cockpit scent. So it's it's fresh. It's it's one of and my I favorites. mean it's, it's nice. Fred loves the scents. You know, this is something that he's really going to enjoy using for That's sure. Right. Um, but let me see. There's another comment here. So Raymond Sabetta, uh, did you mention the brown towel, a PNS towel? Um, so, so kind of touch on those for those that join late. Um, what right. are all these towels on the table? So we'll just run down all of them so we cover it. Take the comment down. We got the FTW sitting mm -hmm. right here in orange and pink. Yep. You can pair this one up with a little bead maker action. Yep. Make it easy for you. Pair that one up with a little dream maker action. Yep. Or and you maybe can mix a little dream maker in your bead maker. Make yeah. Some clean well, maker uh, action. We can find those secret recipes over on Jamie's socials at Jamie the Cleaner. That's right. Uh, That's and we don't have it here on the table, but there's also a light blue FTW. Ooh, yeah. And yeah. pair that one up with the glass you know, cleaner, maybe. A lot of people hear that acronym FTW, think for the win. But no, that's yeah. not what it is. It's for the window. For the window. Of all things. To the it wall? was to possibly, possibly, you know, and, uh, and but going back to the towels on that side of the table, grab one of them uh, brown towels. So we got the brown wolf packs wolf now pack. with these, they're available in their new packaging. And so we got the brown, kind of a brownie gold. They are brand new. This to TRC. is this is super soft. I mean, uh, I love. They this. blew me away. I mean, yeah, they're and just, we got the gray. You could wrap a baby up with this. Yeah, just that's the you know snug up. I mean, this it's, is all hospitals wonderful. need for the newborns. I mean, you got to start their life off good. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we, we got the dark blue version got the light. to the hospital. Exactly. Uh, so this is a pack again with the wolf border on the edge. And, and don't don't worry about this edge because it is soft. Yes. Yeah. What is this suede? The premium suede. Border? I believe so. Yeah. It's and, nice. Uh, it's you know, super soft. Again, you're never traveling alone. I mean, you got the three colorways, in their awesome new packaging, which is resealable. You know, if you're into collecting towels, you can mm -hmm. kind of show them off. They're nice yep. and pretty. And the package is nine towels total. So yeah. you got three of the dark three of the light and then three of the brown so you have a lot of variety and i mean if you're one of those people that likes to color coordinate your towels um which i mean yep. i'm definitely this a guy. sucker for that yep yep the uh my orange ftw over here you get is me good with the ftw something. yeah i got the, my pink section my orange section i uh, my section. i think we're gonna have to purchase a case was, and, uh, <laughs> and potentially that. get those out to us yeah wonder if there's um, some uh, maybe some b grades hanging around potentially here again if uh, if you know you know <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah. Uh, but yeah definitely a lot of new stuff and you know using swift yeah you're a big fan of the detail factory brushes but yes. also their express or uh, their their sidekick sorry um for for cleaning up those those larger panels yeah you can just pair it up with whatever your favorite interior mm -hmm. cleaning device is you know yeah, style the, for light dusting need a little agitation like yeah. i said i just dropped a review it shows all the tools yeah. that you can pair it up with and again you with your with your interior 
regimen, you know, definitely same as the outside if you're doing paint correction and things like that, if you've been into that kind of thing, is that, you know, start with the least aggressive. Yes, kind of work your way exactly. Up. You know, yep. start with the towel, see if that's good enough. Because if, if not, you knock it out with just a towel, I mean, oh, that's man, that's, the that's interior detail. Time is money. Time, time is, is money. money. You know, maintenance yeah, clients, you want to get them in, get mm -hmm. them out. Yep. Send them on their way. Say, we'll see you in three months. That's what I do. Uh, and then also, kind of a, and a somewhat here. adjacent here from Tugar, unrelated to everything being discussed, but if I'm placing an order, I might as well ask, is there a difference between the Ultra Clay Towel and the PNS Reset Clay Towel? Oh, should, should, we, should we give them a little secret? They... It's possibly the exact same. Maybe just pick your favorite color. I mean, Team Blue, Team, team Red. Blue, team Red. I mean, I, I'd rather just have both, personally. I, you know, I have both. You know, it's... If you're using one... Mm -hmm. Gets a little you saturated. You can have one for dirtier vehicles mm -hmm. that are real gritty. You can really wear yeah. that sucker down, and you have one that keeps, uh, you know, nice mm -hmm. for uh, but the, newer cars, that kind of deal, uh, to induce less marring, that kind of deal. Exactly. And the nice thing with those is that they're they're permeable, so, I mean, if you if it gets kind of clogged up, you can rinse it out, you know, hang it to dry. Yeah, they clean out nice. You yeah, just, definitely. A little APC, a little agitation. Yep, definitely. So, Pressure wash out. You know, kind of the uh, the clay stuff, It's it's been a bar forever, but recently, yep. you know, they have the towel was dropped. I love the towel. You can now fold it before. Towels, and bug you got the scrubbers, scrubbers yep. mitts. I mean, yep. PRC is <laughs> just pumping out all kind of it's, clay solutions. It's all kinds of crazy stuff. But, uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's keep jumping here. What else we got going on? Hit us with your hot. What are we expecting with the rest of the week? We can take some uh, questions like that as well. Definitely. Oh, and Luke Berge kind of chiming in with his hot Berge excursion Berge. talk. Doesn't have a cabin air filter. So, ah, I mean, that, that, that fixes air, the problem. <laughs> that air is going absolutely insane. Yeah, the bead maker straight to the dome. Yeah, exactly. Straight in the so, vent, straight in the face. Um, our good friend... Seth Price, you're ordering a shirt, but is there anything charitable like the coins from last year? I uh, I know I asked that same very question, yep. um, and I don't think anything's in the works right now. But Nothing I mean, this something. Year just, yeah, I think maybe later today with the Rap Institute's going to mm -hmm. have this little charitable event going on. So stay tuned for them. Yep, I, I definitely think, think so. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, so you're not going to want to miss the Justin Bieber demonstration. Yep, because the, one, it's amazing. The Rap Institute TWI, um, mm -hmm. as it's also known, uh, they're going to be dropping some some hot tips, and I'm absolutely looking forward to that. Oh yeah. So let's see. Got a here. hot uh, second <laughs> half of day one coming in. Yeah, coming in hot. And um, you know, kind of we can kind of answer this to tease a little bit later on, which I'm sure is definitely oh, yeah. going to well, be in the day with Diamond from, Protect. Yeah, That's from right. East Saint Jacques. Uh, Jamie, have you tried Diamond Protect leather yet? How does it stand? I know you tried glass and Diamond Body 36. Yeah, I have it. Uh, I don't have a lot of clients looking for leather coatings or interior coatings. I need to educate my market a little more on that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm supposed to do, you know, the mob mobile, the tell you ride. Yeah. And I've, I've still yet to get get around to doing it. So no, I have not tested the leather coating yet. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure it's fantastic. Looks easy peasy. Yeah, and just to my right, the uh, you know the beautiful humans over at Diamond Protect are setting up their little display. So they sure are. I, uh, getting ready. I'm, I'm seeing some of that stuff. So you know you got to stay tuned for that. So I mean, obviously you're watching here on YouTube, but mm -hmm. if they you can't chime in live, you know yeah. you got to set that reminder. Mm -hmm. Tune in after, and I mean even if you're not asking the live questions. Dropping those comments are always going to be answered after. I mean, you yeah. and I can always chime in. We know Dan oh, yeah. likes chime in. You know, so definitely you're not going to be uh, left in the dark at mm -hmm. all. You saw Pan recently review the consumer line. Mm -hmm. I chimed in a little with the pro line. Yep, definitely. Now, some hot Diamond Pro Tech uh, reviews have been coming <laughs> on YouTube. Yep. And, uh, you know, my guy Kirby again with the, uh, the hot shirt talk. Thanks, guys. Human yep. Houston and hate those stiff rear logo shirts. I agree. Yep. You know, there's I mean, some. They're brutal in the middle of the summer down south, then the deep south. Yeah. The real <laughs> deep south. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be wearing one of them. But to uh, kind of tie it, I mean, shirts. again, smart logo. You know, still getting the point across. We have a guest coming we on. We do Mr. have our guest, Keith, Mr. Keith Duplessis. Duplessis. How's it going, Hello, buddy? Keith. Okay, fellas, my glasses got covered. The shirts are available on the website. There oh, you go. Hi. And all the products are available tomorrow, tomorrow. on our website. There we go, so folks. Add the question when yep. Yep. tomorrow. Yep. Yep. I just talked to Ian. He says he'll do it. And Ian's it right perfect. On. You, you got it here first, folks. And Ian's the man with the plan. I mean, look at that. You're getting the answers right now. Right You're now. not needing for an email reply. Yep. Send your hot questions. They go straight to the HQ back there somewhere. And yep. Get asked. Up in the, up in the beautiful ether. So That's right. That's what we're um, here to do. 
gives you give you some clarification. Yeah, and I mean, new products. I you're mean. not really into car sales, but I mean, Joey tends to think you are because. I have no need to, but for every time I see Jamie's Telluride, I'm tempted to buy one. You it's know, that's that's become quite the, green. Mm-hmm. quite the test subject for, for a lot of your products. Edition. <laughs> you know, I know those were very difficult to come across they were um, over first. the past yeah. few years. Now but, popped um, up, said, wife wanted it, had to lose a truck for it. Yep. <laughs> it so, <laughs> uh, so Joe Meanies, apologies if I butchered that last name. So with Defender, can I top it with a product like Diamond Quick Body or more so for full uh, product line like Diamond Body, Diamond 36? Um, no. I think it's one of those things you got to keep it simple, but what's what's your two cents? Uh, I did top a Diamond Protect coating with Defender, mm-hmm. but I, you, you don't want to top Defender pretty much anything else. Defender is mm-hmm. going to be your top coat except for bead maker. Yeah, cuz sometimes you come in with bead maker. Sometimes too much coverage. Yeah, that's that's is you're going to have some crazy a negative effect. There, yeah. yeah. You know, it's I know we all love gloss. We all yeah. love the sauce. And we like stacking and pushing stuff to the limit. I mean, too much sauce is never a good time. So. That's right. I mean, um, ask Dane in his cup holder situation with his <laughs> sauce cups when he gets two to three sauces piling up. Yeah. You're going to have a mess on your hands. Definitely. You know, we're not getting the, the chicken nugget vent holder yeah. sauce packets. Um, again, Eddie Clone chiming in. Thank you, Eddie, for tuning in. What kind of finish does Swift give you on plastics? Well, you can head over to my YouTube channel and check mm-hmm. out the fresh new short and check out that finish. It's a, a beautiful matte finish. It gives yeah. you a little bit of sheen, but barely. I mean, it's a beautiful finish. I'm you, absolutely in love with it. You have those reviews queued up. They were on lock. They were ready to go. Yep. And you dropped it. And, you know, hopefully they're blowing up. Yep. So blew through the, the both sample bottles. I got yep. sent a little bit. And uh, we definitely encourage that once you get your hands on Swift to, you know, I need a gallon do some reviews. Yeah, I maybe a five gallon. In fact, as soon as this live ends, <laughs> I'm just pushing this whole table into a duffel bag. And I'll see you all later. Yep, exactly. Um, let's see here. There was another one. From Yves St. Jacques again. Waiting for them, I want to try all their products. Personal line seems killer so far from what I see in your channel. So, um, Yves St. Jacques is a fan, and I don't know if he's oh, detailing that semi truck. Appreciate you, Jacques. I mean, definitely something interesting. So, again, we'll kind of, uh, for those that let me remove that real quick. All right. So, to kind of recap what we got here on the table for those uh, joining in late, and I would certainly agree with last John Hansen one, this event is like Christmas holidays. You know, it's one of those things that you go through winter. You know, I'm dealing with a lot of snow, a lot of ice, and kind of a lot of gross stuff. And detailing is not top of mind in the winter. Right, so it's kind of perfect timing for you. Yeah, the great time with this event is that it is officially spring. Mm Mm-hmm. But there's always a but, and a couple more weeks of. Uh, I I know weather. I've been getting some photos from back home that uh, there's still a bunch of white stuff on the ground. It's very wet. Uh, I'm about in summer. Yeah, in so hometown USA. I'm sure the uh, some of the guys are doing a lot of pollen, a lot of bugs, and yeah, it so it's hot. kind of the start of detailing season. So, so a great glad time. I'm gonna slow down. A great time on this uh, on this event. Yeah, you know this is the biggest TRC event of the year, mm-hmm. and uh, these companies bring their A game. Yep, ready to go. So uh, we'll see if our uh, our friend Nick in the back can drop that comment off the screen there, and we'll kind of recap some of the products that are here. Yeah, let's go through it one more time before we end this thing. What, mm-hmm. what is our time? I so bet. right now, I see the countdown. Not sure exactly what time it is, but I mean, time doesn't really matter here I because guess not. <laughs> I mean we're just soaking it <laughs> all in. We're enjoying time. it. That's yep. right. Um, you know, here we go. I mean, PNS kicked it off with uh, yep. was it? Well, we'll go with the essence line of fragrances. We got finally. The hot bead maker air freshener. You've been wanting it mm-hmm. for all these years. They but deliver. I mean, that's just proof that they listen. Mm-hmm. You know, super again, concentrate. One yep. bottle will make two gallons. Yep. Essence of bead maker. Mm-hmm. Essence of that absolute fresh summer drinkery, whatever it's yep. scented, coconutty scent that everybody loves. Yep. And then we got eucalyptus mint tea essence, which is <laughs> the same essence that is in a cockpit. Exactly. And if you use cockpit, you're like, mm, that's, gonna, that's some good smelling stuff. And I mean, the coconut lime, you know, dealing with the tropics. Yep. You know, after this week and all the killer sales are going to have, you know, you got the merch, you got the new products, you got everything. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have any money to spend on vacations. So this is the next best thing to uh, to get that kind of tropical experience. Yep. So kind of definitely, pretend, yeah. you know, freshen up the mom mobile, get everybody yep. in the mom mobile, say, this is vacation. Yep. I spent all the money, TRCMA week. <laughs> and and uh, next, next, the unveiled yeah. Swift Clean mm-hmm. and Shine. 
the new interior clean and protect product not like express which is a straight cleaner it is now clean and protect for your i'm going to do a live scent test on this Ooh, hit it, hit it for him and dave did said that these are ratcheted down and child proof and yeah, they, i am they're on there succeeding you oh, that the child, is delicious. Child, uh, lock test. And I mean, this is one of those things Woo! that's... That's the essence of uh, I mean, know, orange cream It's goodness. a good thing that they put these ratchet caps on there because <laughs> as much as I want to drink this, it's do not, not recommended. Drink so this. we do not condone consuming this. Um, and if you watch their absolute video, mm -hmm. which... Man, over there. Some drink mixing going um, on. You know, we got some drink mixing, but also yeah. some fair warnings not consume it. That's right. They um, always had to spit it out. Best, but I mean, not for ingestion. I don't know about you, but I mean, I'm having a great experience. When the stuff smells good, you're going to want to use it. That's right. You know. Just part of the user experience, whether you're on consumer level or yep. professional. <laughs> exactly. And then so. we rounded out the PNS uh, demonstration with the new Defender mm -hmm. SiO2 spray, new to the Inspiration line. Yep. Their SiO2 spray sealant. We'll do a sniff test on this. This yeah, isn't going to smell. Is, uh, it is scented. Is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. So let's see if we can figure out. That's not as bad as I was expecting. Because <laughs> no, you got some nice. of these kind of strong protection products that yeah, they'll usually, kind of blow you away. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's this is a product that I think is going to fit in a lot of people's arsenals. And, I mean, right there you have the double black, Randy Doyle. Yep. He's not here, but he's holding down the fort over right. westward. And, yeah. um, you know, he doesn't put his name just on anything. No, no it's, exactly. it's got to be good. So, yeah. Wish we, he was here to, you know, maybe tell us yep. his experience with the product. Yep. We'll get He's, that later uh, down the road. Yeah. But we got Defender. You know, it's this uh, kind of six months plus protectant. Mm -hmm. You can use it as base layer. You can top a coating with yep. it. Yearly maintenance, six month maintenance, that kind of deal. Yep. And a special thing about this one is most SiO2 spray sealants, like I said, top of the show, maybe lack on the slickness, yep. maybe lack on that gloss. Yeah. Maybe lack, uh, you know, the scent. Yeah, because you and, were saying uh, you were really surprised at the slickness. Of yeah, it, it kind of blew so. me away with how slick this product is. And, it's uh, you know, we may have some some after hours water behavior tests. The user and, uh, yeah, exactly. See how yeah, that is. I might have to make that happen. But yeah, the user absolutely. experience on Defender is through the roof, and I think uh, you'll be impressed performance wise down the road as well. Exactly. And uh, Pedro dropping the hot question Pedro Carrillo, can Defender be used as a drying aid? It can and, be. Yep. So yep. definitely something you can use. And, uh, you know, again, not too often. You know, yeah, definitely. This uh, is not your weekly protectant yep. product. This have is going to be. Uh, has some willpower. Months. Yep. And because uh, it's so easy to use, I mean, people are going to be, no matter how many times we say it, there's going to be some people spraying that exactly. oil weekly. So, so finish, what is Defender? Never heard of it. So, yeah, again, SiO2 protectant in a spray form. Um, super easy to use if you're if you're not comfortable with the, uh, the mm -hmm. full on coating experience. Yep. So, while uh, everybody else, you know, was pumping out their ceramic lines yep. a couple years ago, mm -hmm. PNS set in the pocket. Yep. You know, saw what was going on, saw what mm -hmm. could be improved, wait until they had that perfect kind of perfected blend yep. and knocked it out the park. And our good friend Joel Detailing Joel. shares a sentiment hey, with us. Ex yes. <laughs> excited for trying new oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, he's a hot you know, this, guy. Joel, this is only the start. Only you know, the start, yeah. It's, uh, we're going to have to take some selfies of all the PNS boxes outside mm -hmm. and send it to you to, uh, to make you a little bit jelly. That's right. I he, think that's something we can do. He's a master of the PNS carpet system himself. Yep, yep. Definitely, uh, definitely loves it. So, uh, let me see. So, this week, Jamie, mm -hmm. does have a theme to it. It's Back to the Future. You know, as you can see, the logos on the shirts. Back to the TRC. Once I right? figure out where it is, mm -hmm. uh, is Back to the Future. You know, we have... An actual DeLorean about 25 feet from we us. We do. Which is insane. We got hoverboards, DeLoreans. Yeah, we got hoverboards. <laughs> yeah. We got the wigs. We got the glasses. We mm -hmm. got the ties. It's a good we got time. everything. So there's more promo videos coming up. Coming up. And They're fun. Again, throughout the week, mark it here, mark your calendars, mark your notifications. Ring Hit the that bell. like and subscribe. If you like what we're doing, because if we're not getting that, you know, they don't know what's going to happen. Um, and then. A little bit later in the week, yes. Yes. Flex Polishers, we Chris, Metcalf, Chris Metcalf, just wanted to say hi from 36,000 feet in a plane flying to Boise. He's on the way. Last year, he was doing a remote session yeah. from the tropics, and uh, 
that was pretty cool. I'd be lying if you said uh, if I said I wasn't a little bit jealous of where he was last year. Yeah, exactly. uh, but that being said, uh, you everybody know, can this, remember last year's amazing flex presentation with the unveiling of, of the, the flexible the shaft. flexible shaft. I mean, just uh, you know, all the, time great presentation. The comment section did have a blast. That's right. uh, and fantastic. A lot of those uh, Dane could not post. That's right for obvious <laughs> reasons. But uh, so if you want a good time, maybe yep. tune into the comment section during the flex presentation. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We'll see if we can get some hot. Um, flexible shaft action going on yeah again. and um yeah so diamond protech i know i love what you've come with so far but definitely put it on the summer and i'll put it to the test diamond glass i drive 250 put it to the test. thousand i don't know if that's kilometers impressed. or miles but either way that's a ton of that's a ton of ton of highway driving so You'll be definitely impressed. looking forward to it so i think Yves saint jacques is excited mm -hmm. for this afternoon so jamie to kind of recap what we got going on this afternoon who do we have we got twi and yellow tools we're mm -hmm. gonna have an amazing rap presentation i'm sure i think they'll have a little charity uh you know entwined mm -hmm. kind of deal going on in there maybe yep. a re re reveal of a new another new product we'll stay tuned yeah. for that and then we'll have diamond protect with a coating demonstration mm -hmm. and i don't know if they got a new product or not but we'll see stay yeah, tuned yeah they uh Diamond Protec, it's, uh, you know, diamonds and loves in the nano air. Nano diamonds. Nano diamonds, you know. Hot it's nano uh, diamond action. Not to be confused with the ceramic coatings, it's the nano. So, yeah, a lot nano of diamonds. People, a lot of people are criticizing this nano diamond. Is this the new graphene? Is this this? Mm hmm Yeah, and once you try it, yeah, you'll be impressed. Yeah, exactly. So, um, all right, let's see. And, uh. Kind of the hoverboard to our left with Humberto, waiting for a day to ride that skateboard in the air like in the movie. So, mm -hmm. I mean, Let's if we can this. get a rigging situation going on here, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he if he still had that yeah. booty, we could definitely yeah. do that. But <laughs> on the top you know. of that booty, yeah, all we, the way down uh, to the wash bay, maybe. Yeah, we may have to get some. Uh, but again, that's that's more the after hour stuff. That's you yeah, know that's, that's, that's you have to wait till the, the post show. You know, you got to wait for the post for show sure, for, for that. Sure. Um, and yeah, Ricky, as always. Multitasking, watching the halftime show, and adding there stuff to go. my TRC cart. But the big thing, Ricky, is make sure you hit checkout. Don't yep. just add it yep. to your cart and leave it there, because that That's doesn't right. do any of us any good. You know, you got to hit checkout, and I think there's some hot stickers this week. Hot you know, stickers. I think uh, they're on I'm the. Uh, I'm looking forward to some hot sales. Yes. Kicking off. Hot sales, exactly. Stay tuned to to what do or what can they uh, subscribe to? Maybe pay attention to these hot sales. Coming. There's a newsletter. There's a newsletter. Everyone has. I'm hoping everyone has emails, but again, you know, if you open up that email on your mobile device and your desktop computer, mm -hmm. if family computers are still in the home, yep. you know, check your junk folder, check the junk, check your filters, check make sure. Mail. And I mean, honestly, I would just slap the star on that, mm -hmm. you know, as a proof sender, send me the notifications first. And it's, they're only sending you stuff when they want to. That's right. You know, when, they're not when, sending when you the unnecessary stuff. you get that hot stuff. TRC email, mm -hmm. it's, it's hot. Yep. And, uh, you know. It's it's one of those things that I'm always excited when I see it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going through our wonderful distributors in, in Canada. Um, but again, right. if you're not living in the U.S., you know, you got to hit up their website and you can see all the distributors all over. So mm -hmm. no matter where you are, there's no excuse to not be able to get this stuff. That's right. So, but, uh, but yeah, and... Rag guy, I was on a hunt for a new up to one year type LSP for upcoming job. Looks like the fender's gonna fit the bill. I Love that it'll serve well it. for efficiency's sake. So you know, yeah. if if you're in a climate that isn't too bad, I think you could get a year out of this. Easily. You know, if I think, you're, I think I think this one is going to uh, shock some people. Yeah, if you're rocking just a weekend car, going, it's gonna it's, blow it's the something that's away, definitely good for sure. Okay. All righty, fellas. So, well, do we have one last comment? Anything you see? I. Uh, Nothing, nothing too crazy, but we got Diamond Protect chiming in. Diamond Protect, pop really. them on the screen real quick. I mean, they're in person, they're online, they're doing everything. Offering. So Peter Brokens, get ready for another review of what we already are offering, but a new product. There Certainly not helping everyone's get ready to today. Hit that but avenue. I mean, don't check out just yet. Yeah, Maybe exactly. You know, but helping out today, you know, our good friends at Pepsi are yes. uh, are helping Keeping out. Keeping us with hydrated, our, so energized. Cheers to the rest cheers. of the day, Jamie. Yes, tune and, in to the pre-show. Mm -hmm. We the post-show later on tonight. Thanks to Brooks running. Um, Yep. Keeping us comfy. Yep. Got that uh, extra kick out of here, line. So let's uh, be sure to set those reminders and stay tuned for the rest of the week because we got a lot of new hot content coming and uh, definitely sure to not disappoint. Mm -hmm. so, CWI, um, Yellow Tools coming right up. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks everyone for tuning in and get ready for some wonderful rap action.
Hey guys, Andy with The Rad Company, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the basic steps of how to wash a car. All right, so some things you're gonna need for this very basic wash is gonna be a garden hose. You're also gonna need a five gallon bucket here, and then a grit guard for that five gallon bucket that's going to keep the contamination from coming up into the mitt. And then you're also going to need, of course, a pH balanced car wash soap. No, do not use your Dawn dish soap. And then I also have a dedicated wheel cleaner here. I have a quick detailer, and then I also have a very high quality drying towel. I have multi-purpose towels for everything from spot cleaning to door jams. I have a high quality wash mitt and then I also have a dedicated tire brush and a dedicated soft bristle brush so that's everything you need let's jump into the wash all right so now that we've discussed everything that you need for the wash let's talk about when and where to wash a vehicle as you can see we're sitting here in a nice cool shaded area and that's because contrary to popular belief washing in direct sunlight is actually not ideal although it can be kind of fun and that's because we don't want that water drying on the surface most water is going to contain a high amount of mineral content that could potentially leave water spots behind and also we don't want our soap drying on the surface as well so working in a nice cool cool shaded area is going to be our best bet. Now you also want to make sure not to work on a hot vehicle, making sure that the hood is cool, the brakes are cool, the wheels are cool before you jump into the wash as well. We understand that everybody's situation is different and not everyone has a big shade tree in their front yard. And if that's the case, it's all right. Just make sure to do your wash first thing in the morning or at the end of the day, avoiding that direct sunlight, especially when it's so harsh. And other than that, you should be able to jump straight into the wash. So let's get after it. All right, so jumping straight into the wash process, we're actually gonna start with the wheels first, which is something that not a lot of people do. And the reason for this being is that the less time we have water sitting on the surface, even in the shade, is gonna be a less of a chance that we're gonna have hard water spotting. So I'm gonna grab both of my brushes here. I'm gonna throw them into my bucket where my grit guard is. I'm gonna take my hose, switch it to a nice filling function, and start filling up my bucket. So for wheels, I like to fill up my bucket about halfway full to three quarters of the way full. And then from here, I like to take just a little bit of car shampoo, just a little bit, just to add a little bit into the bucket here. Makes it smell a little bit nicer and also adds a little bit of lubrication. And so from here, take my hose again, get that soap nice and mixed up in there, and you'll start to see it froth up. Makes our brushes a little bit harder to find, but trust me, it works a lot better. All right, so for which wheel you start out with first, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna start here on the passenger side front wheel and I'm going to give this a spray to get started, avoiding hitting the rest of the paint just so we don't have a ton of water sitting on the surface. And that looks like a pretty good rinse. Now from here, I'm gonna take our wheel cleaner. So the wheel cleaner that we're using has a built-in fallout remover in it. It's gonna help remove some iron contamination. So if you start to see it turn purple, just know that's totally normal. But we're gonna be spraying it on the face of the wheel and the tire. And then from here, we're gonna let this dwell for just a minute or two. We don't wanna let it dry. So if it starts to dry, spray it with a little bit more wheel cleaner or to simply rinse that area with a hose again and then restart the process. Starting with the tires first, we're gonna give it a couple more sprays of our wheel cleaner here. Take our brush and start agitating the tire. The key to a clean looking wheel is actually a clean looking tire. Trust me when I say that. And once we've done that, what I like to do is I like to spray out my brush before throwing it back in the bucket. Nice and clean, back in there. Then taking my soft bristle brush, spraying a little bit more wheel cleaner on here, take this, start working from the intersection outward. All right, so now that we got the wheel and the tire clean, we're gonna go ahead and rinse it and check our work. Now it looks pretty good to me, but another trick that you can do, in case you don't have a ton of extra fancy brushes, you can also just throw one of those all-purpose microfiber towels into the bucket and use that to clean the wheel. Just bring it out a little bit and go through and get between the spokes and clean it up uh, and it should work perfectly fine. But in this case, I think the wheel turned out pretty good, so repeat the process for the next three wheels and then you can jump into the paint. 
So for the rinse, this should be pretty straightforward and easy to explain. The reason why we want to rinse off the vehicle first before taking a mitt to it is because we want to remove a lot of that heavy contamination to reduce the chance of scratching or marring. So if there is literal mud on the car, you're going to want to rinse that off. This is just like rinsing off a dish before you put it in the dishwasher. So it's common sense, but not everybody knows this. So we're going to be rinsing from top to bottom, making sure all that dirt dwells downward. So I'm going to put the sprayer here on my fan setting. I don't want to use a pin point setting, I want to use something that's going to have good coverage with a little bit of power. So with our pre-rinse done, we can jump into the actual wash. Now some of you intermediate to pro detailers might be seeing this and saying, Anthony, where's the second bucket for a two bucket wash method? Guys, this is going to be the basics of a wash. So if you're watching this, this is for a beginner, this isn't for a pro or an intermediate person. Yes, you can add an extra bucket to the wash if you want to, but for the most part, this is one bucket just to simplify things. So reaching down into here, I'm going to pull out my nice soapy wash mitt. Give it a slight ring out here, froth it up if I need to, and we're going to be using this at kind of a medium wetness. You can either put your hand into the mitt or you can tuck the cuff. I prefer to tuck the cuff. Bring it out just a little bit more. Find a nice good sudsy amount, and we're going to take it to the top of the vehicle. Now I'm going to start here at the top section, and I'm going to be working in straight lines, meaning I'm not going to Mr. Miyagi it. I'm going to go nice straight path. Seeing where I've gone, this is going to reduce the chance of extra uh, swirling or potential marring because contrary to property belief, right, marring can happen in any direction, swirling can happen in any direction, but at least if we're going in a straight line and if you were to potentially pick up some contaminants, it's going to reduce the chance of it looking like a circle and more like looking like a nice clean straight line if that happens. So what I'd like to do is bring the bucket closer to me so I'm not making a bunch of trips and I'm going to be working one panel at a time. So bigger panels, I'll do half a section. So I did half of the roof here, then I'll jump to half the hood, but I'll start with all of my horizontal surfaces first before jumping into my vertical surfaces. So coming down to here, I can knock out my windshield, lifting my wipers as needed, getting underneath there, and then I can flip my mitt and go straight down to my hood and knock out this half. Again, working in straight lines. If you feel like your pad is losing some soapiness, just dunk it back into your bucket and bring it back to the hood. All right, so now that we finished washing down the vehicle, now we can jump to the rinse portion. Now, the reason why I went from top to bottom is because most of the heavier contamination is gonna be on the lower sections of the vehicle. We don't wanna drag the bottom stuff up to the top. So working top to bottom is gonna be our safest bet to reduce scratching. So taking our hose here, we are gonna rinse the car thoroughly, removing all of the soap. Rinse as much as necessary to get all that soap off the car as we don't want any of that residue sitting on the car drying.
All right, so now that the car is rinsed, we can jump into the drying process. So I have my drying towel here, and I have my quick detailer. What I'm gonna do with my quick detailer is spray it onto the wet surfaces of the car, one panel at a time, and dry it into it, because this is gonna add some lubrication and add a little bit of shine and make drying a heck of a lot nicer, easier, and it's gonna smell a lot better. So that's gonna be the process for the wheels. We'll be knocking those out afterwards with one of our extra all-purpose towels, and we're gonna be using the same stuff on those as well. So what I like to do is start with drying the vertical surface is first, so meaning the sides of the car before jumping into the top of the car, and this one towel should be able to do all of it beautifully. So with the car dry, the car has a nice shine to it. It's very slick to the touch because of that quick detailer that we added. Now it's time to move on to the wheels. Now one thing that you can do if you want to add the cherry on top is a tire dressing, which will complement the work that you put into the wheel already, deepening the look of that tire. But first, we need to clean the wheel and dry it first. So using our towel here, one of our all-purpose towels, taking a little bit of our quick detailer, spraying it onto the wheel itself, a couple sprays into the towel, we're gonna go through and dry off all that water. This is also gonna add a little bit of shine to the wheel as well. And with that dry, we're gonna add our tire shine. A little shake here, apply it to our applicator. Apply it to the tire. And for this, you can use an applicator or you can use a towel but we're gonna be applying this, giving it a nice deep shine. And then, if you would like to, you can take your towel and you can knock it down just a little bit to remove some of that shine to give it a more natural look. All right, so with the car dry, the wheels cleaned, and the tires dressed, this thing looks pretty dang good, right? Now, if you have to do any type of touch-up work, grab your microfiber towels, your all-purpose towels, and your quick detailer, and knock out any residual water, as well as your door jams. But other than that, hey, you're finished. You've done it. Sit back and admire all of your hard work that you put into your wash. So, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let us know down in the comments. If you want to follow along this process for yourself, we have all of the links to everything we use down below so you can follow it step by step. So again, if you want to see more of these basic how-tos, please leave a comment and let us know what you want to see next. So as always, thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rag Company.
<laughs> All right. Now, welcome back to day one of TRCMA 2023, part two, the second half. Right. Like back to the future, back. Back to the future too to go back. Yes. To do something else. Yes. Back. Yeah. Basically. Something right? like that. Something like that. Well, guys, this has been a ton of fun and probably our most successful TRCMA I think so. yet. And it just started. It we just started. started. A whole week of this. I can't believe it. It's going to be so much better every single day from here on out. I can't believe it. It's just been an awesome time, and hopefully, you guys have been enjoying yep. all of the fun videos we've created. Yeah. Me in an extremely tight green suit that Hope didn't you guys quite enjoyed fit that. right. Specifically, I think you you were just wearing it randomly throughout the office on days. You complained every time you got into it, but you just enjoyed the process. Yeah. Everybody's asked me to stop stretching in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was very awkward. <laughs> but uh, one thing that you could pick up is we have a plethora of goodies here at the Rag Company. We've got a sale going on at the ragcompany.com, a TRCMA sale, yeah. where there's 20% off almost everything in the store. Yep. So you can pick up any of the brands that you know and love, and you can pick up this sweet shirt at the website. So go get your very own uh, nope. back to TRCMA concert tea basically it's awesome so it's you can pick tea. that up we've got the new trc towel yep. as well so we have a special edition towel that's available that's the only time you're gonna be able to buy it and then uh yeah just go down check out the store get all kinds of fun stuff make sure you guys yeah. are commenting because there are going to be a number of brands that are going to be providing discounts as well as giveaways yeah exactly week. so throughout the week again it's just going to get bigger and better every single day but we're off to probably one of the best starts of this event that we've ever had we're super proud of not only the production crew but everybody that's been mm -hmm. presenting and all of the work and effort that's gone into this event and i mean we're having hundreds of people watch this at one time, which is just phenomenal. It makes us feel like this is all worth it. Yeah, so huge thanks to the Rag Company. Thank you to Pepsi for providing all the drinks. Thank you to Peterson Toyota for providing this car and Drake Heck Mechanical yeah. providing the DeLorean to us. And of course, Brooks keeping uh, Anthony light on our feet for uh, the next few days. Heck yeah, man. Heck so yeah. without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we have a great afternoon planned. You not only are gonna to get to hear from Yellow Tools, you're gonna to get to hear from Justin Pate and the Rap Institute, as well as our friends at Diamond Pro Tech. So, without further ado, Yellow Tools. Hey everyone, Justin Pate from the Rap Institute. Very, very happy to be here, and you are lucky as well as I am lucky to have Michael from Yellow Tools here. He's gonna talk about his company, but without further ado, Michael, do you wanna introduce yourself? Yeah, hey, uh, thanks for having me, Michael Altov, my name. 54 years young, and I'm from Windeck, Germany. Thanks for having me. Thanks, the Rack Company, for introducing me into that amazing industry. The detailing business is freaking cool, though. Yeah, very exciting. We're going to go deep on Yellow Tools. And if you heard where he's from, he's from Windex, Germany. And Windex is where they make the cleaners for windows. So it's the shiniest city in Germany, correct? <laughs> yes, we invented Windex. No. <laughs> it just sounds like it. Windex is. Um, Windex is about 60 kilometers uh, east of um, Cologne. Windex is not the end of the world, but from us you can see it, that's for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, Michael, um, it's interesting with your company, Yellow Tools, right? Uh, most people think you would have a W at the end of O, but you actually, it's just yellow with O and then tools. What's the story behind that? Well, um, you know, um, building up the company, we ran out of money. So we didn't have money for the letters, so we stopped at uh, W. Totally no, it's just, just uh, <laughs> simply, it was taken. Okay. It was one of the biggest mistakes we ever did. Um, I always drive around with an old 55 F100 pickup truck mm. as a hot rod. Everyone knows me with that, and thing is yellow. And so they call it yellow tools because of me, I don't know. But you know, yellow was taken, that's it. So you know, so the history of yellow tools is really interesting and how, and I think you, know, you started off small and you've grown really big. We'll get into how big you are now. And at the beginning, you know, you actually were a sign maker in the industry, so you did a lot of signs yourself, and you kind of started your company based out of a need, and you based out of, started out of one product. Well, I mean, you guys know it. The best idea starts with hold my beer, and that's exactly <laughs> how Yellow Tool started. Um, I, I was never um, an organized person. I mm -hmm. never was really picky with my tools and everything, right. but I'm lazy. 
which, which helps a lot. So um, I, um, you know, if you if you take these rolls of vinyl into plotters, you have to do it on and on and on again, off, mm. on, off, on, off, on, um. and then you take a little piece of um, masking tape or whatever is, is around to put it on, so to prevent the roll from just unwinding. Mm. And I was like, no, that's that's. That's not the way I want to do it in the next 40 years. So I took a piece of plywood, put some nails in a certain order, and I heated up a piece of um, a forex, which is kind of a plastic, mm. and I formed it as a clip so you can put it around uh, your vinyl and, and done deal. And so uh, another uh, cus another uh, colleague, he came in to ask me if I can borrow him some vinyl and he saw um, my wall with the clips and he said, oh my god, these are so cool, uh, where did you get these? And I said, I made it myself. And he said, oh wow, can you make me one too? So, oh, yeah, I still left a piece of plywood. So this is how we came up with the speed clip. This is how everything started. Um, and I think I made about uh, five to six million of it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool. So you know, so obviously your company started off with the original idea, which is great. Yeah. So that was the core business. Then someone wanted it, and you started growing and growing, and you pivoted into becoming a producer of tools. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, we are 19 years old right now. Mm. Last l this month, uh, last month actually, we had our 19 year anniversary. We are um, 40 people right now in. Uh, Windeck, Germany and in uh, California. Yeah. And um, th we are the manufacturer, yes. We, we manufacture all the, th I mean, I would say we have about 500 core products. Okay. And with all the variations, I would say it's 1,800 different products. And we have a saying, 0% China, 100% Windeck. And we are at 75 to 77% Windeck, which we, where we produce everything ourselves. Nice, and that kind of segues into what we're going to announce today and with all the presentations that we have with the presentation we're doing now, and then my presentation with the Rep Institute, is there's a new products coming out, a new announcement coming soon, and the idea of forming a partnership between a lot of different industries right now, because there's a lot of crossover happening, Michael, right now, where there's people who are in the sign making, which is what you start off with, and then people getting into PPF and to color change, and then also the detailing world, everything's merging. So this is where the RAG company, PNS, the Rap Institute, the Yellow Tools are combining together. And we're, we all do what we love. Okay, your slogan is never stop improving. Rap Institute is never stop learning, which is great. But the idea is, we've always been based on not only doing great tools, but also having quality. Like you said, you produce the own, your products yourself. So you're producing great innovative products, but also have a standard of quality that's a step above. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Well, I mean, um, what do we have in common in our industries? Um, mm. Sign makers, car wrappers, people who put 60, 70 micron thin uh, uh, self-adhesive vinyl on, on cars, they need to be artists, they mm. need to be skilled, they need to be almost tender <laughs> to surfaces. Yeah. I mean, you have to love what you do. Uh, and that's, that's, the, that's the reason why we at Yellow Tools, we said, no, we don't go in, other, in any other industries because we want, to, we want to focus on those people. We have some car painters mm. which are talented that way too, Absolutely. but they don't, I don't know, for some reasons they, they, they stick with their paints, but the detailers, I mean, you guys love your surfaces as mm. well, and you exactly know uh, you can't use a, a, a freaking uh, Home Depot knife on a leather seat. You know, right. you freaking know what you guys do, and that's that's what we love. So th that's why you say, okay, we're absolutely where we want it to be. Yeah. And so, Michael, you know, just so you guys know it's, uh, why Yellow Tools is part of this partnership is, you know, Michael, your company as a whole, you start off with sign making, but then you started pivoting. So you started off with one tool and you started growing and you started focusing on color change and commercial wraps. And now your whole product line, it covers a wide range from sign making to vehicle wrapping to PPF to interior. Do you want to talk about some of the tools that we have here and then we'll showcase them in a little later? Uh, I think, yeah, you, you, that, that's your part. Let's, let's talk about uh, the reason why we're here and, okay. and what, we, what we're thinking. Um, yeah, I mean, there is no end to improvement. There is mm. no uh, never stop learning. Um, if, you, if you stand still, you know, the train will, will hit you and it, it will wipe you off the planet. Absolutely. No, you have to, this is what we do with Yellow Tools. Um, we listen to customers. Mm -hmm. We have a system, we, we invented a system, we call, it, it's called DBS. Uh, let me see if I have something here. Uh, mm -hmm. That guy, for instance, oh, uh, there are squeegees we have in here. Uh, this, this guy, this guy here. 
It's a tucking tool. It's invented by one of the best uh, intelligence um, car wrappers I've ever seen. Mm. Uh, his name is Robin Booth. So he comes up and says, hey, um, I have an idea. Uh, I, have an, uh, I have issues tucking things in certain areas. And we listen to him and we do the drawing with him. We do the drawings with the customers and then we call it a DBS product designed by a sign maker. Mm. So people call us with their problems to have. We always, we have a slogan, we love what you hate. Mm. Yeah, whatever you hate in, about your job, yeah, we we have a tool or a solution, or we work together on something like this. Yep. Uh, the best example is um, if if you ask people, what do you hate about your job? Most sign makers say nothing. I don't. I don't hate anything about my job. And it's like, what about peeling off vinyl and mm. removing glue after it's on the? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that I hate, and we have the most amazing tools for this one. Yeah, absolutely. And so what Michael does really well is not only do you listen to your customers, you're using not just you know ingredients to make a profit. You use the ingredients that are sustainable, that work well with the customers, like especially like let's say squeegees, for example. I mean, it sounds weird, but we never we never really focus on profit. Right. We focus on the solution. Profit will come with ah, it. Okay. Yeah. You you don't focus on that. If you focus on that, you know. Uh, I, I told a couple of people, hey, I'm going to Boise, Idaho, I'm, I'm, I'm having a show with the rack company, and they, they, they get all the, the detailers into it, our industry. I said, what? You talk to the enemy? What's going on with you? How can you, how, how can you dare? And I said, guys, you, you, you don't get the point. Mm. Um, detailers are smart. I mean, they are damn close to our industry already. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they touch paint, they clean everything, and then customers ask them, so please protect it. Either is there a coating or PPF. They will come anyway. That's, that's what I think. I'm sorry. And our job, our goal is to keep the quality up as high as we can because what we don't want is a herd of, of semi-professionals and destroying price grids in our industry. So let's share our secrets. Mm. Let's, let's teach uh, the mistakes we did for them mm. in order to, to hold up, the, to raise the bar. The way I see it, mm. just only in the United States, I think we have 300 million um, private and commercial vehicles out there. We have billions of shelvings or washing machines or whatever mm. wants to get wrapped. The cake is big <laughs> enough for all of us. Absolutely. The main thing is we don't, we, we, we should not eat from, from someone else's plate. So let's, let's share forces. We can learn from you guys a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's right now, Kind of part of this announcement today and part of what we're doing is just really exciting is the merging of industries. Yes. Where I've learned a lot from detailers in the past three or four years and incorporating what I've been doing. I don't see detailers coming to the wrapping scene as a threat. I see it as a great thing. Merging of knowledge, mer merging of passions and stuff like that. But I think, again, it's important for the detailers to know that, let's say if they go to Amazon and or they go to anything and they buy, start buying wrapping tools and they don't want to do stuff. If they buy a cheap squeegee, a cheap squeegee is going to result in cheap results. Well, I mean, we all have been there. Yeah, yeah. Th that's why we're here. Don't do it. Don't, don't. You know, a cheap tool, a cheap training, a cheap material. You always um, buy twice. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, um, like I said, we did all the mistakes for you already. <laughs> you can do the mistakes just to make sure that they're not good. Yeah. Yeah. Or you follow the recipe of people who, who learn, who, who knows their stuff. Uh, and um, Justin here. He created an amazing system. You have to ma imagine he he's he's kind of like um, uh, he's been the, the the counterpart of, of of YouTube. Yeah, so he's better than them. And and before you scroll through all these YouTube videos and eventually find a semi-professional who might tell you the way it might go, go with him. It takes you five minutes. Mm. The problem is solved. Done deal. You make money instead of scrolling around and, and looking for bullshit. Sorry. Absolutely no. You can swear all you want. But I think the main thing is like that squeegee, for example. You know, for me. And again, very important to understand. And why I think the rag company has been so successful is the rag company clearly finds partners that are super knowledgeable and experts in what they do. They provide the best quality, the best price point, all that kind of stuff. Like for example, like I've been rapping for 20, 26 years. Wrapping for a long time, and when I'm wrapping, I'm always like squeegeeing and stuff like that because I need to grab my squeegee quick. Instead of putting it in my pocket or tool belt, I'll put it in my mouth. All right, so I'm putting a squeegee in my mouth a lot. All right, 
And again, this squeegee maybe costs maybe 30% more than a standard squeegee. If right? that. If, if that. that. But the idea is I'm going to put it in my mouth a lot. And now if this is filled with solvents and a lot of chemicals and stuff like that, I'm in putting those in my body too, which is not good. If it's on you, it's in you. Now, your squeegees don't do that. There's a, there's a plasticizer inside because it's a soft plastic. Right. And most of the plasticizers out there are highly cancer causing, mm. no, no, no matter what. Right. So you put this in your mouth and you just suck that stuff in your t into your body. Or with your sweaty fingers, open pores in your skin, you have that thing in your hand all day long, you suck that acid, that toxic stuff in your body. And we make sure that all our um, squeegees we make are made out of food plastic. Mm. Um, it, it's, it's that tiny little difference, but uh, it, at the end of the day, I mean, you live longer. Hello, is that, isn't that cool? Um, no, I, we, we have about, I don't know, 300 different squeegees if you count all the shores and all the shapes and stuff like this. And many people ask me, why the hell are they so many squeegees? Um, I can tell you, I don't like this either, but um, like I said, you guys are artists. Artists have the, a lot of personal preference. Mm. And we don't want to do, what we wanna, don't want to make a thing which eventually match the majority of people out there. That's not what we want. We want to pick up your skills, your, your level of working skills, whatever you want, and then I got you from there. You tell me what's missing in this industry, and then we make it. It's the other way around. Most people I know say, here's the best squeegee in the world, you, you need to buy that, you need to go with it, and stuff like this. It's not the way it, it and maybe the detailing industry will come with totally new challenges. I mean, we have tools designed to work on 70, 60, 40 micron thin material on surfaces with no scratch, no damages, no bleed, nothing. Mm. So, and that's what um, detailers want. But you know, we have tucking tools to tuck vinyls underneath rubber gaskets, but the same tucking tools are so smooth and so high end that you can also peel off chocolate out of Napa leather seat seams. So it's pretty, we're pretty damn close. But if you have something which is missing in the industry, we have big ears and we want to adapt, we want to learn what's going on. Um, even if I'm old as a stone, I'm curious as a kid and I want to learn, learn, <laughs> learn, learn. That's what I'm here for. And that all comes, actually, I think, I think this is a good segment. And for those of you watching right now, you can tell that it's about quality, it's about having innovation, it's about adapting and changing to the market, changing to your customers, listening to your customers' needs. But also the core of your company right now, which is really interesting, is founded on lean. So it's a founded on a very interesting philosophy that allows your company, because everyone kind of sips the same Kool-Aid, is the idea is that you can pivot and kind of innovate super quickly, faster with 3D modeling, with all your routers and stuff like that, is you're producing tools faster and better than ever before, and it all comes from your philosophy of lean. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we call it lean. Other people call it Kaizen or uh, Zig Sigma. It has a million names. Um, um, bottom line is, um, if you want to live in a rapid changing world, I mean, look at the last three years, you know, would you guys have thought that all this stuff happening, what happened in the last three years? And if we think that's it, that was it all, uh-uh, there's more, more about to come. So if you want to really survive in a, in a, in a uh, rapid changing industry and uh, world, you need to have a culture, a culture which um, understands and utilize these uh, these changes and 15 years ago I decided to uh, bring my company uh, uh, to a lean philosophy lean is really what what drives my company lean really is a th is a philosophy is a culture which helped me survive without that mm. I wasn't, what, wasn't be here anymore. Yeah, and I, the, for those of you, I mean, what's really important and really important that you understand about Yellow Tools and why they're a key partner in this relationship between the RAD company, the RAP Institute, and as we build, is not only does your company institute lean, which you can see in the products, you can feel it, is major corporations from all across the world, Mercedes, IKEA, Lufthansa. all those companies, Lufthansa, they come to Yellow Tools in Windeck, Germany, yeah. to s visit your plant with 40, 50 employees, and those companies that have 30,000, 40,000 employees come to you to learn how to run a business, which yeah, is crazy. I, I don't know. Sometimes they come up with big, huge buses, and they're thinking about you know, building up a souvenir show or something like this. <laughs> no, honestly. Um, it's, it's, it's really um, it's, it's a fact that we got a, got a system where um, 
let's say a forklift driver tries to make his job redundant by himself, not to get fired, uh, but just to get a better job, a higher position in the company because we don't need a forklift driver anymore. Mm. It's pretty much lean for me. It's putting it's putting the human being in 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 the center of everything you do. Um, most people think about lean as an efficiency concept mm. or a concept to organize the shop and stuff like this. But this is not even close to what lean is all about. Mm. You know? And uh, here's also where the circle is closing. Lean, as I said, first of all, is putting the person, the, the human being, in the center of it. Mm. But uh, the most important part is uh, learning to recognize waste. Mm. and reducing waste. Waste in so many aspects, in so many uh, uh, different different ways of, of, of looking at it. Yeah, um, yeah and, 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 and that's kind of like the thing. Yeah, and I think, I think you know, it's a perfect example of that, and again, you can feel it in the tools, is uh, two years ago, on summer vacation, my family and I went to Windeck, Germany to visit Yellow Tools on our way, on our, you know, to Italy on vacation, and my daughter Tiger Lee at the time, she was 13, and she's walking through your factory, you know, she's seen all the innovation and all the organization. Keep in mind at Yellow Tools, there's no drawers. No drawers are not allowed. If you need a drawer, you don't need it, which is interesting. And Tiger Lee saw a tool, and she's like, wow, can I try to make that tool? And you said, of course. And within 20 seconds, she took down the thing, and she made the tool, and you said, keep on going. And my daughter made 30 tools in about 10 minutes, and you actually put her name on it, which was really cool. And the fact that my daughter, who's 13, I mean, she's a clever, clever kid, for sure, but the fact that within 20 seconds, she could figure out how to make a tool that you then sold to a customer, with high quality and precision, that says something about your company. That ha there's so much knowledge in one tool that your company had put in. It's pretty amazing. I want to bring this this concept over to the industry, to mm. my customers. Absolutely. Um, it's nice that I do it, and um, it's it's maybe it's also a very good advertising point. Say, hey, you don't pay uh, any waste if you buy a squeegee at Yellow Tools or whatsoever. Mm. No, my 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 challenge really is on my yeah. This is where I breathe on is. You guys need to take a look at your daily job, mm. because most of us, and I say us, I'm doing this since 15 years, but I still I'm not even close to where I want it, want it to be. We accept bullshit. Yeah, we don't see waste anymore. We don't see the not added value activities for our customers. Pre-prepping, organizing, all of that um, bookkeeping, administrative stuff, all the non-added value activities need to be as lean, as small as possible. Mm. And this is, again, like I said, this is where the circle is closing. Mm. This is where you, you need a culture where this all is, is, is possible. Then you need training to not try to make your mistakes on your own. This mm. is waste mm. at its highest level. You need good tools, tools which do the job. And you need material, like if, if it's a towel or it's a coating or it, if it's whatever it is, a rack, it needs to be the perfect one mm. which gives added value to everything you do because your customer is only paying you for added value. Mm. And that is the core point. And we accept too much of the non-added value activities because we think, hey, we do this since 1983. Nope, that's not an, uh, a valid excuse anymore. There's more about to come with crisis, with changings and stuff like this, and we need to be ready for that. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and you can see it and feel on the product. Even like a good example, I think, is a good segue, is like uh, scrapers. You talked earlier, oh. one of your most innovative products are like right now is removing vinyl, because everyone, no one really talks about it. Always lo people love to put it I on. I love it. But you love to take it off, okay? But even now, I mean, in, up until 2012, most paint on cars, especially in America, was oil-based paint. Now it's water-based paint. So a lot of people are using old school scrapers, but this is a plastic that you guys specifically, specifically developed for water-based paint. I mean, look, this is a little card of plastic. You could, you could think, okay, everyone has something like this. You go to Walmart or whatever, you know, Ranger, what, you, you name it. Right. But this is a, um, a glass fiber hardened PUM. And uh, the coolest thing on trade shows is if there's a freaking McLaren or a Ferrari or something like this, I pull out my little 
yellow plate, if they want to remove something like a sticker from the dealer, whatever, I just put it on the on the hood and start scraping. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> no scratch at all, nothing, nothing. We do, we, I, I think, twenty five thousand a year or something like this. Once you have this in your hand, you never leave the house without it. Absolutely. But it, you know, you can buy a sack of granulate for. For for fifty bucks yep. and for five hundred bucks, mm. this is not the fifty bucks one. Mm -hmm. You know what is that? It's two three dollars or something like this. It doesn't matter. It does the job. It it removes the sticker without any hesitations, without irritations and nothing. And this is the key point, guys. Look out. Watch out. What what you, what you put in your tool pouch. Absolutely. You know, and what's been cool about, you know, as we can kind of conclude this, conclude this segment is, you know, I've known the rag company for years and years, right? And I've been getting to know the whole team and especially Jeff and Caroline and the whole, everyone. And so when this whole partnership with the rag company and the Rap Institute was beginning, I told Jeff, I said, yo, we got to involve Michael and Yellow Tools. And then you visited right after SEMA last year and Jeff called back and he's like, Michael's the real deal. And I hope you viewers out there can really appreciate what Michael does in his company. It's not just making tools and plastic and stuff like that. It's innovative, quality, durability, efficiency, you have the formula set. And this is why I love being here, and uh, I thank you again, especially, um, like you said, Jeff and his team. Um, you guys are pioneers, and mm. you are a pioneer, and I love being around pioneers who are uh, have the guts to say, okay, let's go different ways. Um, I mean, you guys are watching us, you know, we're sitting here in a chair chatting, da 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 da, <laughs> but what's going on behind here, you have no idea. It's, it's hundreds of people running around making that happening for you, for us, and for all of us, and I think, I can't thank enough for being a part of that. Um, yeah, great pioneership, and I, I really appreciate being here, and I'm very excited. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So I think with that, Michael, I think what we do now is we're going to go to the next segment where the Rap Institute is kind of focused where you're going to see a little bit more yellow tools because you're actually a big part of this next announcement, okay. which I'm very excited about. So I think with that, anything else you want to add? Right in front? I think there are maybe some questions we oh could yeah. answer. Any questions if out you there guys have anything or? for us, just shoot it out, yeah. or we just go right straight to your demo. Oh. Dane? Sure. So I was just going to say, it's been fairly minimal on questions. I think folks are mostly listening, so they're just kind of absorbing. and Because this is new for a lot of folks who are joining us. Sure. They're not used to seeing the PPF in the tent world, that kind of thing. So it's something that's cool to be able to introduce that angle to it and show how it can be you know, shown to detailers and, and expand basically the audience. So if there's anything you would want to say directly to detailers to kind of uh, frame this in a new way for them, is there anything you'd like to add before we move on? Well, I mean, um, first of all, welcome to a very, very uh, interesting part of your maybe new career. Uh, we face that um, the PPF, um, the paint protection um, business, is the fastest growing part of, 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 yeah, of what I ever experienced in the last um, almost 20 years. Um, so yes, people want to protect their stuff uh, better than ever, and they see the value in their cars or objects, vehicles, um, I can tell you it's not just only full, full uh, wraps. I mean, some people just um, protect the uh, the part of their, not bumper, like the trunk where you put your merchandise, uh, your, your purchases on right. and protect all of that part. Um, and people protect washing machines and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, like I said, 300 million cars, uh, let's say, let's, let's get 10% of them. You know, we all get billionaires. Well, and that's the thing. I think what you're going to see now in the next segment, too, is I think part of this whole thing is, you know, what we at the Rapids who call the great crossover, where there's the sign makers and there's vehicle wrappers and there's interior and there's detailers and everyone's crossing over right now. And you're going to see a very, if you're into detailing and you've been interested in getting into wrapping, whether I'm going to show a demo on a hood in just a second, if you're just wanting to start getting into the wrapping market and start adding money, we're going to show you a very easy way to do it with a great segment. So that'll be awesome. So I Hi, my name is Justin Pate founder and CEO of The Rap Institute. The Rap Institute is the world's number one online rap training platform. What I'd like to do right now is give you a brief overview of The Rap Institute so you have a good idea of why it's an invaluable tool to help you grow within the rap business. The Rap Institute is the world's number one online rap training platform and our slogan is never stop learning. This fuels The Rap Institute in delivering the most cutting edge and up-to-date content. Every week, four to five new training videos are added that fills a giant library with thousands of how-to videos. The video library on the Rap Institute covers anything rap-related. 
from PPF, color change, commercial vehicles, walls, floors, interior film, window tint, business tips, production, and design. A membership to the Rap Institute gives you unlimited access to the entire video library and so much more. There is a private forum to ask questions to members and leading worldwide experts. There are free PDFs that help with workflow and administration. There's also a shop section where you can get a special exclusive discounts to manufacturers like CoverStyle, Lux, Good Wraps, and many more. Essentially, all these amazing benefits pay you back as soon as you click purchase. Join the Rap Institute today in order to help take your rap game to higher and higher levels, all at an affordable price. It's the best investment you can make in your career. Hey everyone, I'm back here at the beautiful studios at the Rag Company and I'm very excited about this demo because it's a two-part demo. One is focused on a brand new channel that's going to be on Amazon that I'm working with Rag Company and a lot of other great manufacturers and that is a one-stop shop for anything related to rap, which is really cool. I've been working with the Rag Company on this for about a year and basically now if you can go to Amazon, you can basically buy any tool related to rap that's going to help you rap in a professional way. Not quick and dirty cheap tools. These are professional tools that really, really work for you and I'm going to show you how each one of those tools work, give you a little taste for it, why you can really understand that this is a one-stop shop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to announce a special, special new product that we work together with PNS and then I'm going to wrap a hood in real time and show you how all these tools can Combined to allow you to do a perfect hood wrap with the highest quality and high efficiency, which means profits, which is awesome. Now keep in mind that the Rad Rap Institute started back in 2014. Actually, I started rapping in 1996, and I always dreamed of having my own page that had the best tools. And I've always focused on having quality and durability first, and then efficiency is a byproduct of combining that. And so, by meeting Jeff and the Rad Company and the crew, Jeff and I have been talking for years about doing this, and he said, you know what, let's green light it. So I started talking to all the companies that I've, been, I've known over the years. So that's obviously Michael from Yellow Tools, of course. The Rad Company, NT Cutter, Monkey Strips, Banana Buffers, and many, many more companies. And I said, you know what, I want to put this together, together a channel, and I want the best products. Can you work with me? And they all said, Yes, so they are almost all of them exclusive on Amazon with this channel. So with that, what I'd like to do right now is show all of you kind of the concept for the tools, the ideas behind them, how some of them work, so you get a little taste of the, how cool they are, and then with that, we'll get to the hood wrap. So actually, I'd like to begin over here with the prep tools, okay? Everything we do on the Wrap Institute, we try to break into very easy, straightforward categories, and that is prep, install and post install and that can vary a lot depends on what you do whether you're let's say just putting signs on the side of a van wrapping walls or floors doing interior wraps let's say wrapping a kitchen with crocodile film or something like that and also maybe color change ppf the whole gamut so all these tools cover all that and more so let's begin with prep tools now for those about you a lot of details you guys know about quality but in my world let's say the wrapping world a lot of installers don't understand about detailing that's why i love this partnership with the rag company is when i first started cleaning cars up until about three or four years ago what did i use i used baby shampoo a little bit of water some paper towels to clean the car then a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and then if i stepped up my game and got it a little more fancy i used microfiber towels but they're from lowe's or let's say home depot but now with this whole partnership with the rag company totally different ball game and you can see it here. So in terms of let's begin with towels right now, again for wrapping anything right now, I highly recommend you just need basically three types of microfiber towels in this case. Here the 365 and I like to color coat my towels. The blue one is going to be for cleaning, okay, just getting the dirt off. The yellow is for degreasing, kind of getting any kind of oil off the car. Then the pearl, the purple pearl especially right now, I like this one because this is great for putting on let's say aftercare products like ceramic coatings. If the car is super wet, I like the liquidator which is really grid and we also got the mitt for PPF and cleaning. So these towels and this setup, again, this is a Rap Institute exclusive towel line that the Rag Company put together. This for me hits all the quality durability points and also the efficiency. So spending a little more for quality than you would, let's say, at Home Depot or Lowe's. But again, for me, this is the big one because you can feel the quality and these last for a long time. So the investment's there for sure. And this is a big one right now. All right. So back in the day, I didn't even know about clay barring. And then clay bar, the actual clay itself is OK, but wrappers hate that because it takes too much time, a little too much focus. This one's the big so right now we got the clay scrubber right now and this for me is a game changer. So super, super smooth right now and this for me gets the perfect surface very quick and easy which is great. So the clay scrubber for me is great. So this is all about prepping and cleaning. 
But again, how do you clean the car with the right solution? So for us right now, we're, we're putting on absolute rinseless wash. So again, for the longest time I used baby shampoo and it worked for me, or at least I thought it worked. And then when I started playing with absolute right now, total game changer. So for me, one capful in the cleaning, I get a whole gallon. So I put a capful inside there, which works really good. Then I put two capfuls for my clay bar, which is really nice. Now, in terms of sprayers right now, it's not a, just a simple sprayer that I get from Lowe's and Home Depot. This one's cool. This one's from comes from IK, and this has a little ball in there, so I could do 365 spraying. This was extremely important for me, and I held off on this for a long time in terms of choosing the spray bottle right now, because I wanted something that, especially if you're doing PPF, you're tuning the spray bottle upside down. I want that 365. Now we have it, so we got the quality and we got the workflow, which is awesome. So these are for cleaning and prep, which is awesome. Now we got a little bit of install tools, and Michael talked earlier about quality. This brings in yellow tools and why one of their big partners for this is having high quality plastic. Getting that, let's say, taking emblems off the back bumper or the back, uh, the hatchback. You want to make sure you take the emblems off safely. All that adhesive doesn't scratch the car so it goes back on pristine. Having great quality tools like this, spending a little extra more for this than you would do on the cheap stuff really pays off in the long term. Then we get into PPF. Michael has a lot of great solutions right now that he developed himself. 8 Potion is really, really good for installing PPF, which is awesome. And then we have also the squeegees. So these are super, super special squeegees. My partner for the RAP Institute, Ryan Lawrence, helped develop uh, this tool. What's really particularly cool about this squeegee right now, it has a little texture at the top right now, because when you install PPF, it's wet. So with this texture here, your fingers don't slip, which means you have a nice hold on it. You don't have to exert so much energy to hold your squeegee, which over the course of the day, gives you focus and energy. And at the dual squeegee right now, you got the nice firmness in the flex. So the green is a little stiff and the red is very, very flexible, but that's not at all. This is the thought behind all the tools that we have on the RAP Institute channel right now, is this. This is just not a normal squeegee right now, it's different angles. So if you turn it to here, this has a nice soft angle here, so about a 45 degree angle. So when I go to squeegee, I can put X amount of pressure here, right? But then if I want to put a little more firm pressure on it, now I got the 60 degree turn here, which is really cool. And then if I want to put on a lot of pressure, I got a 90 degree turn, which is awesome. So different angles. And what's cool is Reiner th was th uh, really thought this out. So instead of having a squeegee that had a 90 degree turn here, which can kind of damage the, the material, he kind of beveled the edge here so there's no chance of damaging the material. So now you got three different angles on all the sides. You got the grip on the top, you got the softness, and you got the roundness of the corners. That is pretty cool. And this is what you're going to see in this whole tool line. So this is for PPF, but let's continue with tools. Obviously, you're going to do some window tinting. So we have all the window tint tools you need, basic, high quality tools. And this is really cool too. We're going to be selling this. This is the yellow quick stick. Now, more and more you detailers know that you're putting ceramic coatings on the car and that's great for cleaning, but it's bad for wrapping if a car has a ceramic coating on it, because if it does, the material doesn't stick. So having something like this is very, very important to have. So this tells me the surface energy of the paint before I wrap. And if it has a ceramic coating on it, then I know to take it off and have all the, uh, all the tools for that. And for window tinting here, this is a really cool one. This is called Foxy Fluid. So this allows the material to shrink onto the windows super safe and very quick and easy. So this is for tinting. So you can see that we have a whole line of products for wet installs, let's say PPF window tint and prepping the car, which is great. With that, let's move to tools for install. Now, for tools for install right now, this is kind of really close to my heart because obviously I love wrapping. So for me, I'm going to start off with the basic ones, and this one I'm really excited about. So a lot of the tools in the line right now, some of them are specifically made just for this product line. So Wrap Institute will now have what's called Wrap Institute Platinum line, so TWI Platinum. This means this is a special kind of high-end tool, which is really great. So this was specially produced from Yellow Tools for the Wrap Institute. It has this very specific shore where it has a bit of flex to it, which is cool. And this is a new unique shape that's called the Dragon, so I could put my finger in there and really get nuanced styles of wrapping. And what's really awesome about this one is I have a 90 degree turn here on this corner so I can use this to kind of tuck the material into gaps, whether I'm wrapping windows or bumpers. So this one's really awesome. Plus I got the rounded corners at the top, which is great. Now with every type of squeegee you want to use, you want to put a fresh buffer on it. So what I'm really happy to announce is in this partnership on Amazon is we have exclusive with monkey strips, which for me are one of the best buffers in the world by far. They come in pink and blue rectangle and wingtip, as well as banana buffers. These are great because these come from Brazil. These are wingtip buffers as well. A little thicker, they're neoprene, so they absorb quite a bit of water. They hold water, which is really beneficial for when you're doing color change commercial, window tint, PPF. So these buffers can be used wet or dry. So you definitely want to put a new one for each install. So with that, application gloves. This one's really nice. This is for installing, let's say, PPF or color change film. 
And what's cool about this fabric, and again, this comes from exclusively from Yellow Tools, is not only can I slide and buy in the foreman, it has cut resistant fabric, so there's no chance of cutting my hands. Plus it has silicone in the fabric, so that means I don't have to wet it, so I can really form the material, and you'll see me do that on the hood in a second. Tool bag, black, this one comes from Yellow Tools, and this one's really nice because it has a deep pocket on the front, big pocket in the middle, and then you got the slots on the side. And what's nice is at the end of the day, I can flip it over and I can seal it so my tools don't come out. Plus it's got a nice hook on the back right now and I can stick it on my tool belt or my pants right now, stick it to there and now I've got my tools on the side so I can organize everything right there and straightforward. This one's really cool. Got an exclusive to sell this on Amazon from one of my good friends in Brazil. His name's Marcelo Sous. He owns a company called Altac and this is what's called textured molding tape. So Gabe, earlier this summer, I wrapped Gabe, he's the kind of director here of the show at the Rap Rag Company, and I use this a lot on his car for color change. So this is a great way for wrapping deeper in the car without spending the time. Now, if you get into deeper wrapping, again, for sign makers, this is more of a tool where this is a great new tool from Yellow Tools where you have all these different options in terms of cutting, especially for weeding material. You got your kind of all different types of blades. So this is a great all-in-one purpose set, and this is exclusive brand new from Yellow Tools, which is great. So, now we get into cutting. You're gonna be cutting a lot, especially with these tools, and we'll be selling NT Cutter. This is one of my favorite blades, because this knife right now, once I extend it, I can actually take out the old blade, and I have a new blade in the slot. So this holds five blades, which is great. We also have 30 degree blades, and this is very, very cool. This is a true exclusive on the Rap Institute on the Amazon channel. This is what's called the Ninja Knife. And if just that name alone doesn't want you to buy it, make you want to buy it, check out this. So check out this blade. This is a ultra light blade. So normally most blades are almost twice as thick and a little heavier, and this one's really good. And this is, for me, really nice because the whole knife itself is super light, and I can actually oftentimes cut directly on the surface, especially per PPF, and because it's so light, it cuts deep enough but not too deep, which is cool. We also have the backup replacement blades, which are really nice. So these are special blades straight from Japan. So that's the new knife, which I'm very excited about. So I hope you get both. Now, based on that, now you always want to make sure you click your blades in what's called a safe box. So every time I want to click now, this is again, specially made by Yellow Tools at their factory in Windeck. So I can click my blades inside here. And what's cool is there's no chance of the blade coming out. And the reason why is because Michael and those guys were super clever and they decided to put a magnet at the bottom. So this is actually a magnet that's really cool here. So now here, the blades can come out. If I open this up, I can open it up and recycle the blades. Once I'm done, I can put this back in and then I put the magnet back in there. And once that goes down, the blades stay in the box. So now it's super safe, wide open gap, and that, that holds 58 and 30 degree blades, which is cool. And this is a little mini one. So if I want a little mini one, I have it there. So that's good. And let's continue the cutting. This one's really cool right now. This is a blade that I can work with right now. So this blade's awesome right now because this actually just goes in between the liner and the material. So oftentimes I use this for interior film and this is a brand new version from Yellow Tools, which is great. This handle used to be black and plastic and Michael recently just made it metal, so it's thinner to use. You can put your logo on either side and if you like to drink beer, you got a beer opener right there too. Cool, very cool. Um, for also trimming the material, and I'm definitely gonna use this when I wrap the hood, this is what's called a tinny cut. So the blade is actually encased in this plastic so there's no chance of cutting the car, for example, and it safely cuts the film so I don't have to use my knife. And this one is very cool. So a lot of you are gonna, hopefully gonna get into installing, let's say, on windows and glass. So what this does, it has a very cool metal holder on the outside blade on the inside and I can safely put this on the glass and cut the material back slightly. So this is a very, very cool knife developed by Yellow Tools. And this one, okay, is really cool. This is a tucking tool. It's called the Plek. This is developed by my partner Reiner and <clears throat> one of his cousins was playing guitar at Christmas and he said, you know what? That guitar pick would make a really tool, cool tucking tool. So Yellow Tools developed the shape with Reiner. It has a little holder in the middle for your finger so I can put my finger in here and spin it. And each one has a different shore. So I can kind of, this one's super soft, this one. This one's really good for, let's say, front bumpers. When you're doing PPF, you can work the material in. And then you have other ones that are super hard. This one's made out of Teflon, and this is very good for taking emblems off the car safely. So you can pry the emblems off without breaking. And this one's really cool. This one's kind of like a medium shore, like a 72. And this one has, if you can see it here, has a little nick. This was actually an accident during manufacturing, but they decided to make the edge super thin. And this little nick, you can actually put behind the film and it can actually 
cut the film without having to use a knife, which is really cool. So these are called Plex. Then we've got this tool. This holds the trunk open at about a 10 degree angle. So it opens the trunk super safe so I can wrap it very easy and straightforward. And this one is called the Wrap U Easy. This one's one of the most popular tools that Yellow Tool sells. And this was again invented by my partner, Reiner Lawrence, which is great. And this is for wrapping mirrors easy and straightforward. So you basically put the material here, whether it's PPF or color change, and you can literally wrap the mirror in about two or three minutes. And I've seen people who have never picked up a squeegee wrap one of the hardest parts of the car very easy and straightforward with this. And a couple other final tools before I go live and wrap the hood is magnets. So magnets, with the arm, we have two sets of magnets that we're going to offer on the Amazon page. One is from Yellow Tools. This is a great set because it sticks together and you can easily pull it apart, put it on whatever you're wrapping, which is cool. And we even have gecko patches. Gecko patches are great because oftentimes, let's say you wrap a car that's composite, so you can't use your magnets, or you're wrapping on a window and you can't, your magnets won't stick. But if you put a gecko patch on the car or the window, now the magnet sticks to the gecko patch and you can actually use your magnets on pretty much any surface, which is cool. Last couple tools I want to show are, now this one is my favorite magnet of all time. This is the wrap magnet. This is a wrap and suit platinum series and this is a great foldable magnet and it conforms to any surface, which is great. And once it conforms to the surface, the material doesn't slip at all because it's incredibly strong and it doesn't leave any marks or imprints on the vinyl, which is great. And when I'm done, I can simply snap it together hold it on this kind of sewn in handle, which is super strong. And it comes with a set, which is great. So I got this set, which works really well. And the last couple tools I want to show before I announce the big one, which is great, is we have an exclusive with a, one of my favorite heat gun manufacturers. It's called Weldy. And this is a great heat gun that they had that for years now. They have this particular one, but I asked them to make slight modifications and they made three. One is I got this nozzle tip, which is great, which it goes right over the nozzle here. So when this gets super hot, I can actually grab the front so I don't get burned. Then I also have this nozzle, this dial at the top, so I can take it from low heat here and I could take it up to high heat so I can adjust it very quick and easy on the fly. And the biggest one is here. So it has these vents on the back. So if I do happen to put the heat gun between my legs, the air comes out here so it saves the life of the heat gun. So lots of modifications here, plus the mag strap here so I can stick this on the car so I don't have to bend over and put it on the ground. Now the last couple tools I want to show and the ones that I'm really excited about are the wrap axe. So this is exclusive from Japan, made for the Wrap Institute specific, and these are tucking tools, but they're also knives. So what's particularly cool about this one right now, this wrap axe has a wrap axe on both sides, so it's double sided. One side is actually thicker, so this is used for picking the rubber up. This side is used for cutting. The green, same thickness as the thin side, so this can be used for cutting. And this one can be used for prying. In fact, I'd like to show it now if I could on the car. I'm actually going to walk over here. And what I did earlier is just to show, as you can see that I use the thick side and this is what's used for prying the rubber out. So I can pull the rubber out and let's say tuck the material behind. So I'm going to use the setup like this. So I use the thick side and the thin side and I can easily tuck the material behind the rubber, which is cool. And then here, this is a notorious area here where you want to tuck the material into the edge. And if you tuck it in and use your knife, there's a good chance of cutting the car or the rubber, which is not good. But if I use the wrap axe right now, the wrap axe was specifically developed with the beveled edge right now, I can actually stick it inside here come all the way across and not only does it cut, I can then use the same tool to seal. So you can buy this in four reds, four greens, or two reds and two greens. So it's a multi-set. So for this, for me, it's one of the most exciting tools that we have on the, on the repertoire in terms of the Amazon channel. And keep in mind that this is just a little, little taste of what's actually going to be on the channel. So again, this is in partnership with the Rad Company. We have lots of great partners in this. And with that, what I want to talk about is the one special tool that we have coming out. And I think is for me an exciting one, and it's called Triple S. So with that, let's go to that video. Triple S Slip Slide and Shine a collaboration between PNS and the Rap Institute. We start off with Slip, and that is all about getting the perfect prep for vehicles, whether it's commercial, color change, or PPF. High quality microfiber towels for cleaning and buffing, ultra clay towel or scrubber. Spray first with absolute rinseless wash as a general clean using the Blue Edgeless 365. Spray again with absolute rinseless wash and use the ultra clay for a smooth finish. Wipe off all the residue now degrease the surface using the yellow Edgeless 365 towel. And with that, it's time to slip. Spray Triple S generously on the prep surface and evenly spread it around with the Purple Pearl towel. This step is about coating, not removing, so don't press too hard. 
and put extra focus by applying triple S to the high peaks. The final prep step is to degrease just the edges and any deep recessed areas with a focused application of 70% isopropyl alcohol. And with that, now it's time to wrap and roll. Triple S helps lower the surface energy, which has multiple benefits. It makes it easier for aggressive wrapping films to slip across the surface. More importantly, it keeps the film from getting what is called sanding, as well as adhesive lines, by slipping across the body lines. With the material ready to squeegee, we are now ready to slide. Triple S can now be sprayed on the buffer of the squeegee, which allows installers to use less energy and wrap faster. Additionally, the unique blend of Triple S helps reduce scratches to almost zero, even on sensitive wrapping films like this black matte color change film. And with everything squeegeed scratch-free to the hood, standard finishing can be done. The final step is all about shine, and this is a win on many levels. Spray the finish section generously with Triple S and use two purple pearls, one to evenly spread Triple S, then the other to buff it for an optimal finish. The final result, whether it's matte, satin, or textured, is perfection. Triple S will last months on the final wrap, which means it'll help ensure quality that will last, a hydrophobic surface that is easy to clean and maintain, and note that Triple S, though it helps the material slip during the install, still results in a strong final bond so the material is durable. Triple S, Slip Slide and Shine by PNS and the Wrap Institute your all-in-one wrap solution for commercial color change and PPF. All right, now with that, thanks guys. Yeah, that was really exciting. Nice and personal. Yeah, it was really good. Thanks, man. Yeah, it was like a good one. Yeah, it was a good one. the difference in all the wraps sure and um, be able to test product with it it was very enjoyable and a great project yeah and so for me it was nice to work with you guys on this and get a feel for kind of where we need to go with this and for me again I love doing a great job of working hard but at the end of the day if I don't have the product that I want it's super frustrating right. especially now when you get into PPF and color change you want that higher detail and that's why I love this merging of the detailing world and the wrapping world is you guys are bringing quality that I can't kind of provide on my own if I'm just sticking in the wrap lane and you guys kind of combine that. So with that, I think it's really cool is if you guys want to uh, just kind of sit around the car, we can wrap. I'm just going to wrap this hood as close to real time as possible. We are looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to use these tools so you guys can see the tools, uh, how, why these tools work, uh, why all these products combine together for the perfect wrap. And perfect. Again, let's cool. do it. Let's yeah. do it. So yeah. I guess if I come on over here, guys, you know, the main thing is, you know, I'll move the triple S, just the big bottle over here. Great, great color. Is, you know, again, prep. And uh, detailers, you guys already kind of know this, but the main thing right now is, you know, we clean the car with rinseless wash, right. with the absolute one cap full in a gallon. That's all you need. Right. And so I like to use the blue towel because if it's dirty, it kind of looks pretty good even though it's blue. So you got that. So once we have the blue towel done, then we come back in with isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol for us, in the, at least in the wrapping world, quick, easy, cheap, works really well, 70% sweet spot. And I like to use the yellow because even if there's still a little dirt, that tells me still need to kind of finish. So clean it with alcohol. And now, obviously, clay bar yep. is the absolute. We did two capfuls in the clay bar, so we got that. So now it's clayed, uh, degreased, everything's good to go. And this is when, up until Triple S, I would actually wrap the car, right? Now, the problem is, especially, let's say, a very popular material is the gloss, right? Is if I'm wrapping, especially on a hot day, as I drag the material across a horizontal in particular, I'm going to get what's called sanding, or they're going to get adhesive dots, which is no good. So a lot of uh, wrappers, to get around that, they use products that aren't safe for the adhesive. Right? So if you use products that aren't safe for the adhesive, it's either not going to stick or the problem is if it sticks too good. Right. Right. <laughs> so it's not good. So I worked with you guys to find a product that worked with the adhesive, which is great, and that's going to create the slip, which right. is good. So now, why I'm going to use Triple S right now is I'm going to now take Triple S. Yeah. So I'm going to take Triple S and I'm just going to spray it onto the entire hood. 
And what's very important to understand about this particular step right now, in my opinion, especially if you're watching this project for the first time, is right now I'm not taking it triple S off. I want to leave it on. So actually I'm pressing very, very, very light right now. So right now if I just press just enough to kind of get it on. You're just spreading it out. You're I'm right. just spreading it out. Make and it sure doesn't you have get coverage. I just want to get coverage because at any point, if the material drags, it's no bueno, right? Because I want quality. And what I like about this step is it doesn't take very long. I don't have to be super detailed. And plus, dude, this smells, smells really good. good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like, so like, do you guys want to wow. explain? Do you guys want to explain <laughs> the story behind the smell, or is that? Uh, well, it was Anthony, I believe. Yeah. I uh, came and he's the smell expert. Yeah. Right. And so. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're supposed to say the actual fragrance in case somebody uh, probably somebody not. cared because it is a commercial product out there and we uh, had it matched and it's very popular. Yeah, and it's great. So let's just say it smells <laughs> strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. Yeah, yeah. So it smells really good. And what's really important for the, those of you viewing right now, might wondering what I'm doing is we sprayed it with the triple S, which lowers the surface energy a lot, which is great, which we want that, but. Forget the material of the stick, whether it's PPF, color change, or full print. They put a little bit of alcohol just in the deepest part of the recessed area and the edges just to make sure that it sticks. Because it's probably going to stick with triple S, which is a little quick burst yeah. of alcohol on the outside insurance. edges and the recessed yeah. areas. Total insurance, which is great. Yep. So that's the prep stage, which is just done. I've masked and taped the edges. Good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the material over here and I'm just going to lay the material on the hood and drop it like it's hot. So take the material up to the top part. And even now, look. Yeah. That's triple S. I mean, right now, even the material just on the backing paper alone is sliding off the car, which is great. And that's what I want as an installer right now, is I want that material to slide. So even now, I'm going to take the material to the top part of the hood. I'm setting my magnets. And again, this is part of why I like to work with yellow tools on here. So I get the magnets set up to here. I have it in good position right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tinny guys, okay? I could use my knife right now, but there's a good chance that I could cut the car. Right? So now if I take my tinny and I can just cut the material super safe all the way to the front. And what I'm doing is I'm just removing a little bit of the excess material to make it easier to handle. So very important that I just kind of cut it safely to here and cut it safely to here. And for me, it's just peace of mind. I don't have to worry about cutting the car. And that's one of the things we try to teach on the Rap Institute in all our videos is just doing it right every time. Because if you do it right, you don't have to think. Like even right there, it kind of right. hit the right. windshield wiper. I don't have to worry about damaging it because I got this safe tool. So it's all about having the right tool. And that's what we're going to have on the page. So just by doing that alone, by trimming the material with the backing paper on, is going to make this easier to wrap, which is cool. So I can put this aside. And now, OK, I want to pull this off because it's so slippery. There's a chance that I might go off, right? So now I'm going to take this thing, which is awesome. And I'm just going to place one there. It's and I want, you guys, I want you guys to do a test right now just to kind of play. Is once I put two here, I want you guys to see if you can move the hood. Oh. <laughs> it's really solid. hard. Solid. Nice and solid. solid. yeah. So there's really minimal chance to pull. I mean, you'd have to pull really hard. And what I like these magnets is they're not going to leave an impression and you're good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go what I call cowboy right now. So I'm going to pull the liner just a little bit, and I'm going to lock it onto the fender right here, and I'm going to pull up the magnets right now. Very easy. And I'm going to release the entire backing paper. Now, if this was a hot day, and I remember like this summer, as I said, I wrapped Gabe's car, and Jeff hasn't got air conditioner here yet. <laughs> so it was a little hot in here, and it was difficult to do this because the material would stick so quickly. But right now, because of triple S, I can take off the entire backing paper and not have to worry about the material sticking right. on the surface. And this is huge for me as an installer, right? So, so normally if a guy was to had that, he'd have some liquid under there. Right now, right now the installer would be like this. Oh shit! Like that right, right now would be really hard to pick right, the material up. Right, but it just came right up. Right. Well, check this out. So now I can actually take the material, and no matter what material I'm working with, I can actually play with it move it in any position I want, get it to here, easily pick it back up now. Look at it float off the surface, okay? And this is all about triple S. So I can easily pick up the material and let it breathe, which is great. So then I come over here, and again, for me, taking a few seconds to put triple S on, this is it. Yeah, right. right now. No matter, because a lot of people, like let's say in my industry, they'll work with a brand of material from 
it's like a customer comes in and says, I got this great material, which you know is going to be a really hard material to work with. And you know that's going to be a long day because the material is going to stick and fight you. But right now, look at this. I can literally just pick the material up, lock it on the edge, and create what I call glass. And look, this is all triple S right now. Yeah. Cool. Beautiful. So this looks yummy. That is. That definitely looks yummy. Yeah. And so <laughs> for me, this is kind of the easy part because even back then, let's say you do get the material on here and it looks good, even then, by pulling the material, I can create what's called sanding, sanding right. which is not good. So right now on the Rep Institute, okay, the material says, uh, we say, glasses go, wrinkles me no, I have glass. Cool. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do something really cool, is I'm going to show the slide feature of Triple S. So the reason I came up with the name Triple S, which is cool. Right. So the slip was for slipping the material on the surface, but now I want the material to basically my squeegee and my glove to slide onto the car. So I'm going to do the recessed area first. So now it's nice and smooth, so I don't have lines. I spray my glove just a little bit here, and I'm mainly doing this to keep down scratches. Because I know my glove will slide by its own, but here if I put a little triple S on there, no scratches. And by doing the recessed area first, it looks pretty yummy. Yes. I have a brand new buffer on my squeegee, guys. But there's still a chance that this scratches. Gloss is a very sensitive surface. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to spray my squeegee, make it nice and wet. And now that I have 100% glass, watch what I can do. I can just squeegee back and forth. And I basically can separate the hood right in the middle. And bam. And the reason why I'm doing gloss black is if there's any scratches from my squeegee, you'd, you'd see, see it, it right away. And one of the most popular materials to wrap with is gloss black. So I want to show the power of triple S is not only does it avoid those dots, which is great, is it creates that nice flow. Normally, guys, I'd have to press really hard to get this material to stick. But because of triple S right now, my squeegee slides super fast. So I don't have to squeegee very hard because my yeah. squeegees slide. I mean, you can see how fast I'm squeegeeing, yes. which is cool. You're pretty good at that, Justin. I'm OK. <laughs> so, Some now, practice. so now I just kind of juice it up one more time and I just work in sections. And my point is right now, I'm having fun even though, you know, this is a demo. And you might think, it, wow, you're doing a demo in front of a lot of people watching. Isn't that a hard thing to do or whatever? But I mean, look how easy wrapping is right now. And wrapping for me is easy right now because I got good technique. Obviously, kind of what Michael was saying earlier, I got years of mistakes. Yeah. Right? But my point is right now, look how, if I have the right tools, look how easy it is for me to wrap a hood with a high quality. Look at it breathe right there, that I can't get that with normal wrapping film. Cool. So once I have that set, I juice it on one more. And I come over here and I finish. So you got the beauty of having no adhesive lines. Does this make it look like wrapping's easy, guys? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but you know, wrapping... Again, Deceptively so. I don't think my, my hand movement would make it look that easy if I was doing it myself. But, but my yeah. point is, by watching videos on the Wrap Institute, right. okay, and by having the right tools and the right products, again, you guys develop Triple S. Half the battle right now is having the right material, but also Triple S and the right tools. Yeah, Done. it's very nice yeah. how, you know, I mean, I don't know if it's typical. Would you, would, without it, would you get some bubbles, or would, would you have to be more careful? It would have tacked easier on the surface. I mean, right. let's be honest. And I, this is a great material. This is Avery Dennison's material. Even though I glassed it right now, I think it, there's parts that it would just tack a little too much because we got the surface so clean right. that it would tack quick. Yeah. So now, what's very important with Triple S, guys, and again, <clears throat> this is a product we've been testing for a long time. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to hit it one more time right now. And I'm actually going to spread the material, or spread the triple S onto the surface. I like to use two purple pearls, right? So basically what I'm doing is I'm applying it now to the main area. And then I come back in with a second purple pearl. And I just kind of buff it on to make sure it's nice and even. Right. You guys can see. Wow. Yes. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm saying wow. So OK, let's, you know, and I think a lot of viewers right now, or detailers, you, they know your products, right? They know Absolute, which is great. Um, they know Beadmaker. So maybe some people out there are like, that's just bead maker with a different color. Right. This is not bead maker. This is not bead maker. So why don't you talk? Why don't you guys talk through the product a little bit so people understand what they got? Again, this is this is actually a very unique product that um, we had. To, I mean, when he approached us with this, with this, well, requested solution. Right. Um, you know, we needed to. We basically needed to rethink what we were doing because what we wanted was slip, and slide. But you know, then but then we, we wanted the it to be at the end. yeah the finish at the end. 
Yeah. And we, we, we had tried little <coughs> you know, segments of, let's say, even like Bead Maker, for example. Right. And we tried Bead Maker on different vinyls, and it did not work. Did not work. Right. Okay, and the reason why yeah. is some vinyls have like a hard, a hard adhesive, and this one just didn't work. And so we tried, we went back to the drawing board and came up with Triple S. Yeah, it and works on all of them. Triple S is the works real deal. That was, that was the big deal, right? We did, have some, we did have some success with some of the wraps. You know, and we were at, uh, at SEMA in 2023, you know, we had, we were testing out Beadmaker yep. with a lot of wrappers and a lot of wrappers were like, oh my God, Beadmaker is amazing. So I thought, oh, that's the solution. But then we had to go back to the drawing board. You came up with this and this, in my opinion, is better than Beadmaker. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so why is this better than Beadmaker? Uh, you know, the, 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 the chemistry of it is, well, it's, it's, com it's completely different in that, you know, it is a, it is a true, um, you know, curing finish. So, you know, what's going to happen is it's, you know, you're going to start off with this, this material that's basically a monomer, right. and then it's going to cure underneath and allow it to, to ad adhere for every, every wrap, every wrap that you use. And but on the and that's not the that's just not the same chemistry as bead maker. But I think that's also important. I mean, one thing that I think what people I want people watching to understand about what we're doing with the Rap Institute and the Rag Company and everything we're doing right now, and you can see it with a segment with Michael. Michael's clearly passionate about using high quality products, using high quality stuff, getting the feedback from his customers. Like you guys did independent test testing on Triple S, and what were the results? Uh, well. You know, actually, I mean, the results were when, when you came, right. and you know, you came in and you started working with the the various type, the various products that we'd put together, and this one was like the clear winner. Yeah. Right. I mean, it was just, and for one thing, we realized <clears throat> instantly that you know it was great that I had all my um, little little uh, wrap samples, um, but you know, I needed a I needed an expert there to, to take over and basically show us how it was done. And as soon as you hit this product, you said, that's it. There was no, there was no question. No. And I th but I think, okay, then based on this, realistically, you know, and there's other products out there that are kind of made for vinyl that are kind of, this is, again, this is not a ceramic coating. This is not something that's going to last for two or three years. This is something that is not going to last, for, is not gonna, but it's going to last more than a week. This sure. is yeah. No, it's durable. So, so yeah. you know, for me, I mean, for those of you viewers, you can't really see it, but <laughs> seriously. I feel like if I put my hand here, I'm just going to do this. Yeah. Like, this is so slick, it's nuts. But this is going to stay on for three or four months, if not six months. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So this is something where provides me, protection after the wrap. And you can yeah. visibly see the difference from when you put it on. Oh, when, you, when you did your, your sign step, I yeah. mean, it completely changed. You can see the difference between the two sides. Don't ever touch side. my wrap again, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> no, but the thing is, I mean, and that's what, I mean, for me, one, one mistake. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> one mistake. No, I mean, but for me, this is super exciting as a rapper now, because, I mean, this is kind of combining the whole... Well, it's, the, the thing is, it's an, the, the reason it says all-in-one on the front is that it's a, an all-in-one product. Yeah. It's an installation product, and it's a protection product. So, you know, it's something that they can use down the road as well. Not just on the install, but if the customer wants to use it to wipe down the wrap, you know, indefinitely they can. There's a maintenance. Yeah. 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 And so for me, wow. I mean, and so what I want, I'm just trying to get a nice finished shot that pulls the masking tape. So the idea behind Triple S and why I think it works on so many levels right now is the fact that right now um, I could put it on gloss, I could put it on satin, I could put it on matte. It doesn't right. change the finish. It doesn't mm -mm. change. Like all of a sudden, you, my satin black is not going to look like a different color. It's going to look the exact same, but there's more depth, which yep. is cool. I can upsell this to the customer, so now yep. the customer can do it. I can have the customer come back. I can clean it with Absolute again, put it on again, which is great. But what we found, which is really cool, my partner Reiner, when he was testing it, he put it on windows. Like oh right yeah. now, sometimes with aftercare products, they're cool, and you put them on the window, and you get super blotchy. Right now, I can put Triple S on the window. I get a little bead, which is cool. I can put it on the interior. I can put on a little quick hit on the way. So this hits all the detailing points yeah. for a wrapper. For me, this is super, super, super exciting because for me, this is the beautiful combination of the detailing world and the wrapping world. Right. Where up until Triple S six months ago, I would wrap this hood and I have de adhesive lines. I have little dots on the body lines. Right. It would take me longer. It'd be super frustrating. When I was done, I'd wipe it down with a decent product. But now, Triple S slides perfectly, my install time goes down, my quality goes up, my profits go up, and my customer's super happy. And the slogan that we came up with was, quality you can feel, you know, quality installers can feel, customers can see. 
Yeah. Okay. And this, <laughs> this is crazy. Crazy, I know. It's really exciting. But yeah. again, it comes from you guys making a great quality product. Well, with Thank your knowledge. You. <coughs> and yeah. his knowledge. Well, yeah, exactly. With, yeah. Uh, with the collaboration between yeah. the two of us. Yeah, which is, which is, which is super special. So for me, this comes in a gallon and it comes in the pint, which yep. is great. And it just launches literally today. 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 Right now. This is the launch. Yeah. So you can go to Amazon, buy this right now, Triple S. And more and more, we're going to be adding these tools to the Amazon chart. So again, this or cart, so it's for me, this is a very exciting segment because this is for me the true combining of the detailing world and the wrapping world with your great products, Yellow Tools great products, along with NT Cutter, Monkey Strips, Banana Buffers. This is the future right now, which yeah, is great. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Great collaboration. Thanks to the rag company as and well, right? Thanks. Yeah. So Pulled I guess it all together. So I guess with that, are there any questions from those viewers out there, Dane, uh, who are watching? Yeah, you've had quite a few. It's mostly, this happens every single time we put you on, Justin. Okay, They're just good. kind of yeah. blown yeah. away by what they see. And they go, oh my God, he makes it look so easy. There's no way I could do that. But then they're also kind of encouraged to kind of want to do it because they're like, but you made it look easy. So maybe I can. They're just thinking maybe their skill set doesn't match to yours. But if you could give some encouragement for somebody maybe on the fence, what, what would you say to them? Well, I mean, based on that's a great question and stuff like that. And I make it look easy because I'm not joking here. Uh, I've been rapping for a long time, but the Rap Institute is the great way. You're, you can watch videos on YouTube and you can do all this stuff. And Michael said it earlier. <laughs> but you're not going to find how to wrap like a professional. In the Wrap Institute, everything we teach you about is how to do the recessed day here, using the palm technique, having the right tools, also using the right material, but again, having products like Triple S. So everything that we're teaching you hits that sweet spot where I, I don't know how long it took me to wrap this hood, but I could actually easily sell this to a customer and make X amount. And I basically, I think I did it, what, 12 minutes, 13 minutes? And that for me is being on the Wrap Institute, having the right tools and doing all that stuff. And I think it's not that easy. And the reason why I showed a black gloss hood is if you're detailing, and you're doing, you know, you know, paint correction, you're doing all this stuff. This is super easy to get into, and it's an easy jump, and that's why this channel is perfect for you. Get a membership at the Wrap Institute, and we have a special code for you, new to wrapping, that gets you 15% off a one-year membership. And I'm telling you, one video is going to pay for that fee. Then you get into wrapping, you buy the right tools, and I'm telling you, if you start wrapping hoods, you're adding an extra three, $400 to every wrap you do, and I'm telling you, that ends up at the end of the year, you get a nice vacation out of that. That's fantastic. And of course, I think a lot of people are just kind of surprised that this product felt like it came out of left field, but this is an amazing addition. So I'm going to try and throw some uh, comments up here that kind of relate to the Triple S talk. Um, let's see. Oh, well, actually, here's a, a good one. Stefan asking, how do I remove Triple S if I want to coat PPF or wrap with diamond stuff? Well, I think you should maybe watch the next segment because that'll tell you exactly <laughs> how to do that. No, I'm serious. That actually, it's a good point because, you know, for me, again, Triple S, are you going to use it on every segment? You know, slip, slide, and shine. Sometimes you might not need the slip. You might not need the slide and you don't need the shine, especially if you're putting on a ceramic. But so for me, this is like, if you're not going to do ceramic, this is great. I'm Dude, this is so crazy. It's cra uh, dude, this is crazy. <laughs> anyway, this is good enough for a customer to go out and it doesn't need a cure. You literally put it on, the customer goes out. You don't have to wait hours and stuff like that. But for a ceramic coating, how do you take it off? Well, I think you should watch the next series with the guys from Diamond Protection because they're going to tell you how to not only take it off, but put a new ceramic coating on that's probably, for me, easily the best one on the market. So mm -hmm. are there any other questions? Uh, there are actually quite a few, but I just wanted Let's to get it. that out there because I knew it would be relevant. So I got Rye Guy here. Uh, does Triple S interfere at all with wrap or film focused coating or protectant? So that kind of ties back to that question. Yeah, I mean, what's, what's very important to understand is, you know, the Wrap Institute is we're, we work with all the manufacturers. Like we just had a booth where we had 14 sponsors. Uh, next week we're at SEMA, we're at um, Las Vegas at the Mandalay Bay and we have a giant area and we have 20 sponsors. So all the manufacturers trust us to produce or show their film in the right way. So you have to understand that me putting Triple S out there and saying you can put it on the paint and wrap over it and it's safe, that's for me a lot to say. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of weight on that. So we really back this up that we did test the film. We really believe that it's gonna, the vinyl's not gonna have any compromising here. It's gonna hold whether you're wrapping with a hard adhesive or soft adhesive. Okay. Now, and I have a question. Oh yeah, I, absolutely. With paint protection film, hmm. does the color in the Triple S cause any issues? Oh. No. 
<laughs> look over to Dave. Uh, <laughs> no, because basically with pain protection, what you're going to do is, I don't think personally with pain protection, you're going to use this as the slip agent uh, okay. if, you're, if you're doing gloss or matte PPF. If you're doing colored PPF, you're definitely, definitely going to do that, but if you're having color, no issue. So with gloss or, or satin PPF or matte PPF, I wouldn't use the slip solution of the Triple S because you're doing a wet install anyway. I would really just kind of polish it, make sure it's nice and easy, skip the Triple S, and you don't even necessarily need it for the squeegeeing part because you're doing a wet install squeegee, but I would use it for the aftercare because for the aftercare, it's going to enhance the PPF dramatically. It's pretty crazy. Okay. Excellent. And then I've got Steve here with the technique question, kind of going back to when you were working. Sure. Steve here wanted to know, why are you wiping prior to uh, cutting? Why I'm, ah, oh, very good reason. So basically what I found with uh, Triple S, okay, is the fact that once it, once it goes on, let's say, because I used it during the slide function. So I put it on my squeegee and I was going across the hood. What, I've, what I found is that, you know, Triple S tends to dry very quickly, which is great. But if it dries quickly and there's high spots and low spots, you're going to have to take a little extra to polish it off at the end if you wait too long. So one thing, if you watch the how-to videos that we've created for Triple S and more, is that as soon as I squeegee, I take the purple pearl, and that's when I kind of give that even polish so it don't get those high spots and low spots, so it actually saves me time on the back end if I do it right away. So good question. Okay, excellent. And, uh, oh, detailer check with the uh, very important question of, will there be a list of tools mentioned in this segment? Because you had a lot of them there at the beginning, certainly. Well, the idea right now, and that is the beauty of this, is before, up until this, literally today, I would say uh, all the tools that I'm doing here, you can find at different distributors worldwide. But now, thanks to the RAD company and what we're our partnership right now, all the tools that I'm showing you and way more are going to be on the Rap Institute channel on Amazon. So what we have right now today is we have the Rap Axe and we have Triple S. And by starting next week, we're going to have the Rap Magnet. We're going to have a lot of the tools. And by probably, I'd say, June, the full library is going to be up on the Amazon channel. And basically, the Rap Institute channel on Amazon is going to be your one-stop shop. So hopefully, you'll buy all your tools there. Excellent. And uh, I've been told I can fit one more question in, so I will go ahead and throw up this one from Pop Shadow Decals, okay. uh, saying, can you please go over which rags for which application? There's so many choices, so narrow it down to your choices. Well, I mean, and this is really important, too. I think this is extremely important because, I mean, and Levi, Levi and Anthony can tell you that when it comes to rags and stuff like that, I'm pretty stupid when it comes to it. <laughs> um, I don't know much about detailing. I never got into it. So I think for me, the biggest ones and why I try to keep the Rap Institute towel line super simple um, is for me the 365s they're super okay. affordable really good quality 70 30 blend so for me I would just get the blue and the yellow this is for cleaning and degreasing super simple make sure you clean them separately and then use rags to rishes and then just use purple pearl so purple pearl is for finishing and for aftercare because it polishes it on one to kind of get it into the material one to wipe off excess and then if the car is on a rainy day that's when you're going to use a liquidator so for mm -hmm. me basically mm -hmm. four types of towels or three Th 365 purple pearl liquidator that's all you need super simple buy good quality and buy in bulk if you buy let's say 10 and you keep them in good quality 10 of each kind that's going to last you a whole year it's a good investment Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Justin. That was extremely, uh, I mean, educational, obviously, but just always fascinating to watch. So awesome. I think everybody felt the same way. But uh, we got some more stuff to check out, don't we? I hope so. <laughs> all cool. right. So honor, honor to be here and uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy the Triple S, especially in all the products in the line. For me, a super special partnership with PNS and I'm really honored to be here today. Thank you, Justin. Thank Fantastic. You. All right. So next up, we've got Diamond Pro Tech. Hi, I'm Mike Athanason, uh, America's leader for NG&T, a Swiss company who's launched here with the Diamond, uh, with the, with the RAG company as Diamond Protec just six months ago. So I want to thank all of you who have experimented with our new technology, who've given us great feedback, 
and it just it's just helped the launch tremendously. So with me today, um, I have my two colleagues here uh, in the U.S. And, and I have a bit of a slideshow to, to share with you uh, in parallel with this presentation. But my, uh, my colleagues here beside me are Matt Ward, who many of you already know. Uh, he's our U.S. Ambassador. He's a master detailer. He's been working in the industry for many years and he, we tapped him early before we came to the U.S. to talk about how unique aspects of our products would play in the U.S., especially you know, climatically. We have a great number of climates in the U.S. So um, Matt's been great. He's a, an ambassador. He's, he's going to be especially proact proactive with the pros, and you'll be hearing, having direct contact with him for tips and tricks over the long, tar long term. Uh, on my left here is Tyler Cucci. He just joined us. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you guys switch? <laughs> there he is. Um, so Tyler just joined us. Uh, he's been in industry for a long time. Uh, he certainly um, he started off as a mobile detailer. He then he moved into industry as a professional in distribution and sales and even manufacturing. So he's been a great uh, a, a great help in um, uh, you know in our launch. And now he's with us full time. You'll be hearing from him uh, more and more often. Uh, you also are in the IDA or certified trainer. He's also in, in the International Chapter Development Committee at the IDA and of Switzerland. We are uh, hopefully going to be a new member very quickly. Um, so th about the company here, um, we are a, it's NGNT is the parent company in Switzerland, uh, new generation nanotechnologies. We're an R&D company, been studying this, uh, this type of solution for 10 years, and we've been trying to pull together uh, a solution that is a combination of, um, uh, it, well, we were, first of all, we were aiming for uh, supporting coatings and supporting support of protection of, of equipment in avionics and space travel. So these things are affected especially by high temperatures, low temperatures, vi vibration, uh, uh, all sorts of things that could cause cracks in coatings, and we're trying to protect um, um, you know, avionics and electronics. So because of that, we, we, we developed a specialization in two things, applying PHPS, which is a, a, you know, a fairly, uh, fairly known polymer, but we added a number of copolymers to it to create a compound that basically gave us the, the, uh, the hydrophobicity, the, the scratch resistance, uh, the UV protection and the, and the temperature protection that we needed. On top of that, we mashed it with the technology in the nanodiamonds. We learned how to enrich nanodiamonds. Nanodiamonds are synthetic diamonds, and they're, they're, they're broken down to a nano level, but then they naturally are hydrophilic. They attract water. So we, we, we reformulated them, enriching them to make them hydrophobic. So we have the polymer, which is hydrophobic, the nanodiamonds, which are hydrophobic, and we, we combined the two of them together to provide not only a, a double hydrophobic thing, but we got the hardness and we got the UV protection and all those aspects together into, into one, one um, compound, coating, compound coating. But what do the diamonds also do? They provide a, the, the carbon bonds that are embedded in here uh, create a matrix of molecules that is flexible. And that's the most important thing of what this technology marriage brought. It brought a flexible coating that it can expand in heat, contract in cooling, and always be there without cracking. So that was the major breakthrough that we had. So in the next, uh, um, next slide, I wanted to, here's, here's my slideshow now, thank you. Um, that, that's what we got. In the end, so we looked at this coating, we said, where is this coating um, applicable to besides you know, the, av you know, the aviation industry. And, the, and, the, and then we tested this against a number of the other coatings. We found that this outperformed many of the coatings that are in the ceramic coating genre. So with, those, with the high hardness, the heat resistance, the UV protection, the fast curing times, and the abrasion resistance, we decided to enter the, the market, uh, the automotive market, with the name Diamond Protect. So here we are. So in the, in the next slide, we've got a, the, the launch of the look and the feel of our brand. And we, and we really found there were, there were two main things that we really come to the market with. It's very easy to apply. Everybody who uses our products says it's very easy to apply. And that's a breakthrough to go to, to we have professional products that are higher performing, but everyone has the ease of application. So even consumers can apply our products on our consumer line we're gonna show you today 
very easily. So there's no risk, no, no um, angst about making a mistake on putting a coating on. Easy to apply and then it's quick curing as well and um, that allows you to use your car almost immediately without the normal wait time. So let's go into the products. I'm going to talk about the, we're going to talk about the consumer products first and then the uh, pro products and how people become pros and then talk about a new launch which we just saw on the video which was hinted to you as we came on the, on the, on the lead in. So Tyler, Matt, yeah. let's talk about these, these uh, consumer products. Yeah, so let's start off with the consumer products and, uh, and, and kind of earlier while we were joking around with our Back to the Future stuff and everything, Diamond Pro Tech when it comes to the consumer products is really the coding brand for Biff. Uh, so anyone that is a Back to the Future geek like myself, Biff doesn't want to really do two coats of wax. We really don't want to do two coats of coating. So what you're looking here in the consumer lineup is a single layer solution across the board. Right now up on the PowerPoint you see our body coatings for all of our painted surfaces. We've got Quick Body, which is a six month product that can be used as a standalone or a maintenance for any of our other great products. An 18 month body, uh, diamond body, which is a phenomenal product, actually one of the, the sleepers in our line, to be honest. And our 36 month, which is diamond body 36, giving you three years of protection of consumer uh, application, ease of use. Very simple and quick to go to. Um, from there, you can step over to our specialty exterior products. Our specialty exterior products is our glass, diamond glass, and diamond wheels. And uh, Matt, I want you to talk about some of the big wins. What makes diamond wheel different, or is it, is it just like everybody else's? It's not like everybody else's. Diamond wheels has the highest heat resistance for any wheel coating there is, which is very big when it comes to the heat cycling of your wheels. Yeah, no, and that's huge. And, and my other big one, and really talk about some specialty products and, and why you have separate products for specialty surfaces is also diamond glass. Uh, diamond glass is, is still one of the day, this is most impressive product to me still to this day. Uh, what makes diamond glass any different? Well, diamond glass doesn't just sit on the surface. It actually chemically bonds to the glass and becomes one with the glass itself. So it's harder to remove and can resist much more abrading from your windshield wipers. And all that can be done in, in one simple layer. Just one easy application. Nice, no, that's great. Uh, next thing from there is we really like to talk about our prep products. Our prep products are huge. So you can see here lined up, we've got our glass prep and our body prep, which are dedicated prep products for the surfaces that they work on. Prep is key for us. Uh, this is not just any other coating. This is a enriched nano diamond coating. And in order to make sure that that PHPS and nano diamond technology actually adheres to the surfaces you're applying it to, we've got our body prep that can be used on all your interior surfaces, exterior surfaces, uh, your wheels. Uh, we'll go over interior here in a little bit. And then also we've got our glass prep. So glass is obviously a lot more porous than areas we work with and we want to have a dedicated prep product for that. Uh, going into the interior products, uh, our body prep is going to be the, the lay, uh, the prep product for those across the board. And then we're going to finish up. We've got two interior dedicated products. Those dedicated products is our diamond leather, which is dedicated for genuine leather. And we also have our interior, uh, diamond interior, which is for all of your vegan leathers, uh, your vinyls, plastics, both hard surfaces and soft surfaces in the vehicle. vehicle. Uh, the big thing that we like to make sure we hammer down on is that diamond leather is dedicated for the interior uh, leather surfaces only, genuine leather, not vegan leathers. Those are going to be coated and going to have a much better solution with the interior. Uh, we also like to talk when you are a happy homeowner or a general consumer, or you're only looking to do one or two vehicles, we've got great kits. Uh, I'm gonna steal one of these kits and kind of come across here to the front for you guys. This is our Body Diamond 36 kit. And uh, from here in the kit, you get your gloves, which is awesome, your needed applicator pads, your towels, a simple bottle of the prep to make sure you're doing your coating the right way and it lasts as long as possible, in your Body 36. And you can find those kits across the board for all of our products. So if you're just gonna pick up one kit in order to do a vehicle's exterior or you're gonna do a kit for the glass, great thing to do is grab a kit. If you're gonna go for the whole gauntlet, if you're gonna coat your interiors, you're gonna coat your wheels, you're gonna coat all your painted surfaces, your plastic, your trim, you can get bulk prep products, larger containers, and then buy these individual bottles 
in order to save a little bit of money. Um, even if you're gonna do all those surfaces, there's no reason you shouldn't get a glass kit because it gives you everything you need to do your glass all in one go and it gives you that nice small bottle for your windshield. Okay, so that's our consumer line. And then on the pro line, um, we developed, all along we had the longer term product. We had the, the three year, five year, and 10 year. They're a little more complicated as far as the uh, um, application process and therefore not maybe uh, appropriate for an entry level consumer. So in the pro line launch, um, we did a couple things. We, it, it's, we want people to get it right. We offer a guarantee with all of our pro installations. And to get that guarantee, it's gotta be installed by a certified installer. But we wanted the certification process for the installers to be efficient, you know, 21st century, uh, fair and, 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 and scalable. So what we did is we developed a program, it's an internet based, there are lessons, courses, and testing that you can go through to get certified and graduate as a certified Diamond Pro Tech installer. Um, the way to do that is to uh, go online to our website and uh, you can sign up. And well, first of all, we assess your qualifications to make sure you are, in fact, you know, a, a, a qualified detail that you actually do this for a living and that you would uh, put your heart and soul into getting this right. Um, it's, then we, uh, we, uh, you, play, you pay a small tuition, you take the, the courses, you graduate, and we give you a supply of pro products, merch, and then you, you go to work. You get involved into the pro program, you have your separate buying, uh, buying channel, separate discounts, and uh, technical assistance, uh, all included in that, as well as a, a customer locator for people who see the pro products, who want it installed, they want to know who's certified. So we're driving business back to the pros uh, so they can uh, s succeed with these uh, specialized products. So here they are. Maybe you all can tell, talk about those. Uh, yeah, so we have our uh, pro, or, yeah, pro 60, which is our five year, 60 month. That is a two layer system. You have your uh, Pro 60, which is the base layer, that's gonna give you your protection. But then your Pro Hydro, that's gonna be your top coat. And that Pro Hydro is going to give it that super hydrophobic uh, properties that we all love to see on our pictures, videos, with the beads just rolling off the car. Mm -hmm. The Pro 120 is the same idea. You have a multi-step system, A, B, and then Hydro. So your A will go on, uh, you'll put your B on. These two work in conjunction to give you your 10 year durability coating. And then the Hydro will give you that super hydrophobic top coat on top of that. The Pro 120 comes in a sprayable form as well. The Pro 120 spray allows you to do a more even application, a thicker application, and it also allows you to shoot things like your grills and stuff to get more intricate areas. So that's the Pro program. Pro products and pro programs. So if you'd like to, to be considered as a pro installer, please go to the website where, where the sign up is. And after that, you'll have um, uh, you know, direct access for purchasing. Some so of the other big takeaways from our pro products here, uh, you'll see is that Hydro, which we talked about. Hydro is an exclusivity product to our pros. Uh, it's mandatory that you put that on top of a product like Pro 60 or Pro 120. Uh, that can't be put on surfaces that hasn't had one of those other two protective coatings laid down. And like Matt said, that's really just crazy hydrophobic properties. You'll also see laid out over there is our Pro 36. Pro 36 is gonna give you a little bit larger of a bottle there, 50 milliliters instead of 30 milliliters. milliliters. So you'll be able to get much, uh, a few more vehicles out of there. And we do ask on that product for a one hour cure time. With our other pro products, we're looking at a two hour cure time. So Matt, with those quick cure times, and first I wanna talk about what that cure time really means. Yeah. Uh, but with those quick cure times or out the door times, I also want you to talk about the, you know, the speed and, and how that affects your guys' detail business. Um, but when we talk about that cure time, we're talking about the cure time before that vehicle is weather ready. So whether that's uh, going out into a small rainstorm or heavy rainstorm, you know, it's weather ready in an hour. We don't want a customer taking that vehicle and washing it right away. Uh, across the entire industry, you're gonna be looking at two to three weeks before a vehicle is fully cured and ready for its first bath or its first wash. Uh, and we wanna make sure we continue to do that, but we are capable of getting a vehicle out of the shop within one to two hours, depending on what products you've put on it, uh, or even you know diamond body or diamond uh, 
body, qu uh, quick body, those are going to be much quicker for you. But Matt, what do those turnaround times do for a shop like yours? Time is money. So the longer that your vehicle sits there for the coating to cure before it's ready to go out into the elements, it's just taking up that valuable space. So if you can turn a vehicle out within one to two hours for the client to be able to drive it home, that frees up so much shop space, which allows you to make more money. Awesome. So in summary, what you maybe heard, a thread that goes through uh, all the products is easy, easy to apply and quick to cure and get the car back on the road. Those are kind of, we think, are very unique aspects of the technology that make us stand out uh, in the industry. Now, we have a new product to talk about today, and that is a uh, product for PPF and vinyl wraps. Um, we uh, had developed this knowing about the, uh, the, the trends in the industry that are looking for um, they're looking for a ceramic coating uh, with a wrap, and um, unbeknownst to us, the, uh, the Wrap Institute um, was talking to the rag company and they tested our product, and I think we were very pleased to, to learn that they want to specify our uh, PPF and wrap, and, uh, PPF wrap product as um, the recommended um, coating for uh, vinyl and PPF. We tested the product uh, independently in the U.S., and we found that we've, we performed in the top the top spot or number two spot in every one of these 10 standard tests for, for um, coatings. And as that, on average, we scored so high that we hopefully we've become the, the no questioned um, best ceramic coating for a wrap. Now today, we're gonna wrap, uh, I mean, we're, gonna, we're gonna coat this, uh, the wrap that Justin just did. Yes. And Justin, um, uh, you know, maybe you could tell us about what, you, what you're testing because they tested us before we even heard that um, it was uh, a product that they'd like to specify. Yeah, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Matt go over there with Justin, and you guys can kind of play with that wrap over there uh, while they're coating it. I kind of want to talk through some of the things here with this new product. So as you guys saw with that video teaser at the beginning, this is our our product launch for Diamond PPF. Uh, Justin very very quickly kind of picked up on this and said, wow, this is so much more than just a PPF product. So uh, we have talked about using this or calling this, uh, once we get through this first run of labels, it's gonna be converted over to diamond PPF and vinyl, which is really exciting to hear it can be used on multiple protective surfaces. If you look right now, Matt's going over this vehicle uh, with our diamond body prep. Like I said, prep is king, prep is key for our products here. Uh, making sure you're using that proprietary prep product is going to give you the best results. Uh, Nano Diamond technology is, is a little bit more different and that PHPS is a little bit more different than just an everyday coating product. So prep is going to be very, very important. Although this wrap was just installed here by Justin uh, a few minutes ago, yeah. uh, very quickly, because it was brand new wrap, we wanna make sure that we prep it. And on addition to that, we also know, we're, we're lucky enough to know that Justin put triple S on this. We wanna make sure we remove that triple S. It's a, it's a great short-term protection, uh, but at this point for us, applying a nano diamond coating to this, we wanna make sure we remove it as it's a contaminant for us at this point to make sure we get the most durability. So I'm gonna kind of pass it over to Justin and Matt here so that they can kind of go through their process for us. Sure. Sure, so yeah, we, like you said, we just made sure that the uh, surface was prepped, uh, removed all of the existing protection that's on there, give our Diamond PPF a good shakedown, and we're going to prime our applicator. And I think what's really important to the, for those viewers out there, you know, especially with this partnership with the Rap Institute, the Rag Company, and Yellow Tools, and Diamond Protect, is you know everyone who knows the Rap Institute, even Yellow Tools, we don't just put on products because we're looking to make money. I don't really care about that. Money will follow quality and durability. So you know we've tested a lot of ceramic coatings on wraps, and this one, when we tested it, just outperformed everyone else in terms of not only how it looks, but how it feels, and just the long term, and how it just works with all different types of finishes. For a matte finish, it won't make it darker for a gloss it'll just make it glossier so for me this works on so many levels but it's mainly ease of application which is one but the biggest thing is I'm telling you once it's on I've, I've used different ceramic coatings I've gotten feedback from different people with this particular product and the, it's just overwhelming how this just feels and looks better than any other product out there and this is why this is our top rep recommendation for ceramic coating for PPF and vinyl extremely important so PPF has a pretty quick flash time we yeah. are looking at one to three minutes depending on your temperature and humidity. Absolutely. 
here in the studio. It's a little bit lower for temperature, so we have a little bit more working time. And I think even this for me right now, you know, we put the triple S on there, the triple S is great. Very important to kind of take off, even if you don't use triple S, you use soap and water, use your hands. A lot of manufacturers, especially for vinyl, put, you know, stuff in the top coat just to keep it clean, just with the film. So it's very important to kind of clean and prep the surface. Oh yeah, any sort of manufacturer oils or anything like that. Absolutely, absolutely. And this for me is extremely important today, whether you're doing commercial PPF color change right now, is either do stuff like triple S, which is great. That's just quick turn and burn or putting on a product like this, this is a very easy, straightforward application. Doesn't take too long. The other applications, long outgas time, long installation time, you have to polish, level, do all that stuff. A lot of wrappers, we don't want to do that. We just want to do something that's quick and easy. And this, for me, you can see it's already flashing, you're doing stuff, you did big, long sections. Yes. You have time. You're not having to hustle or worry or do anything right now. Yeah, I mean, I will split it into a, a good sized panel, but yeah, you don't have to rush the install so you have an, a lot of working time with it. Um, you might not be able to see it on camera possibly, but you can see it start to separate as it uh, is flashing onto the surface. Absolutely. And then once it gets a decent amount of flash, we will uh, essentially just buff it off. Yeah, and I think it's one of the things where too, you know, when you're done wrapping, let's say again, what I try to do in the last segment is show not only how easy it is to wrap with the right tools and everything, but also, you know, for me at this point is, you know, once you wrap a hood and you can learn how to wrap a hood, put a ceramic coating on right away. And this is a very easy add-on. So like a hood installed with gloss black and then you put a little ceramic coating on top. I think that's a nice $300, $400 package that you can offer a customer. Looks good, holds up good. And then once you can see how to wrap properly with the right tools, I mean, this is very good money. This is an excellent, excellent upsell. But again, you want to use the right ceramic coating. Not all ceramic coatings are made for vinyl. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. So you want to make sure you use the right one. And this for me, again, by far and away is the best one for vinyl. So whether you're doing commercial, color change, or PPF, uh, my partner Reiner, we've been testing this at our, our center in Munich. And keep in mind that we work with, again, as I mentioned, tons and tons of different brands. So we didn't test this on different vinyls and manufacturers. And my partner Reiner, when he says something, he means it because he doesn't speak a lot in this terms. And I said, Reiner, what do you think about it? He's like, very good. <laughs> so if Reiner says it's very good, it's very good. And so for me, for, this is an excellent, excellent one. And again, it's safe for all PP, PPF, vinyl, everything. And this is just peace of mind. And you're going to tell the difference. It'd be the same thing I feel about Triple S. Like Triple S is one of those things where I feel like it slides and glides, the material goes. This ceramic coating is just a notch above. And everything that we're doing on the Rad Company and the Rapid Institute channel on Amazon, every tool that we're putting on there is just a step above. The microfiber towels are a step above. The tools are a step above. Everything's better because I think the merging of the detailing world with the high quality products in that segment, all the products that they're offering right now, you can tell are just a step above. They're just, there's different technology in it. The tools that Yellow Tools are making are just a step above. And you can just see and feel the results. How quick and easy was that? And it looks absolutely beautiful. And then based on this, how long would this need to cure before it goes outside? It is ready to go. That is pretty The <laughs> client can drive away with it. That is pretty cool. So again, zero cure time, quick turn and burn. And that for me is the name of the game. And everything we're doing on the Rapid Series is finding companies and products like this that you don't have to wait two or three hours to go out because again, time is money. This is taking a valuable spot. I want to give a customer the quality, the durability, but also the efficiency for my profits. Exactly. Very cool. Beautiful. That was quick and easy. Oh, it's so easy. So awesome. quick. Cool. No change of the install too. The, no. great, the great thing is you can do your installs exactly the same way. Yep. Anything that you use during your install process, yep. that body prep's going to take care of for you and you can add that, that install right off the bat. So. And I think, I think the biggest thing to take away, especially if anyone out there watching our wrappers and hopefully from the Rapid Suit, is the idea is that you know definitely don't skip when a manufacturer, like a company says, use our prep products for this thing. They're not just saying that because they want to sell extra products. This is specially formatted so that the ceramic bonds properly. If you don't use that and you just say isopropyl alcohol solution, it's going to be okay, but okay is never something that we're proud about on the Rapid Suit. We want it to be great. Wait. So I think we should take some questions, um, but I, I uh, first of all, before this thing ends, I just need that, uh, to thank the, ra the RAG company for inviting us here to, to launching us in the U.S. and uh, introducing us to all of you. So tell us what you think. We got, we're here to answer any questions you've got. Yeah, so we've had quite a few questions. I apologize, comments have been loading a little slow, but I'll do my best to get them out there as we go along here. I can start with actually kind of a... Not, not directly related, but let's just get it up on the screen. Jelena here asking, can quick body be used on top of a traditional ceramic coating? Hmm. I mean, yes, it can be. Uh, you're not going to potentially see the full benefits of it. Um, sure. A ceramic coating 
should want to shed that protection off within a few months, if not weeks. Okay. Uh, yeah, a good, a, good, uh, a good ceramic coating is gonna wanna work with products in its own synergy. Uh, so trying to take you know, the, the diamond protect synergy and force it onto a different ceramic coating uh, is not gonna work well. The same thing you're gonna find with us. So if you start trying to put other polymer protections or SiO2 protectants on top of you know, body, body 36, any of the pro line, you're gonna find that those protectants are gonna get repelled drastically quicker than anything else uh, where the quick body is designed specifically for the chemistry of the, the diamond protect family. Okay. And uh, then I've got, can we double coat body 36 or is only one layer good enough? Well, I'll take that one, Eve. Uh, one coating is enough. And uh, even some, so we, to the advanced testing we did with a third party, um, basically putting two, two coatings on top of each other, there, it, there, there's, there, actually there's a chance that it could uh, slip slide uh, in a very, you know, layman's terms. So one is designed for one layer, it works for one layer. I don't think, uh, two, I, I, I put several coatings on my boat because I didn't care, but I think one, <laughs> one coating uh, on your car is enough for Diamond Body 36. Okay, thank you. Ivan, you got this next one? Yeah, how many hours of application time do you guys have on a pro line? And in real time, how long do you have to, uh, have you seen Pro 120 last without proper maintenance? Mm. I'll take that one. So for uh, the application time, you are essentially one, between each layer, you should wait about one hour. So by the time you get around a full vehicle, it's about time to do the second layer. So even though it is a layered process, the layering is very quick. Um, each layer that you add on almost becomes easier, and so it becomes faster as you layer. Uh, a full Pro 120, I will do in a, I would say, three, four hours taking my time. Okay. But then you are only holding on to that for two hours before it's allowed to leave. There's no 12 to 24 hour hold. Okay, okay I'll, take the, I'll take the second question. How long have you seen Pro 120 last without proper maintenance? Well, my wife's car is a perfect example. <laughs> we, we, we've gone five years, it's been washed twice, and, so, and we haven't used quick body at all. Um, but to, when, you, when, you, when you do a, um, uh, it, it rains, it looks like the car is practically clean, and if I know if I agitate a little bit, it would look just fine. The, the hydrophobicity was there, but I could always make it more because, um, you know, if that's a priority. But, you know, it's just amazing how, uh, I think, let's see, who did the uh, seven-month test on the Diamond Body 36? I think Anthony did on his uh, Forerunner. There you go. You see what happens when you don't even need to wash it, what you get for uh, a coating like this. I actually have it on my farm truck because I helped you guys in testing earlier, and I can tell you it hasn't been washed at all, and it's doing a great job still. So, yeah, Good, good coverage there, yeah. And uh, I've got Eddie here asking, if I can get it to load, what separates the body prep from just a normal panel prep? Because I know this has come up before. People wonder, why can't I use my homemade solution? I've seen other people just do that. And we always tell them, you got to use the actual body prep because it is a different formula than whatever you're, you're home brewing there. It, it actually serves a purpose. You know, I, I could just cut, cut to the chase on the, yeah. the, just the, the chemical family is the same. So, so you want to have, you know, the... The, the right platform for the, for the right foundation you put on top of it. Why would you use something different? Why would you take a chance? And we've had, we've had reports of uh, products that haven't performed, Diamond Body 36 or Diamond Body, and we ask, well, how did you prep it? It's, oh, I didn't use the body prep. So we kind of know that it's a, it's a reckless move to not use the Diamond Body prep. The Diamond Body prep is not an expensive product, so it's not an, it's not an, economy, uh, it's not an economy issue to not use our product there. It's a, it's a good risk management uh, uh, step to use our body prep for our products. The, the, all the kits have the body prep or glass prep in them because we really want people to, to um, uh, um, get in the right um, you know, step by step process to get a good result. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of defend any ceramic coating out there, including a nano diamond coatings. Uh, so any coating out there, when you start playing with the prep products, you're changing what residues may be there or what residues may not be there. You're also leaving some level of residue behind on your panel prep. So even if you're using isopropyl alcohol and DI water, there is a residue being left over. Uh, and it's very important, not that we 
have just a prepped surface, but we have a prepared surface. And that's what the body prep is doing. It's not just removing residues, it's preparing the surface. And same thing, why do we not just have one four glass and body? Those are two unique items for specific application processes. Once you've used the glass compared to all the other coatings that we have, you will see that that glass product is just completely different than, than even the rest of our lineup. Uh, on the way that it just gets absorbed into the glass. Okay, so beyond simply being a prep, it almost acts as a sort of primer. Yes. Correct. Yeah, that would be a great, okay. great description. Yeah, if you're thinking in terms of paint, sure. All right, Evan, you got this next one. So with Pro Hydro, would you recommend a thicker coat or a double coat over the Pro 60 or Pro 120? That's not needed. Honestly, just a single layer of the Pro Hydro is all it takes to get you that great hydrophobic property on top of those. We, we all don't need to be a biff. Let's, let's <laughs> one coat it, let's go with it, let's do it the right way. So again, back to efficiencies, you know, really going through it is, is nice and easy. We don't need to over engineer something that, uh, that was designed for outer space. I mean, <laughs> cars are kind of a simple solution for, for what NG&T had developed this for before they came up with Diamond Pro Tech. All right, and uh, I, I'm having a little trouble getting into low, but I did see a question that basically asked, are there any plans in place to develop something along the lines of a 10-year coating where it's only a single application? I feel like I already know the answer to this, but they're wondering if you could do it with fewer layers, fewer steps. To be honest, over the past 10 years, if we could, if we could learn, if we could have done it, we would have done it before we launched Diamond Pro Tech. So at this point, this is the, the top of technology that we have right now. We're always working in the lab to, to make it better or make it easier. So um, never say never. Okay. We're trying. No, well, that's the best answer you can give. Totally understand. And uh, Ivan, go ahead and take this next one. Yeah, so detail a checker, Christine is saying, she used a steck film which has a layer of ceramic in it. Would you still suggest this on top of that film? And by this, I think she's talking about the PPF that Matt just demonstrated. Mm -hmm. um, yes. <coughs> So a lot of your films nowadays have a hydrophobic top coat, which is great. Um, the built-in hydrophobic top coat is only going to last so long, essentially. Um, if you want the full protection of a ceramic coating to actually fill in all of the micro pores of the film, um, a ceramic coating is, or a coating is going to be your best. And then our PPF with that flexible super flexibility of it, um, you're going to not hinder any of the self-healing properties or anything like that, so. Okay. Then I've got Ron a yacht here asking, if I can get it to load here, basically saying, will Body 36 be offered in a 50 mil size? To our professionals, it already is. So right now, if you're a professional installer, you can pick up a 30 milliliter bottle already today. Okay. And uh, then I've got, Quite a few here. Sorry, it's just a little slow loading, but I am getting them here. Um, <clears throat> uh, did we already ask this one? I'm going to pop this up just to make sure. Uh, we've got David B here saying, with Pro Hydro, would you recommend a thicker coat or double for Pro 60, Pro 120? Yeah, we got that one. Yeah, we don't okay, want to. We don't want to double down. Right. Okay. And uh, then basically, uh, any other questions, things that uh, you feel you receive a lot of questions about, something you want to touch on before we kind of wrap up here? If I was going to make an exiting statement, my big thing is, is uh, prep is king, prep is key. Making sure you're prepping that vehicle the right way, uh, not just on the paint correction side, but using the proper prep products uh, will eliminate you know, any potential installer issues and durability issues. It's really going to help you get that coating to last as long as possible. Okay. Anything and, else uh, from you guys? Oh, oh you know got what? I got one? one really good one I want to be sure to ask here. Edmund Iverson was asking, and of course it disappeared now. He was basically asking the all-important question. In pro programs, there tend to be like minimum order quantities, that kind of thing. He was wondering if there's something in place in the pro program that you have to fulfill a quota. Is there some kind of expectation there? No, we decided early on we don't want to have a minimum order um, requirement. Okay. We have, a, so. we have a pretty simple qualification process. You put in a nice application, provide the proper information that proves your legitimacy of your business. Uh, once you get through that application process, uh, from that, we reach out to you guys. Like Michael was saying, you go into uh, pay the tuition and go through the training process, go through that portal, take the exams, and then you're a uh, accredited installer. Okay, excellent. 
And then I've got Pop Shadow Decals here saying, sorry if I missed it, for the wrap coating, do we need to be a pro to order that? No, you do not. So that will be our consumer line. So anybody that has uh, PPF or vinyl on their vehicle, can go ahead and apply it themselves. Yeah, we'll have the uh, DPF product on its own in a bottle, but we'll also have it in a kit, which has the body prep with it, the glove, the applicator, and the towel. Um, so yes, it's it's de all our products are designed to be consumer. The more complicated ones are pro, and of course, pros will want to use the consumer, you know, for glass. I mean, they're 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 consumer available, but they're also pro quality. The glass, the interior, the leather, the wheels, all those sorts of things. Okay, and uh, I think I'll probably end on this one with Mark. It's a good question, just for anybody who's kind of joining us here at the end. He wants to know, how do you become a certified installer for Diamond Pro Tech? Yeah, Mark, go to uh, diamondprotech.com, go to the uh, Pro Line, and there's an in 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 introduction to the Pro Program, and there's a button you click to put your qualifications in and apply. It's all right there on the website. Okay, well, I think that wraps things up. Is there anything you guys would like to add before we uh, tail this off? No, we just uh, want to thank everybody for uh, you know trying out a new technology because you know, these the claims have been uh, a little bit um, uh, you know separating from the normal um, coding industry. Um, our claims were bold, but they've been tested in by independents, and we're very happy to have people more and more people uh, sound out that they're experiencing the same um, performance. That's that's all we could ask. Thank you all very much. Excellent. Thank you so much, guys. You've been great. All right. Well, now it's on us. We just wrapped up the first day of TRCMA 2023. That was amazing. We really, we, we survived. <laughs> yeah, we, well, we more than survived. First right. of all, uh, a big kudos to the tech team here and the whole team at TRC did a spectacular job. Not only what we see on the screen, but behind the scenes as well. Yeah. Uh, a lot of involvement goes on. There's a lot of moving pieces. So and, many. you know, we, we had a little issue with the microphone at one point. And all that is is somebody just unplugging their mic or turning it off when the system hasn't done it yet. That's all it is. It's not exactly. like there's something horribly wrong. It just sounds horrible. No. So and, once you get it, you're you done. Know, <laughs> a lot of the people that are here today, yeah, this is maybe their first time on screen. They're not yeah. used to being mic'd up, all that. So definitely, you know, great. Uh, we had a lot of great presentation. So if you're just tuning in, you can actually go backwards and watch this whole thing this evening mm -hmm. or tomorrow or next week or next year. But uh, a lot of great presentations today, a lot of hands-on. And I, I think I'm with everyone here saying that Justin is just a magician. Uh, you know, <laughs> it never if, ceases to just amaze you every time you see it. Right. That wrap on that Supra hood is perfect. I mean, and he was talking, he wasn't really paying, well, I know he was paying attention to what he was doing, <laughs> but it was so nonchalant, and he makes it look so easy. So casual. Yeah. Just breezing through it. Right, and with the yellow tools, <laughs> with the Triple the S, it does make it easier, mm -hmm. but trust me, your first installation is not going to go as well as what Justin just did. I mean, that was magic. Yeah, no, the, the guy's a, a magician. He's a great instructor. And that subscription to the Rap Institute is really worth the money. I mean, you're, if you're even thinking about getting into Rap PPF or Tint, just subscribe, look through the whole thing, get a one-year subscription, and even if you never do a Rap, a Tint, or a PPF, it'll give you a much better understanding of what the industry is and how to solve problems and how to explain it to your customer base as well. It's friendly. It's accessible. Obviously, you've seen how Justin does his thing. If that's a vibe that you like, you're going to get that with the Rap Institute. So highly recommend. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's really all there is to say about that. And, of course, the products that we saw today that tie in with that. This was kind of a fun way to start off something a little different, you know, because you're thinking it's a detailing show. You're just going to see detailing-centric stuff. We want you to kind of broaden your horizons. So I don't think this is such a bad way to get people in the mix. No, exactly. And this morning, you know, again, we started off early this morning. Uh, PNS introduced six new products today. <laughs> Yeah, they were busy. They yeah, were busy, busy bees. So we have, you know, the uh, the three new fragrances. So if you like the smell, if you like the smell of bead maker, you can have the smell of bead maker anywhere you want now. Uh, <laughs> and they have other ones as well there. So yeah, just great presentations all around. Look back, scroll through, see what you're looking. And yes, uh, Glenn, looking forward to the next, the rest of the week. So are yes. we. Uh, this, you know. We, I know what the schedule is, and a lot of great people, a lot of great presentations, and you're going to learn every time. It's not just a sell, sell, sell thing. It's actually not that at all. Everyone here is here to present. It's here to educate. That's the TRC vibe, always has been, always will be. 
Because the, the fact of the matter is, if you're just told, buy this thing, but you don't know how to use it, you're just kind of left wondering, that's not a great you know position to be in. You want to be able to have that, that support system. You want to be able to trust that what you're getting isn't a fly-by-night thing that's going to disappear later. Everybody involved in this whole ecosystem is somebody who's here for the long haul. They're serious. And, uh, you know, that's a big part of uh, doing it the TRC way. Exactly. And speaking <laughs> of the TRC way, hmm. are there new towels this week? Well, we've got some things going on. There might even be a TRC towel on the website. Uh, somebody may have spotted that. I know if you go to the website, there's a, there's a lot of fresh stuff floating around there. There's a sale going on. Yep. And uh, there's even shirts. Like the one I'm wearing right now, you can pick one up for yourself if you're uh, interested. I think you need to flip around. The oh, ba- right. The back yeah, they, is a lot more might, impressive than the front. They might be interested in that. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like a rock concert shirt. You know, you've been to this rock concert. You've picked up the, the merch at the rock concert. Well, now you can pick up the merch at theridecompany.com. And uh, they're I limited editions covers. as well. Yeah. So, you know, that's <laughs> very important. Those of you who like to connect or collect Rad Company merchandise... This is a one for the collection. <laughs> and it's limited, too. So yes. it's it's this week, guys. That's yep. that's your chance. Don't say we didn't warn you. And, exactly. of course, there's also, I love this, Kirby saying, make sure to uh, thanks to the Jamie and Alex for their live updates, too. They're doing a show right after we wrap up here. They got exactly. the post show. So that's on Jamie the Cleaner's channel, in case right. you're wondering. Yeah, and they do a pre-show in the morning. Yes. The post show and the noontime show here. So on this channel... You know, from 10 a.m. Mountain to 4 p.m. Mountain, we're live. That yeah. whole time span, Jamie Constant. and Alex are doing a great job. The time we go have lunch, they're uh, they're taking over this show. But they do a pre-show in the morning and a post-show in the afternoon. They're doing interviews. They're talking about what's going on, what's coming up. So if you want to get a preview of what's happening tomorrow, listen to them. Yeah, absolutely. And I will answer a Force Induction Drive here real quick because he just asked a question. What is the new PNS stuff hit in the store? As I've heard, tomorrow. Is right. when things are supposed to show up. So yeah, exactly. assuming that's the case, uh, you you can ride on that for. Well, now. actually, Josh was, uh, I won't say complaining, but was <laughs> voicing a concern this morning that there was two trucks waiting for him this morning when he got here. It's uh, uh, busy yeah. out there. <laughs> yeah, my my bus. Uh, we're outside here all night, and uh, the one truck showed up like at eight o'clock last night, and the other one around four o'clock this morning. So when he showed up early this morning. He had two trucks to unload of PNS products. Nice. And uh, I will say, since we got you all here, you're listening. Before we wrap things up today, please, if you've been enjoying watching this stream, give us a like. It's a small thing to do, but it makes a big difference for us. Helps us get in front of more people with each day. I would love to see this grow as yeah. we go throughout the week. Just build on this and uh, make it, you know, a fascinating time every day. And if for some odd reason you're not subscribed to the oh. Rag Company YouTube channel. What are you doing? Yeah, please, subscribe. <laughs> hit that notification bell. You want to get every notification. You know, there's shows like this. This is a live show, obviously, but there's live podcasts every week on the TRC channel, lots of educational content, and you can go back and look at what's been done in the past. A lot of it is still very current and very, uh, you know, educational and fun. Absolutely. You know, the TRC crew, they're all about having fun. They're all, all about education, and you can't get better than this. Thanks, Ivan. And uh, yeah, I think that wraps us up here. So unless we got a schedule to throw on screen, let people know what's going to be going on tomorrow, I think we've pretty much done this. So yes, Tuesday morning, coming up tomorrow morning, we will be starting things off with G Technic, followed by G Technic Marine. It may just be more G Technic. We'll see how that goes. Yep. Followed by Detail Wise, aka if you're familiar with Jason from Chicago Auto Pros, check that out. Then Auto Wash, our friend Dylan made a migration uh, in the last year, and yep. now he's at Auto Wash. So you can look forward to seeing Dylan von Kleist there. That'll be fun. And uh, wrapping things off, we've got the TRC Mid Show for that first part of the the morning leading into the afternoon. Exactly. Alex and Jamie will be carrying it as they have. They've been doing an awesome job. And speaking of Alex and Jamie, once again they'll have the post. Show right after we're done here. But lastly, we'll have IK Sprayers in the afternoon tomorrow, followed by Detailers Helper, good friend there, Kevin Davis, and Flex at the very end of the day tomorrow. Yeah, and you know, Tiarasima is such a big thing. Yeah. We actually have three people from Germany here today. It's awesome. Yeah. Right? Uh, the, you know, the, <laughs> the boys from Flex are here already. We have Michael from Yellow Tools that was here. And of course, Lars. If you missed that demonstration this morning, you have to go back and see Lars' yes. demonstration. The color lock demonstration, he fixed a uh, early You saw ni- what it looks like at the beginning. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's an amazing, early amazing, ni- the yeah. transformation. An early 90s super seat. We don't yeah. have to say any more than that. Yeah. You know what the, the leather looks like on that. 
and it looks brand new. I, I went out Beautiful. there, I looked at it, and you can't tell there was a repair. More importantly, you can't tell it was damaged before. That's that's really what counts. And yeah. that's what your customers are going to want. So if you're thinking of expanding your services, seriously, everything we're providing today is stuff you can take home. So once again, always a, always a treasure, always a huge plus watching TRC. You're going to learn new skills you can tie into your business or just your side hustle, whatever you're doing. Exactly. Have a good time doing it. So we'll see you all tomorrow. All right, guys. See you at the post show. Bye-bye.